Testing. Oh, that is it. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to the stream. Um, you got Shifter with you now. We've just started our first game of Cascade um, 1. So in this game, we've got Olympus on blue, Illiterates on red, and Heretics on green. So, um, who do we think is going to win this game? Uh, what, what are our predictions? Is this actually coming through on stream? I'm just going to double check. Technological uh, difficulties. So we see Blue being taken by Skyros, and he secures it this time after getting one shot denied prior. So from the looks of things, um, we've had a pretty quick base game so far. Wolfie, unfortunately, sitting on three, uh, four shots of denies on Blue base, but he did get it in the end. Bit expensive. I'm not muted. So we got Mortis going for Olympic, Olympus in the chat. Uh, let me know your predictions for this. Um, what you think of the uh, Cascade 1 draw, who's uh, placed where so far. I'm interested to hear all your thoughts. So we've got a bit of action happening at Blue Base, as we can see on the cameras and hear behind us. Up to you. <laughs> um, we've got Worthy going for his red base now. He's two tags in and secures that cleanly. Um, that is a good base for Olympus. Um, as we see, so far, everyone's equal on bases. However, Olympus are um, quite ahead on the pack point side of things. Heretic and Illiterates are fairly close um, on pack points together, with Heretic securing that um, blue, green, red, blue, that blue base um, for Todd. Um, uh, so that is um, good to see for Heretics. However, they do need to... Um, pick up the pack point game a bit here. They're about uh, 5K down on pack points. As we see Skyros going for his red base and taking that cleanly. Nice hold there from that main spot um, near the half height. Um, that does put them in first place. However, they are two bases up on Olympus and Illiterates. So still lacking in that pack points. We've got Jam in the chat going for Olympians. More to say he should be going for the uh, Illiterates, but um, you know, we'll, we see where your loyalties lie. Um, so things seem to be a bit quiet around blue base and green base now. We see a bit of action happening on the top right of the green base camera um, as people walk in between those two bases. So it seems there are people on all the doors. Uh, I see green on the back of door of blue. Oh, green team cracking into blue base, but unfortunately getting tagged out before they can capitalize on any sort of um, base take. Uh, Messiah going for his red base, but someone running in on, on that back door. Ooh, Messiah getting one shot denied there by... I didn't see who it was, sorry. <laughs> so we see green players um, holding under blue base now, um, watching that back door. Might see a green player go for that base soon. Messiah taking another crack at red base and taking it cleanly. Well done, Messiah. So that does throw Olympus back into first place as they still have that huge pack point lead on them, which is great to see them capitalizing on that. Interesting spot for that uh, green team defender um, holding on that front door of green base. Um, sort of walking in between that front door area and the, um, and the uh, sort of opposite wall to the under that we can see uh, just to the right of the camera. Lots of action happening at blue base. We see, oh, and blue league going for a tag on his red base. Two tags and secures that cleanly. Tag someone as they were running in, which was uh, very well played by um, him. So now we hit one of those points in the game that, oh, no, we haven't. Um, Pogsley going for his green base. Oh, and getting one shot to nine by Fizz again. That is unfortunate to see. Um, Illiterates uh, stacking up those denials, unfortunately. Um, 
And wildcard going for his red base now. And he takes that cleanly. So that's secure. That's so Olympus have taken all their red bases um, with quite a few uh, minutes to go. We might see them start to make pushes towards green team now. Um, towards green base now. Oh, Pogsley, two shot denied in green base again. Um, putting him in four shots down. Um, which, not looking pretty good. Negative 900 is not a good feeling, and I'm sure that uh, that team might be feeling that morale-wise. Something I did miss is Skyros got a level one uh, term on him there. Uh, interesting to see what that was for. Vassity going for his red base and wildcard going for his green base. Oh, Pogsley two shot denying wildcard and Vassity securing red base. Whole lot happening in the very quick span of a few seconds there. Um, <laughs> all right, we see Pogsley going for his green base and finally securing it. Four shots of denies later and he gets it. Well done, Pogsley. Um, Gives that team a nice quick boost on points there. Still a fair way behind Heretics, so they're going to have to um, pull something huge here to sort of take a bit of a lead. But Olympus is still absolutely smashing it with the pack points. They are about 5k up on pack points still. They've maintained that nearly all game um, with uh, players like Dart, Messiah, and Worthy with all, and Bluely. Bluely's crushing it this game. All with one base um, and three to two to three k of uh, pack points alone. You see them holding a very strong defense in blue. Have a, a wild card missing that call as someone runs in on that back door. Red team holding in blue base now. Be interesting to see uh, if they're able to make a push or take the base here. It would be crucial for their score against Heretics. Heretics are gaining a bit on Olympus uh, pack point wise. Um, but they are also still one base up, so. Oh, and Pogsley securing blue base cleanly. Um, that's, that's how you do it right there. So gives Illiterates a little bit of a boost, but still quite far behind with only two and a half minutes left. Um, got more support for Olympus in the chat. This is good to see. Um, Still see blue defenders holding under. We see red in green base now. Looks like illiterates may have dumped, is wise. Heretics still have a free base that they haven't claimed. Um, Fizz missing the dumped base so far. Hopefully he'll be able to find that um, before the end of the game. We don't want to miss a dumped base. That's always a rough time. As I say this, Fizz goes for his red base. Very carefully watching every door. And he takes that cleanly. Ooh, and Todd two-shot denying SSG in green base. That, that gives Heretics quite close um, points to um, Olympus. And they're going back and forth now. Heretics is still two bases up. So if Olympus can secure a base, that would um, do them a world of good here. We see red team holding on the front door of green. Um, see if they're able to secure Heretic's base. But Olympus's sake, we hope that uh, they're able to break into Heretic's base here and get up on the uh, bases in the last minute. SSG going for her blue base and she takes that. Oh, no, she doesn't. She was putting shots into that, but it just wasn't registering. Getting two shot denied by Bluely. Bluely crushing it this game with the denials. Um, says, no, that is my base. You get out of here. Um, that denial bonus for that team, for uh, Olympus, does do them a lot of good here. Hope we can see Olympus pull ahead a little bit in the last second. Pendragon going for blue base. And she secures that cleanly. Nice take. And I'm back. <laughs> She's helping. It's fine. <laughs> All right. And with that, we see heretics pulling ahead of the game just at the end. While 
I think I saw people in the chat earlier today talking about it. They didn't have the best pack point game, but they were able to pull ahead in bases, um, which is unfortunate for Olympus here. They were crushing it on pack points all game. They just couldn't quite get that last minute lead on the, um, the bases. But well done to Heretics and Olympus and Illiterates. So from our scoreboard summary, because we have this little uh, amazing thing done by our media team here. Um, so with the highest tag ratio was on wildcard. Highest tag streak tied with Worthy and Bluely on six. Uh, most tags while taking in base goes to Pogsley. Um, he got two tags. Um, most denials, uh, well done, Bluely. You were making sure no one got your base. And I'm being joined by the wonderful Gustus. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll not for substitute for the interim. Um, yes. <laughs> Very professional. Um, and most tagged by team goes to both Worthy and SSG with two each. Um, and most, most team tags goes to Dart and Wildcard. That one's always a fun stat because you are able to make fun of your team for it later. For getting tagged by you or for tagging you? Both. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're dragons, then that is our key to victory. Team tags are the way to go. That's true. <laughs> we often have the most team tags. We really do. It's the key, it's key to success. So, coming into this next game, we've got Heretics, Apex. I don't think that's real. I, yeah, that doesn't seem right. I'm going to pull up the schedule on my phone because I'm like... <laughs> Pretty sure Apex is playing and Aftershock is refing. Tagurit <laughs> is playing. This would make more sense. Um, what? Since when? <laughs> they should make long-range god boxes. They're just like, like the same IR as the base. Have a warning. There's a term. All right. Or you, or you get one that's like controlled by. So like yeah. And then and then Twitch chat get to vote on who gets termed and oh, just yeah. tags them. That is cooked. Anywho, coming to this next game, we've got Tag Your It on red, The Quackening on blue, and Apex on green. With Aftershock refing, you are correct. So the next yeah. game, next up game, our words, is not quite accurate at the moment. I have it on good authority that Tag Your It is rushing here as we speak from the mall. We did start a bit early because we were trying to get ahead, so Cascades 2 isn't absolutely cooked yeah. cooked more than it needs to be <laughs> yeah so unfortunately from that game you saw olympus they started really strong with um taking illiterate space but unfortunately didn't offset their bases um which isn't necessarily needed and offsetting your bases for those in the chat who don't know is when you say take red base and then you take green base take red base again and green base again or, like try to keep it even throughout the game so you're not giving one team like a party at their base right at the very end of the game. So did Red dump this game? They did after all of Olympus got their base. Okay. And then they dumped to blue and they got a blue and then they started bounce dumping between yeah. green and red, uh, green and blue, which was their last ditch effort to try to get ahead. But they unfortunately did have uh, four, eight, uh, 12 shots of denials on their team. That does make a difference. <laughs> yeah. So with 15 shots of denials in the whole game and 12 of them on illiterates, it isn't the best. But everyone had positive scores by the end of the game. Yeah. So it's the silver lining, right? <laughs> <laughs> so how are you going this comp, Gus? I'm going pretty well. We're placed in third. It's pretty good. Yeah, let's go, Dragons. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a good feeling. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, and oh, any, not. how are you finding the maze changes? I actually think they're pretty good. I think they're good changes. Mm. Um. I found, like, when I first heard yeah. about the, um, the blue base one, and for those who don't know, blue base now has a third door that um, is, <laughs> is exit only, and you can't shoot while you're in it. You can't, um, like, walk through it. Normally, you can reload you can only, it's basically a reload zone. It's a directional reload well, zone. Yeah, you can yeah. only exit the base through it. You can't enter. Um, and it's also like kind of like a tunnel, and then it's blocked off at the end, and it's got an exit either side. So you can, so you can't be tagged going through 
the base either. It's um, it's interesting. Um, I, th- I think if you're gonna put an exit in, they've done a good job of it. Yeah, I I think that they they've worked with what they have and they've they've done a decent job. Yeah. yeah. Um, when it was first described to me, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to defend that base anymore. I'm just gonna get tagged through that third third exit. Mm. You know, but the way they've done it, it uh, blocks it off quite nicely. Yeah, it the, still kind uh, of plays the same, but it's a bit safer leaving that way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, it just sometimes I forget when like a base is going down. I'm like, oh, I can leave this base because I don't have to worry about someone running in, um, and like me affecting a base take because no one's going to be entering that door, so I can just exit mid yep. base take. It's True. great. Um, and as long as you're fast enough to zoom back to a, a door, you're fine. Um, and what do you think of the other changes? I was about to talk about the green base changes. Yeah. I, as a, from a door defender perspective, I like it, but I'm also, I, we had a game against Catalyst yesterday night and I don't know what Wax was doing, but I don't I think anyone kn- knows what Wax is doing. <laughs> I don't Even think Wax, Wax doesn't know, know what he's doing. What doing. <laughs> um, I just, I don't know what happened, but every time he'd approach that area, he would just disappear and then suddenly appear in front of me. I'm like, I didn't even see you. Like I was watching like down the, the the only way you can walk into that area the whole time. And then suddenly he's there next to me and I'm like, what? It made no sense. It was not a great time. He's got map hacks. Map hacks. He's phasing through walls. Yes. So hopefully we will see the game start very shortly um, once Tag Your It arrives and all the other teams. We are running ahead, so it is. Yeah. Everyone was alerted, though. All, so all team chats were alerted. First game, then. <laughs> yeah. We're so still good. ahead. Still ahead. We're trying to be 20 minutes ahead. Um, but yeah, if any teams are... Yeah. If any teams are watching from their accommodation, um, just a heads up, we are running ahead. We're trying to run ahead so that we aren't on site till ridiculous hours with Cascade 2. Um, so everyone can be well rested for finals day tomorrow. Um, so if you're able to get in early for your games, keep an eye on the stream as to what games we were up to from Cascades 1 and um, be sure to arrive about 15 minutes before your game. 20 minutes. 20 minutes before your game, ideally, yeah. Please. Complaining about it is allowed. Complaining about it is so Absolutely. allowed. Just we won't care. <laughs> we'll say, cool, thank you for your um, feedback. Goodbye. You guys were doing so well in that game. Yeah, I heard that like a five minutes ago. <laughs> you guys were crazy on the pack points. The whole team talk was wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, and for those who haven't seen our leaderboard currently, um, it's just been posted. Thank you to our data tech team people for getting that out to us. We appreciate it. Um, so uh, currently in first place, we've got Vikings. Second is Catalyst. Third is Dragon D's. Fourth is Eclipse. Fifth is Storm. Sixth is Sharkies. Seventh is Rampage. Eighth is Archangels. Ninth is 1UP. Tenth is Aftershock. Eleventh is Outlaws. Twelfth is Riptide. Thirteenth is Chazwazzers. Fourteenth is Apex. 15th is Olympus, 16th is The Quackening, 17th is Heretics, 18th is Canberra Crows, 19th is Sandstorm, 20th is Tagurate, and 21st is Illiterates. Perfect timing for now in this game. So, in this game we have The Quackening, uh, Apex, and Tagurate. from Canberra. What are your predictions, Shifter? By the looks of it, there is no red team. So I think they have forfeited their game. I saw them out there. Yeah. So. What? So we're starting early without a team in there? Yeah. I saw Tiger players here. Okay. And you have to have at least three to fill the team, I believe. So unfortunately, Tiger have had to forfeit this game. So be interesting to see how Quackening and Apex play this. I think they'll both uh, try to cycle red base evenly. Bakura uh, 
already has two. both his bases, so he's uh, going to be chilling at home I have defending his base. The red defenders weren't doing very well, so. <laughs> Um, well, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, Axiom getting two shot denied by Plank and Plank going for the piggyback and taking it. It's rough when you get denied at a dumped it base is. or an empty base. Um, there's not even the threat of the other team being around. The um, Kuru and Plank both have two now. Yeah, so, wow, that, they're zooming through this game. It's, uh, st you've still got, uh, about ten minutes, guys. You, you don't need to try this hard. <laughs> I suppose the earlier you get your bases, the sooner you can get back to yours and just focus on the pack points. Ninja also sitting on a two-shot deny. I don't know when that happened, though. Oops. However, we will probably see a lot of a very strong defense from both teams. Ninja going for his red base. Easy base. Yep. He has also been two-shot denied, though. Yeah, I don't know when that happened. I must have missed it. <laughs> so unfortunately, Tagriot was not able to um, uh, field the team as they did. They only had two players here. Um, so, and you need a minimum of three to enter the maze. BMW got a nice deny on Ninja apparently. Thank you, Cake. Memeless going for his red base and taking that cleanly. Looks like he's having a chat with the ref about what's going on as well. Yeah, the ref's probably like, why, <laughs> why no team? Yeah. <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> At least we do get to see something kind of interesting here. What is that light? Shining on red camera. Yeah, that... That happens sometimes. There's a reason I don't take photos in red base, because the <laughs> light's like that. Simi going for her red base. Very casual take. Yeah. Just like, chilling, leaning against the wall, going, one, two, three, and I'm out of here. The Kraken is actually up on packets right now. Yeah, they just need that. Once everyone has their red bases, and we'll see where they go from there. To be fair, Apex also does have quite a few denial. Whereas Kraken is sitting on zero denial, so that is... That's so true. far, so good. I love the ducks in Quackening's player photos. <laughs> <laughs> Do teams need to be ready to play with three at game start or could three join? No, so if... So they need to be ready at the start of the game yeah. in the kid up room. And then I think if you've seen the scoreboard at all, which means to get to the kid up room, you need to ski the scoreboard. Yeah. You're not allowed to go in anyway. Yeah. Um, basically, you... You have to have at least three to start a game, and then from there you um uh, get um unless you're like they, they're in the kit up room already, they don't they can't go in. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think all teams got the memo uh, that Cascades was starting early, so that is unfortunate to see. Oh, Axiom one shot denying Simi Bear at Green Base. Yes. I believe that is how it goes. Double check with your TCs or, and your master refs. You're a master ref. Yeah. Do they all get the term? Yeah. Because they won't. On the, I don't think they get to go in at all. Yeah. No, it gets a But they get a term game. as well. Yeah, they get a term after game. Yeah. Is it the whole team or individual? Everyone who was not inside the baselines at the start of the game. <laughs> Fair. Go on. So mysterious. <laughs> Do we have a string? No, we don't have a camera. Okay, we good. Have before, did <laughs> so bad. The light's on, so I didn't know. I, I bought cool. Yeah, uh, games can start ranch 15. dressing flavored soda. With oh. Cool beans. <laughs> Someone said cool beans would drink it. I think he will. I, oh, he so will. Um, so. Cyrex is correct. Games can start 15 minutes early with or without a team. It's been the case for years. Yeah. We do try to avoid it where we can. So yeah, this game was scheduled to start at 1.15 and it started about seven minutes ago. So we are within those uh, precedents that have been set. It is unfortunate um, for the team, but it, it is what it is, yeah. unfortunately. BMW team's red base. So all of Quackening now have their red bases. So... That's None easy. of them got denied. Ninja going for his blue base. 
Two shots. Oh, and he secures that cleanly. Oh, not cleanly. He got two shot denied earlier. I lie. So both teams have six bases now. Apex is up 2,000 packets approximately. Mm -hmm. You think that's going to maintain? I think it's going to be a 20 base game. Um, 20 base, 20 base, base game. game. It's the maximum, the maximum amount of bases. Um, I don't know. I think Quackening might be able to hold out Axiom and No Idea for a while. Ax no Idea is last lining to the max this game. He's died three times. Um, Axiom going for his red base, so hopefully they'll send No Idea out to get his base in the near future. If they remember. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, like that is a strat if there's a three uh, team game. I had one in Bendigo, um, Bendigo Nationals, where it was my team and another team, and we defended our base and the, the empty base. Easy base, easy game. It was a Darwin team, so yeah, that was a meme strat and a half. <laughs> we are the biggest meme, but it's great. So this kind of game is interesting to see because... It is unusual. It, it, it's you don't unusual. Like oh, Simi, two shot, Ooh. three, three shot. What? Yeah, two shot denied she must by. Must been denied once. Already. Yeah. It's like that doesn't number. <laughs> two shot denied by uh, Ninja. I think so, she, I think she got denied by Axiom before, right? Yes. Or the yeah, Axiom. Yes, this would make sense. Um. Yeah, so I think Tag Urit didn't know, like, they, they have a lot of inexperienced players, a mm. few players who have come back after playing many, a long many, time yeah. off. So they just probably weren't aware. Mm. Yeah, I think, I, I'm sure a message was sent to the captain's chat at some point. All captains were informed that uh, games were starting early. And all teams for the first game were already here. Yeah. So Quackening still need four green bases. Yeah. Simi going Ooh, for her Simi's green base. Go. And she it. secures at that time. Well done, Simi. I like that the camera... <laughs> <laughs> I just see Simi's celebration of yay from <laughs> across the maze. Um, yes, exactly. Always expect games to run early. Yep. Um, yes. So the perks of basically living on site as volunteers sometimes. And no idea getting his uh, red base. So Apex really running away with the game here. They only need one more base, um, and Quackening need three more, but have also racked up some denials and aren't maintaining the sort of pack point lead. No idea getting his. Yeah, there we go. So, so that's 10th Apex. Now they can just focus on keeping. 15k are high ahead yeah. of Quackening. Yeah. So now they can just focus on keeping uh, Quackening out of their base for the last three base takes in the last two and a half minutes. It is possible for it to be a 20 base game at this rate. Could be. Um, and then it just turns into solos. Yeah. I somehow think Quackening's not going to pick up their last three green bases. Not with Apex done. It's going to be focusing on, on keeping them out. Yes, and I do believe that because they didn't play the game, the additional comp points that would have gone to whoever places third gets divided amongst the two teams. I, believe, is that that's true? How, I, I believe that's how it works. I don't believe that. I, I believe that um, Taggart won't get any comp points. Yeah. And I think the remaining comp points get allocated elsewhere. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I Can't be that important then. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, just seeing. Uh, Quackening trying to take runs at the bases, but also I'm sure there's a lot happening in the sort of middle area sweep between a front door of green base and back door of green base. Yep. Um, as people defend and just try to get pack points. Um, not really much we can talk about here, I guess. Uh, I mean, we got... Um, ready to go. No idea had... Um, oh, Ooh. Elmo getting two shot denied by Bakura. That, that base would have been really good for the team. Yeah. Um, but well done to um, Bakura for that. Uh, it's got those there. long arms. <clears throat> yes. Good for denials and green. I keep, I keep thinking to myself, who's, who's, who's Bakura? 
Um, ah, oh, they just don't exist. Cool. Thank you, Brad. Um, yeah, I just, it would be weird for them to like be split. Yeah, I, I think I'm thinking six... of a different situation where comp points get divided amongst people. I don't think that ever happens. Ties. Ties. I think. In yeah, ties. but it's not like you yeah. don't get more than six. No, no. I, I think the, they get added together and divided by two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, six four zero. Yeah, yeah. My mistake. I was mixing up. Uh, what's it called? Ties. Ties with uh, forfeits. Forfeits. No shows. Whatever it is. Yeah. Blue team breaking into green base again. Hopefully they can start putting shots <laughs> on. Maybe. Oh, yeah. maybe. Oh, Possibly that was tag. And another one. I hate that Curry's panel. Back. That yeah. panel is in the most inconvenient spot. We need to get yeah. changed for nationals. <laughs> get the panel changed. Or just like remove that. I don't know why there's I'm that not sure addition. Why it's there, I, yeah. It provides no purpose. Like someone's like, Maybe oh, it's for the laser. Yeah. Yeah, perspex. Do perspex. perspex. Yeah. Although that's just a reflective surface. That, that, that could will... be fun. Says someone who'd not a last line. <laughs> <laughs> So well done to Apex there. Really ran away with the pack points. Um, it was a hard game to play. Like that just that that this kind of game was an opportunity for a team to really boost that average score. Yeah. To do quite well. Um, I mean, can you boost your average score as much when there's only five players to shoot? Well, look at that 53k right there. Yeah. True. I'm just saying. Um, with Bakura crushing it. Um, with the highest tag ratio. I have to give and a shout out to No Idea who. Had barely died for most of the game um, and had, like, at one point a 530 yeah. tag ratio or something like that. Well done. Um, meme list with highest tag street, highest chain tags. Um, there was a lot of team tags on uh, t uh, Quackening there from what we can see. Bakura also got most denials um, on people with four. It was a quite a heavy, denial-heavy game. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 denial. So not as much as last game, but um, still the same. <laughs> I love watching drills at free dance. Um, it's always good fun. <laughs> Why isn't the next game starting yet? It's 1.15. I think the major issue is if you were like a certain number of points, and even if you won, you um, got equal points with another team and a below an average score. Yeah. You could, like, the third team could throw and put you ahead and change yeah. games. Even, like, I've already said I was incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> but someone was asking why that is. Oh. Yeah. It would definitely cause some, like, major problems. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. then it also means you have a chance to get more points than other teams. Oh, look at that turnover time. That was beautiful. <laughs> Who's in this game? It is. In this game, we've got Sandstorm on green, Canberra Crows on blue, and Chaz Wazzes on red. Who's your pick for this game, Gus? Uh, I'm going to say Canberra Crows. Just I, Canberra solid, Solidarity. I, I was, I was going to say Canberra Crows as well, but for I feel a bit of commentator bias here. But you know what? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> There's nothing to say. We have to be unbiased. <laughs> True. Impartial. Yeah. Maybe the best thing to do would be um, like just start the games. Like change the schedule to be 15 minutes earlier. And then start on time. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Who knows? Bonsai, with the thing is, uh, if the game has already started, they can't enter the maze as they could have seen any scoreboards. And that is like just a whole thing of unfair and not okay. Um, that's the main issue. Wow. In the first two seconds, the leg has already secured green base. That was a zoomy start. Classic the leg things. That's why it's called the leg. Fast legs, right? Surely. Yeah. Uh, wanting to start ahead is fine to create a buffer better than you yeah, it's, it's not a great time, unfortunately. Um, but unfortunately, it's one of those situations where I was like, it is what it is, you know? Um, in this case, they didn't have enough team players to fill the team at all. They only had two here. So that, that's another thing. Um... So yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, Robo with a two shot tonight on Commander Snake. Sandstorm not off to the greatest of starts. Um, Chazwaz is taking a nice early lead. Plenty of packets as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, lots of pack points. Uh, the Crows holding a very strong defense. I've noticed that a lot in them this comp. Um, very, very heavily defensive team. Um, yes. So trying to work on that sort of more aggression in their sort of pack point gameplay, I suppose. Garn going for his green base. And he Ooh, takes it cleanly. All three Ooh. shots in. Great job, yes. Garn. So proud of you. <laughs> it's a rare occurrence for him. Yeah. So it's good to see the Crows getting a relatively early base as well, because they yeah. have struggled with that previously. What is going on in Nick's face in the photo? He has a cheeseburger in He's his mouth. He's eating a cheeseburger? Okay. <laughs> he can have a cheeseburger. Nice. There's been quite a few silly photos for the, um, for the player picks this comp, and I'm, I'm here for it. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> E, e. <laughs> taking his blue base. If he doesn't just go E after he takes a base, <laughs> I'd be thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> what was that supposed to mean? <laughs> How rude. All he um, does is walk into the room. Yeah, it one keeps us ahead of time and gives a little bit of a buffer between Cascades 1 and 2 so that uh, we have time to draw up the volunteer schedule and the, uh, the actual game schedule. Um, so we also just saw that guy taking his green base. So we'll see them cycling now. Well, maybe, yeah. Hopefully, maybe, one, one day. Dragon just got shot out of blue, but I think the attack got shot as well. Don't see any attacks, Double. yeah. I see nickel and green, I think. Can't yeah. Can't see past the board. That blasted board. <laughs> Ooh. Red E Red going for it. his green yeah. base and takes that cleanly. I has nice. saw some green defenders running in on that back door. He is an ex Albury home player, so oh. maybe he has a bit of an advantage in the Albury maze. This maze has changed so <laughs> it's changed much. <laughs> He's got the contacts to tell him all the secrets. Yeah, you're meant to be yeah. at least 20 minutes early to before your game, so. It's... Commander Snake going for his blue base. Oh, and two shot denied by Dragon. Another well done. Another two shot denial for Commander Snake. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon's... So not a great start for Sandstorm. <laughs> yeah. She's known for those uh, very sneaky quick denials, um, which is good. But um, hopefully Sandstorm can um, recollect and uh, uh, reapproach the attack. Blue's looking busy, very busy. Commander Snake's having another go. Oh, and oh two no. shot denial by the leg. Another two shot denial. Love those Guardian Angel uh, moments. <laughs> We got green players in blue base, and now red players in blue Lots base. Lots of players in blue base. It's a party blue at blue base. blue base. <laughs> that red defender's looking pretty lonely now. Yeah, having a sad time. I think that's mum on, in that sort of main spot there. Yeah, certainly could be. Yeah, I but I'm just doing Robo based on top. being active. It's either yeah. mum or Robo. Yeah. I think Robo's outside the other door. Yeah. They're trying to snipe some points from... Yeah, you can... yeah there he is. He's yeah. on that front door. Also looking a bit, a bit bored. <laughs> yeah. You got to do what you got to do, right? All right, and red team breaking into blue base again. They're holding on that ball tight, but um, getting tagged out by blue team. Uh, that guy taking his position as last line once more. Was blue still attacking green, do you think? Or are they just full defense again? Um, Yep, as we say that, Nickel oh, yep. walks there into is. green Ooh, base. Gonna get shot out there. Yeah, I thought he put a tag on the base before uh, he got into position, though, so I was like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> and we see the leg moving into green. Leg already has green, so hopefully he can get one of his teammates under or in the shooter spots. Yeah. There's a few shooter spots, but he seems there to be is. the main one at the moment. Yeah. Especially if there's a lot of action happening on that back door, you don't want to even try to take from that under yeah, spot. True. It's just too risky. Even taking from the half height's risky sometimes. Someone just ran into green. 
I, I, I have no idea you. what color they were. I'm, I'm going to start a petition to get rid of that <laughs> board. It is commentator's worst nightmare. If the in camera the moves in, somewhere else, maybe it won't be so bad. The one in blue base isn't too bad because you can still see their feet. You can't yeah. see anything with that green base one. Yeah. Lots of action happening in blue base. Green, red team going for the blue base. Zoropa with Ooh, two shots two on shot denied, denied by Dragon. Another that was a wonderful dive. Dragon. Red team Madness going Snake for the... going for red. Oh, sorry. That's what Oof. I meant to say. And taking it. Angel going for her green base. Zoropa going for blue base. Ooh, Angel Ooh, denied by Angel Gooby. denied and Zoropa secures. Zoropa picks up blue. So much happening. So much action. <laughs> very, very close game between Sandstorm and Crows there. Neck and neck on pack points and equal on bases. Chazawaz is really running away with the game here a bit with uh, four minutes left. <clears throat> We've got green team holding in their base, blue team holding in theirs, and red team holding in yep. theirs. So. Everyone's just kind of chilling in their defensive strategy at the moment, recollecting their attack. Yeah, everyone traded a base at seven and a half minutes. And, <laughs> and, got, and, then and went now home. we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Crows didn't quite pick up theirs. Yeah, they nearly had it, um, but wasn't quite able to. Red sort pushing of... back into blue again. Leg going for his blue base. Oh, is he going to get put a time? Shot on. Kenny, I was going to say, yeah. Kenny? <laughs> He took his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are having issues tagging the base. I don't think he even tried to tag it. He was just watching no, he both was, the doors at the I same time. I could see time. him, like, yeah. like oh, looking was he? up at a try. Yeah, he was no. trying while he was standing on that panel. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Just get good, right? Shoot where the sensors are. Yeah. The wise words of Tricky. Get good, it's Nicole's not hard. shooting green. Mm. Looking pretty safe. Yeah. He's cruising. Dragon had him from that front door. He was, he was set. I'd love to see the crows attacking red at some point here. Yeah, I think they could. I think they could definitely um, break through that defense. Um, and because red base has only gone down once to Sicarius, which I missed when that happened. Oh, and yeah, we, I, we saw that earlier on. Yeah, Just flew in one of the doors, killed everyone. Oh, nice. Best way to take the base. Oh, absolutely. So Chaz was is in a pretty comfortable lead here. Mm. The crows with that other base just putting them yeah. just enough ahead of Sandstorm. Robo going for his green base. Two tags. Mm, and Dragon safe. going for a red base. Dragon Ooh, denied Dragon by Red denied. Devil. Le red Devil gets denied as well. On the by the back. leg. And Robo secures. Chaz was his lead becoming even more comfortable now. Very, but Crows kind of running away go. from Sandstorm a little bit. However, they are a base up and only yeah. one K on pack points up. Um, but we'll see how they go with those denials. Hoping that uh, Angel and Dragon are out on attack right now, trying to get those those green or red bases. Mm. It is good to see that uh, Dragon or Gooby going for her red and takes that. Bum Ooh. going for green and Bro Dizzle going for blue. All of the bases. <laughs> yeah, another big trade. Yeah, unfortunately, Crows didn't take anything away from that exchange. And oh, no. Sandstorm, Sandstorm picked up two. Bases. Yeah, Sandstorm picked up two. Gooby took red and... Uh, Mum took Mom, green. So maybe Mom took green and Sandstorm might have dumped. Bro I think that's Commander blue. Snake walking through green base. Mm. So if Sandstorm have dumped, this would be a great opportunity for Crows to quickly go cycle yeah. their last two players through it. I'm just not sure where they are at the moment. So that's Angel, Angels in green. green. One. Oh, the back door. Oh, thank it's gosh. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very stress. even between Crows and Sandstorm now. Yeah. Dragon still to pick up a theoretically empty base. Yeah, in the last 30 seconds, hopefully Ooh. Dragon can get there. Bro Dizzle is... Ooh, one shot denied by the one leg. One shot denied in red. Yeah. That is Snake in blue. Ooh, Ooh denied by Ganon. Ganon. <laughs> yeah, I realised as I said it. <laughs> Commander Snake, uh, blue base is becoming very expensive. Yeah. That might be blue saving Dragon grace. Dragon going for her green. 
Beautiful. Yeah. So all green's done for Blue yeah. Jays now. Blue team. I think this is what we are seeing for the final score. Yeah. Oh, we'll mom get one more base. It's not really going to matter either way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, oh the devil, time to time deny. deny. No. Oh, they're always rough. Yeah. Um, so well done, Chaz Wazzes, for taking away that nice just under 50K score. Crows securing that second place and Sandstorm getting that third. Um, that was neck and neck between Crows and Sandstorm for like all game. Like you look at that worm and it's just like wiggling between one another. Yeah, it is. Whereas yeah. Chaz Wazzes were always like a solid amount yeah. ahead. Um, on our summary board, we see I see a lot of Zeropa's name there. There is highest tag ratio, highest tag streak, highest chain tags, most, most tags, tags while taking. taking. Oh, oh, it's I gone. And we just assume Zeropa got all the other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was Zeropa. all Zeropa. Yeah. Um, it's fine. <laughs> oh, look at our ref in blue base. He's taking a relaxing nap, <laughs> chilling on the ground. Yeah, so good win for uh, Taz Wazzes. Yeah. And um, yeah, a bit of a spicy second for... Spicy second indeed. Yeah. Um, the Crows. And just well played to everyone. Um, it was an interesting game to watch. Yeah. Three teams makes it a bit more interesting. <laughs> yep, yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it was showing the refs as a team that was playing for. Aftershock, yeah. Aftershock was refing a game and it was showing them as a team in the next game. Team four. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> nice. <laughs> you want to say that one a bit louder, buddy? Just uh, casual bants between our um, teams. So our next game has... Heretics on red, Apex on blue, and Aftershock on green. Ooh, an Adelaide sandwich. It certainly is. Heretics are going to be the, the Albury filling. The Albury filling. <laughs> Cake 2001, Albury definitely has five star lunches. You can get ham and cheese toasties at the site any time of the day. Yeah. They've got food. They've also got Pretty like good. chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. Yeah, chicken Very nuggies nice. and chips. <laughs> anyway, enough about food, focusing on the game. So, Mortis going for South Australia. Might have to yeah. be a tad Go more SA. specific there, buddy. I fully believe that at least one SA team will not come third. <laughs> That's a good prediction. That's a solid prediction. Thank you. I want to see Apex take this one. I also want to see Apex take this one. Yeah. Sorry, Aftershock. <laughs> I just like it when Apex win. It's... I'm one of their top fans on their Facebook Apex page. They have a page? Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. It's just like random photo, like blurry Well, it's run by these them. guys, so what do you yeah. expect? <laughs> oh, so Holmes, Holmes taking the first base of the game um, quite early and Ninja going for the second. Ooh, two shot to yeah. by Todd. He got tagged three times on his way there, got zero tags and took the base. Why does it say it's an infinite tag ratio, though? Because it's infinitely he... bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's zero, zero for four. I didn't know that's, that's a way to get an infinite tag ratio. He's cheating the system, <laughs> Gus. He's worked it out. <laughs> Never shoot anyone and you'll have an infinite tag yeah. ratio. Just and shoot bases. Therefore, an infinite <laughs> GLC on... On the solos list. We've cracked the code. <laughs> We've cracked the code. <laughs> so we see blue team holding under their base as red team try to run in. I can't see much happening at red. Oh, never mind. There's greens in red base. And you can see Beefy's bald head <laughs> in green base. Standing it's on so that back shiny. wall. Is that what I look like when I'm in that? Yeah. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. He looks good. <laughs> Holmes going for his red base. Looking and pretty safe. It. Yeah. Not on the infinite tag ratio. He's anymore. got some tags. He's now. got some tags. Yeah. <laughs> good job. <laughs> his tag ratio is way worse now that he's killed some people. 
Infinite looks way more impressive, even if you've only been tagged. True. No idea, still got an infinitely bad <laughs> damage. <laughs> Bakura's got a 200%, which is pretty good. I just... Beefy it's... also has a... Oh, <laughs> Benny's got 500%. Oh, damn. Uh, nice. To be fair, 5 to 2. Yeah. yeah. Uh, why is Beefy R2-D2? He's Beefy. This um, isn't right. He's kind of Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Ninja two-shot denied by Mikey. Ninja. Ninja's second two-shot denial for this He's game. being very expensive. Not a great start. Although 100% tag ratio. Yeah. Um, interesting hold in green base by Jesse there. He's holding on. He's... Yeah, I guess if there's no one on that other door, yeah. it's not a bad place to be. Absolutely, and he's got a teammate I can see just the yeah. edge of that pack there on that front. It's, it's a good strategy. I don't mind it. I like being under it there, when, on defense as well. Yeah. Not Firstly, on defense, I like to just anymore. pop the biggest, like, squat for the thighs yeah. behind that half height. Yeah, I've seen you in there. I really wish the camera could see <laughs> all of the, like, weird little crouches and squats that everyone does behind that half height. <laughs> Holmes is back in last line. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's got both bases, so you'd hope you'd send that him home. Yep. Send your teammates out. You got a higher chance of getting more bases. Back it's up to a hundred percent tag ratio. Nice. Oh, can't ever get the infinite now, buddy. But you keep trying. And everyone's tagged someone now, so there's no infinites of infinitely bad. Yeah. Although Beefy's got thirty three percent, so it's getting there. <laughs> Benny yeah. in blue. Oh, one shot time, I have no idea. I was going to say, there's a long yeah, period of time of between that around. name. Some between that tag, sorry. There. Mikey, you going to go to the third tag? There we go. Ooh, close. He, he, I think he missed a shot and then ran in for it in front of another blue player. Ooh. He, really he, took his, he took his time for it. Yeah. <laughs> Giving us a bit of a scare. It is easier to shoot than it was before, but I've still seen people have trouble with it. Yeah, I, like... If you're trying to take while watching the back door, um, yeah. you have to be careful not to tag where the Ethernet cable goes in. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's... Pat King was refing and he said, I shot the speaker when I missed it. So yeah. don't do that. Yeah, don't shoot the speaker. Yeah. Always shoot the flashing lights or the silver bits. Ooh, Jesse almost got into red and blue is and piggybacking. I was going to say, blue can't seem to hit the base. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. taking from under. Bakura taking directly under. Works out for him. Sorry, that was memeless. Not I wonder if that was Marmaduke trying to hit it and he already had it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> from the it pillar. was. Because I kept seeing yeah. him go to... He was shooting him. at it. And he's like, why isn't this working? Classic Apex Ooh, strategies. Skyrus one shot denied by Jesse there. So Heretic's doing quite well on pack points this game. Todd's in blue. Mm. Just got in there in a quiet Secures moment. His base. Almost got denied. Gets the base. First base for heretics. Mm. They're not far behind Apex, yeah, really. Yeah, to be fair, Apex is also negative 1,200 on one yeah, player. That is a good point. Pick it up, Ninja. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> buddy? <laughs> Here's Ninja in green. Yep. Nice. Secures it cleanly. And Jam, while this comp is streamed on Zeltac socials and uh, played under the Zeltac rulebook, it is still a New South Wales Laser Sports Association run comp. So any issues, please raise with them. We see green team trying to crack into blue base there, but blue holding an interesting hold there. Everyone seems to just be chilling in their bases, not worrying about too much at this moment. Apex have uh, caught up to Aftershock a little bit, which is um, good to see for them. Good to see for our predictions is as well. Is shooting jam? Yeah, shooting TV yeah. is jam. Sorry, shootin', that's why I just said. Yeah. Look, jam. If you oh, get shooting, shooting. <laughs> I didn't. I never. Just shooting. <laughs> I never saw the T. I thought it was shooting TV. Jam. If you start a petition saying that we should just change the schedule to start at the start times, so I'll sign it. All right. Benny I mean, taking his blue base. <laughs> So four bases of Aftershock. Pretty Relatively nice. comfortable ahead of Apex, but still anyone's game with five minutes left. Bakura going Bakura. for his green base. Ooh, two shot Ooh. one shot denied by R2-D2. By Beefy. Mm. 
Ninja taking his red base and taking it clean. Sorry, not cleanly. That, he's cleanly finally... in the last five minutes of the game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Clean adjacent. Clean except for the denials. Definitely didn't get four shots of denials on him. Heretics is setting back up inside red. Um, yeah, so blue defender getting tagged out there. Bro, leave the... Did... I was going to say, did you... Okay, I was going to say, is the ref going to turn that? Because he was down. I didn't walked, see that like, to the front door. Ex yeah, because there, there it is. The ref oh. is going to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that? <laughs> No, he walked, he got tagged, walked around the base, walked towards front door, walked towards back door, came back up, went into the panel to spot to hold oh, it. Oh, so he didn't actually exit the base? No! Oh, no. <laughs> he did a VG. Yep. <laughs> nice. And the rev's probably just like, um, <laughs> excuse you. So heretics, two bases behind Apex, have pulled ahead on packets, which is quite interesting. Mm. Uh, and Aftershock are only really one base worth of points yeah. ahead. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty close, especially if Heretics and Apex pick up another base each. Absolutely. It's, it's like Heretics, I like to be honest. Heretics are doing this, really I, well. They yeah. are. They are doing really well. I thought coming to this game, they might not be able to pull it. But then again. They got some good tag ratios down there. Yeah, absolutely. But also with uh, Apex and Aftershock having their like, yeah. I don't want to say historical beef, but like. They're from the same from side. The they they, they want to beat each other, you know? They're focusing on each other. Yeah, exactly. Heretics are, are slipping in the cracks. Yeah, absolutely. And they're like, it, it's leaving Ooh. them open for an opportunity for heretics to break through. There we have no it. No idea, idea just picks taking... up the base and then yeah. Apex and Aftershock are 100 points apart. Oh. It's going to be good. This is the kind Two of laser tag I'm left. here for. <laughs> this is the kind of game where we might need to check for any after game terms Could or do, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Excellent. How's your boba tea? My boba tea. Thank you. My team was amazing <laughs> and they went and picked me up boba tea while I was AUC on site. Is it good? <laughs> yes, it's very good. Well done, member. Aftershock back up. in front. Apex back in front. Heretics still need one more base and then they're going to be in the running. Yeah. And uh, beefy, beefy going for his blue, red Mama and Mama Duke and green. Oh, the base swap. But blue base is still up, so Heretics or Aftershock could take that. As and I say that, Heretics... Looking pretty safe in blue. Ooh. Apex may have dumped here. Really? What? No. Why? That's uh, what they do. What? <laughs> they're trying to throw the game. At this point, you want to yeah. keep Aftershock they, out well, of your base. They might not know that they're winning, so they don't know uh, that they're throwing. That's annoying. That is annoying. If they can trade bases for every base they lose, like, it's oh, fine. And, I mean, with the amount of time left, that is likely. Yeah. And if uh, Heretics Akura and Aftershock the, can keep each other out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and close things. someone on blue is back to get the denials. I think that's Marmaduke. Beautiful. And Marmaduke is, uh, has both bases, so he's clean to do that. Yeah. And hopefully... There's a lot of Heretics showing up, which might leave red empty for yeah. Aftershock to pick it up. Aftershock. Now that Apex has all five. Yeah. If heretics can get both blue bases in the last minute, blue then... and red going down. Oh god, it's gonna come down bases. to these last few tags. If Bakuri or No Idea can please get their green base, <laughs> <laughs> now's the time for it, Bakura. Let's go. Oh. The, the SA doesn't call it a dump. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, we just <laughs> lost the scoreboard for a second on our end. Sorry, Wildcard. <laughs> Stonk isn't after it, mate. Uh, a uh, Adelaide player. So this is a, a full Adelaide sandwich. Yeah. Oh, it is yeah. so true. I didn't even think about that. Oh, Stonk Ooh, denied, denied by Marmaduke. Marmaduke. Those denial points are going to be big for Apex. Bakura going for shock, his green base. Hundred points ahead. Oh, oh getting one shot denied by Marmaduke. Another Mikey. big denial for Aftershock. Oh. 700 points. So that was, yeah, if a thousand after points. Game, Oh, not quite a thousand points. But if there's an after game. If there's an after game, it could, it could flip. Uh, we'll, we'll hear in a second over the walkie talkies if there is Ooh. an after game. Walkie talkies. Well, our AECs have a walkie talkie, so they can go. Oh, that's clean cool. game. I don't know. 
let the refs come up and ramp. So really well played by Aftershock and Apex in this game. And even Heretics. And Heretics. That Heretics was... actually yeah. really in the running there. Absolutely. Um, fell short just a bit at the end, but like yeah. you look at the point of about a minute to go, where just before those ba- like just after those base takes, yeah. there, there was like a little bit of a jump. Oh, that is such a close game. Well played by everyone. Yeah, it was a good game. So on our summary board, Holmes with the Holmes and Todd with the same tag ratio. That that's impressive. <laughs> Don't see that very often. And then equal tag streak for Holmes and Mikey. Most equal tag ratio. Tags but I have to say, look at Todd's tags. Fifty six tags. That's that's solid. That's solid. Very solid. <laughs> well done, Todd. Wow. Yeah. At, with ten k one base. Got to be happy with that. Yeah. Well done. His real name's not Todd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> there was? There might be an after game. Oh, the AC just walked past. Come back. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Who's not our next game shifter? Oh, sorry. Um, I should do my <laughs> job. <laughs> um, we've got Illiterates on blue, Canberra Crows on green, and the Quackening on red. Should yeah. be fun. Oh, we might have been lied to. Oh. One would have been an in-game. One would be an in-game because there was an in-game term yeah, on Bakura. Bakura. Yeah. Uh, Apex. An- oh. Benny. Benny. Apex or Benny is Aftershock. Aftershock. So Benny is on Aftershock. Who was it on? Who's the, who's the, off, who's the term on? Who was it on? Benny. 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 So that's, so that's an after-game on uh, after Benny. So Apex win. I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> The terms, no. So well done, Apex, for your win. Congrats, guys. That's that's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, R.I.P. Benny. R.I.P. Benny uh, for the directional went zone. Went the wrong way through a directional zone. Yeah, so whether that be could be the blue the base blue one, weird area, or, or the a blue reload. base reload has just been changed it has, yeah. to a different direction. I from... went the wrong way through that in training yesterday. <laughs> During training, I did it too. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> and then today with the, I think it was um, Archangels. It was like um, Mantis and I and someone else was following me and we all just like <laughs> went directly up to the front of the relay, like, like the wrong oh, side. No. <laughs> and then Mantis stopped and was like, oh, I would have followed you straight through that. <laughs> and someone like ran into me. It's like the double like, turn. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's all go through the other one. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Love a good relay train. Um, yeah, so the damn, other game I'm has lucky started, Aftershock. That's rough. We, yeah, all good. Um, so we'll get the scoreboard up in just a second. <laughs> Did you see that score? Quickly, like, look at the scoreboard. Yeah, it's still up here. After shock on 37,806. Apex on 37,147. After game on Benny. Yeah. Damn. What's juicy? Ah, here we go. So. We got a camera. I just heard red team get denied. Um, don't know where. Um, seems is that be... that guy in red? Yes, that is that guy in red. Which? Uh, I... No, it's not. No, I thought... that's nickel in yeah. green. Green, they... packed blue base. Chaz was are in red. Yeah, no, Quackening's on red. Chaz was aren't in this game. Oh. Chaz was the red next game. It does say Canberra Crows are in the next game as well, so that's wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, tech team. Um, yeah, so we've got illiterates in blue, crows on red, green, and <laughs> quackening on red. Garn going for his blue base. Come on, come Ooh. on. Oh, my Ooh, God. he stuck his laser he so He stuck his... Around. Oh, that so stressed me out. We might have lost some stats at the start there because Nickel's on minus 500. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, so it looks like so Nickel has were been denied. Correct, but denials aren't going to show off for the first couple of minutes. Yeah. So. So good start for the Crows. Got their only base. Green team breaking into Ooh, blue Nickel. base. Nick going for his blue. Oh, denied by SSG. He was so exposed to that yeah. front door. He kind of moved around a lot. I think he might have been getting calls from the other side yeah. as well. Yeah. So Krakening picked up a base. Illiterates, however, still ahead just on packets mm. and denials. SSG getting some denials of value. Yeah. Getting that good value. What are your predictions for this game? <sighs> My predictions. My heart wants crows. <laughs> um, what does your but... brain say? <laughs> I actually think crows have a good chance of winning this one. If they play this correctly and they're... They've had a good start so far. Yeah, and they play... I don't want to say two... Like, they... They do have a very strong defense, and that's what they're confident with. But they need to be able to be more aggressive with their attacks. Yeah. Um, you know, um, I know, like having played with both Dragon and Garn um, on the Dragons last year, I know they have the ability to push for those harder, harder Definitely attacks. Do, yeah. They just need to have a bit of directional. Like, because having you as Captain. Someone's going to yell at them. Yeah, like, someone's going to yell at them. Go shoot some people. Yeah. And then they know what to do. Yeah. But Nickel does sometimes get a bit <laughs> preoccupied with the, the, the smaller picture than the bigger picture. Nickel but gets red base. As I speak of Nickel, he gets his red base. So that is good. Uh, it's a good start to the game. Uh, that guy on a 1,100 tag Ooh. ratio. 11 for one. Ooh. Solid. <laughs> uh, that guy is um, one of my biggest pains in the bum at leagues uh, <laughs> when it comes to me tacking bases. He's generally my kryptonite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's a very good last line. Um, and his team uses and abuses that. To be fair, mine do too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got a little bit of action happening in green base, but people getting tagged out, so they're chilling. We see a green person holding red base. Yeah, I think Nicole that is... just took the base from there and has stayed there for <laughs> a minute now. Hey, you do what you gotta do. He's probably trying yeah. to get his teammate in. Absolutely, yeah. Dragon just got shot out as well. Mm. Red attacking. Plank going for and his blue. Plank tanking blue. Plank so two, is clean. Blue, two apiece for Kraken and Crows, and yeah. Illiterates are still one base worth of points behind Crows, and yeah. holding ahead of Kraken with zero bases, yeah. which is pretty solid. Yeah. So Plank has both his bases, so I hope to see him go home now. Dragon going for her red base. Taking that cleanly. Well nice. done. Yeah. Um, so Plank will hopefully be going home to red base to defend and send out their Someone other attacker. Else. Yep. Someone. Um, I think we see Garn holding in a red base now. He's ready. He's, he's raring to go. Don't peek your phaser. Don't peek <laughs> your phaser, please, dear oh, God. He killed someone on the run in there, which is nice. <laughs> he's ready to shoot the base. He he's wants so it. ready. He's, so, he's hungry. so hungry for that base. Denied. Oh no! <sighs> who do, who got that? Was BMW. that BMW? Yeah. Oh, well done, BMW. Nice. Simi going for her green, and she takes that cleanly. Mm. So that's a really strong base for Quackening. They are a bit down on the pack point side of things. They're about two k down on pack points, yep. and Crows are leading in that regard. But Illiterates, no bases, eleven k pack point. So that if you is... added nine k to the Illiterate score to be even base. They'd be ahead. Yeah, like absolutely. A few thousand points. Just aren't as strong on that base count yeah. side of things That's and hurting. cracking. Yeah, uh, which is definitely an area they could work on for future um, comps. Garn going for his red, red base underneath, and he gets takes it, it out. Yeah. Good, good. Garn's done now. Elmo going for his blue base. He seems so covered. Yeah, his yeah. his teammates Simmy's in there with him. Elmo had that. They were they were good. A lot of bases going down in the last couple of minutes. Yeah, like that worm is very uh, bouncy going up. Yep. Bouncy. That's... Bouncy worm. It's like a staircase. There you go. That's a better, that's a better description. <laughs> Ooh, someone so, blue doubled running into red. Looking pretty Wolfie good. Wolfie going for his green base. Ooh, two shots to my bed, that guy. 
who nice. is on a 480%, 500%, 500% tag ratio, two denials. Ooh. Pogsley just getting one shot denied by Plank and Exile going for his red base. Exile picks up the first yeah. base for Illiterates. Well done, Exile. Piggybacking off his teammates deny. Nice. Someone's got to do it. If you're going to get denied, you might as well let Fine, I'll piggyback. do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Quackening is holding blue for like... Oh yeah. Simi going for a blue base. Nice. I like to think that... Another base for Panicking. Two bases for Illiterates now. I think Illiterates have dumped. You think so? Well, they're not defending. They're not at home. There's greens and reds at blue. Yeah. There's reds and red and green. Is that? I think that green? might be Mon or uh, Cornetto yeah, there's in green. Now. Cornetto, yeah, Cornetto's in green. And there's, I think, Dragon yeah. on the back door. Certainly could have dumped. Someone's walking um, around outside the front there, but Cornetto's Nickel in covered. green base. So yeah. Crows haven't dumped. Cornetto going for her blue. I hope there's someone on that yeah. A door. Yeah, there's a green outside that okay, A door good. as well. There's greens on both doors. Excellent. So keeping it nice and safe. And now they're getting that guy into the base. So Luffy hopefully he picks up a third base for illiterates. Yeah. Putting them only about three thousand points behind packeting. So Oof. it's getting tight. It is. It is. <laughs> so crows are in a great position here. If illiterates have dumped, they've still got two more bases to pick up in blue. Three mm. more bases, sorry, because nickel didn't actually get it. Yeah, illiterates are definitely, they're, they're climbing now. Yeah, dragon going for a blue base. Yeah. Quackening are the ones who are going to be in a, in a tough spot here. For sure. Um, with only two and a half minutes left, so that's limits the base numbers yeah. a bit. If Quackening keep getting bases at the rate they're getting it, they're going to win, for sure. Quackening? Yep. Oh, I thought you meant illiterates. Oh, sorry, illiterates, yeah. If illiterates like, keep getting bases the way they have in the last two minutes. Yeah, sorry. I was like, Quackening? <laughs> <laughs> the other team. Yeah, absolutely. And it's neck and neck between Kato, really well. Krakening and Illiterates. And yeah. Illiterates are still a base down. That, that guy, guy going for ooh, his blue. takes out the player running in to get him. Oh, just. Nice. It was like that back door was so covered in hot. Only Nickel for Crows needs blue. Yeah. Panicking gets another base for Illiterates. So they are a full base ahead of Krakening yeah. now. And by the looks of it, if Nickel gets blue, uh, Illiterates and Crows might swap. So crows then attack red and illiterates attack Possibly, green. Yeah. Um, and because that seems to be how they're going so far. Although, as I say, this quackening is in red, and there are well, some... illiterates have a good uh, swap on bases. So I think they've been bouncing between. Yeah. The SSG going for her green and taking that. Yeah. Well done, SSG. She's having a I killer game. I with... just saw Garn checking if he had blue or not yet. <laughs> Classic Garn. Yeah. So red are holding red down pretty good for the moment. So by looks like we need Dragon and Garn back in defense. And Nick needs to go to blue. Yeah, Nick needs Nick's the, he's there. He's there. Good. He's shooting it from a weird sneaky corner. <laughs> and probably for the best as Maybe. people ran in, yeah. yeah. I think um, he under the base. Now you just need better. that guy on Cornetto out to red so, and send the rest home for yeah. defense. They either need to stop Illiterates from getting so many bases or yeah. keep getting bases. So having red. presence at both your base, yeah. sorry, at both green base and red, and red base, base yeah. is a good strategy here yeah. for them to prevent them getting extra points. The Quackening need to pick up another two bases. They should be able to get the empty blue base now. SSG picks up a, third, a second base, another base for Illiterates. Looking pretty good for Illiterates here. Yeah, Crows are pulling ahead on the packets a bit. Phoenix takes the empty blue base. Hopefully they tell BMW to go there next. And Wolfie going for his green base. So that's eight bases for Crows and Illiterates. Yeah. And about 3,400 points between them. Pretty close. It's close. It, I, there's just enough time for one more base take if they go for it, but... Might just not quite be enough. Green, red team in Backing green. Yeah, in there green. we go. That's oh, it. Well done, Crows. Right. That was a very well-played game. Yeah. Um, also, well done, Illiterates. You Illiterates, guys played that long haul like, and really well. If the game had gone for another minute, they might have been ahead. Oh, they definitely yeah. would have been because, like, they, they had been crushing that on the pack points all game. Like, way back at the start, they had 11K pack points and no bases. And everyone else was on, like, about yeah. three or 4K pack points with three bases each. The respawn time on bases, I think, is about 28 seconds or something. Yeah, it's uh, 20 seconds down. 20 seconds down? I thought it was between 20, 20 seconds. Sorry, 20 seconds of what we do is a bubble, so 25 seconds yeah. downtime, I think. Yeah. So in theory, you can get each base every 30 seconds. Oh, 
Well, big tag ratio for that guy with 271. Very mm. nice. Whew. Yeah. Highest tag trick also goes to that guy in Garn with a tie of eight. Um, highest tra- chain tags goes to Garn on five. And chain tags, for those who don't know, is um, tagging someone consecutively, uh, like tagging multiple people in a row within, a, I think it's a five second time frame. So Something like that. Yeah. I, I tag Gus, and I tag Sadlamp, and then I tag Whip It all in like 15 seconds. That's a three chain streak. That's a three tag. Tag. tag three tag chain streak. It's effectively 30 down, but I think it is technically slightly under 30. Yeah. So SSG got three denials, which is pretty solid. Ooh, our next game. Sorry, I'll do my job. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Do you want to do it? Oh, that's right. Our next game, we have Riptide, Sandstorm, and Olympus. Yeah, no worries. So, yes. Who do you think is going to win? Riptide, Sandstorm, and Olympus. Uh, I'm more who you want to win. Same to you, chat. Let me know your predictions for this next game. Riptide, Sandstorm, and Olympus. Um, It'll be interesting. I think Riptides are the favorites, right? I think they're, yeah, based on those numbers, 12th, 19th, and 15th. It'd be Riptide first, Olympus so second. So I'm going to go with Riptide first, Olympus second, um, and Sandstorm third. I'd love to see Sandstorm get a mix up here, though. I was, I'd love to see Olympus get a mix up here, because yeah. I reckon, like, they've, they've been playing well. They've just been, like, lacking something. I don't know what it is they've been lacking, but they've been lacking something. Yeah. And I think if they just kind of put their heads together and, like, really pull ahead, they might be able to. Like, their game earlier, to their first game of uh, Cascades, uh, it was them... Literates, I think, and someone else, and yep. they were like one. They were like ahead of the pack. They were crazy on pack point all game, and then just in the last second, yep. lost it base count wise. Like lost it base wise. If they just sent one of their teammates out to a base, it yep. would have been fine. And That's tough. Yeah, tis rough. Um, <clears throat> I have this. Yeah, yeah. That uh, I don't know if that one's been opened, has it? No. Cool. Yes. Water for commentators. We've got to keep our voices. <laughs> Alrighty. I'd say, though, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Riptides win either. They're a, they're a solid team. We're going to keep our voices what? I don't know. Lubricated. I don't know. <laughs> Velvety and beautiful. Yeah, Drake's right. There has to be a, uh, a rule against backing the expected order. <laughs> I'm here for this. <laughs> well. Oh, my God. The next game. Riptide aren't doing great so far. It's early days. It's early <laughs> days. <laughs> um, so I see a lot of support for Riptide and some support for Sandstorm in the chat. That is good to see. Um, next game is a Canberra Sand. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, Aubrey somehow the meeting in the sandwich again. With <laughs> it's always the way. Or, or the feeling of your choice. We've got green team in blue base. That were they trying to go for a Ooh. wild take? <laughs> there was people everywhere. Were they loves Ooh. a wild take? <laughs> Plays with wild card. <laughs> Oh, dear. So Cool Beans is going to be very happy with his nice early base. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't even see it go down. I'm, I'm silly. Um, I think it yes. was quite early on. Yeah, probably. Um, so we're going pretty defensive. Yeah. There's a few players trying to run into green. Red and blue are both under their bases. Yeah. I think red team... Lacking on the pack points as um as well as base yeah. count so far, um but they're very they're holding a very strong defense right now. Um, I think we've got blue team on the back door of red though, so we might see Could do. a little bit of a push happening there. But no, so many red, red team just converges. I think red team's doing a bit of like a four man defense with a one man sort of running around the maze trying to get points. Maybe certainly could be the case. Red player Pug Salad has run into green. And secures that cleanly. Getting value for that one player. Yeah. Wearing a dragon's shirt, so you've got to support that. You've got to respect it in the, <laughs> in the photo there. Absolutely. I took the photo, I was like, good shirt <laughs> choice, my friend. <laughs> Dart going for his blue base. Oh, no, the red player. 
Oh, oh Pug Salad getting more value there. Two shots. If Pug Salad is just running around solo, they're doing such a That's good job. That's crazy. Um, based on the points, Hazmat might also be running around, but he could also Possibly. be sniping from that front yeah, sort of area. Might just be like the outermost defender. Yeah. Wild. Oh, there's definitely two players at two red players at blue. Base okay. Now. Yeah. And there's some greens there. Oh, Dart going for it again. Oh, no, blue. Oh, Ooh. Dart. So sorry, that was worthy. Gooby gets the denial dark. and worthy. Um. Is that three shots and nine, five I shots. Can, I can hear Gooby yelling it. something in the maze as well. Yeah. Very distinct voice. A lot of the feminine voices are very distinct. And I loud. think Gooby's is the most, the most distinct. Red team cracking into blue base. Pug, Pug just going crazy. Yep. Absolutely wild, flailing himself around that maze. Um, just waiting for those clear calls. I'm sure. Getting his teammate in. How's Matt going for the base? Oh, not the back door. Back door. Ooh. Ooh. They both you shot gotta at each watch other your and there door. was no, like, no hit. You do have to watch he the was, door. He was just looking straight up at the base. He yeah. needs to. So Sandstorm pick up their first place and Rocket up into first place. Yeah. Nice base for Bro Dizzle there. Hug going for his blue. And taking that cleanly. So Pug Salad is done. Um, I don't. I think he might be one of their lead attackers. So we might see him stay out and help Hazmat just get a base and then go Possibly. home. Yeah. Um, but which would not be bad value because he's just oh absolutely he's going insane. Yeah. Um. So we'll see how he goes from there. Still a lot of red players yeah. in like blue base there. Still a lot of red players at red base. Um, Hazmat going for his blue. Oh, gets it just it. in time. Yeah, it just in time close. for that uh, blue player. Um, so that's good to see for them. We might see them bounce back to green or go home and pick up a uh, jam volley or red. Yeah. Bread. Limpers have got to do something. Yeah, they they had a good start with that early uh, cool bean space, but then yeah. had rough no five shots of denials in uh, blue base. So. Maybe have to look at red base, but also red base is... It's locked down. Hot, hectic. Very hectic, yeah. Red team just casually waltzing into Standing blue base there. Blue. <laughs> I think that's red. No, that's hazmat. I lie. That's hazmat. I was going off of the shoes because that, that board blocks faces. Yeah. Olympus looking a bit lost, walking around in their own base. Yeah. No one else is there. <laughs> oh, here's Dart in blue. Oh, please. Oh, no, oh, no not again. Another denial for Gooby. That's the fourth Gooby's Gooby crushing denial. up on the denials. And three <laughs> denials for Red Devil. They're, getting, they're doing a lot of work Getting there their defense. value. Brodizzle going to his red Bro base. Dizzle, yep. Two bases of Brodizzle. So that nice. is the first red base of the game. Well done, Bro Dizzle. And that, that means he's done. He's done. So he might head home now and send out maybe his other defenders to attack. Someone's in blue who's down. Oh, there you go. They worked it out. Good job. Oh. 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 That's sad. <laughs> red Devil knew he did it wrong. So, just, I think so, he might have got tagged right as he was running in and just not noticed because he took that wall position. And so then I think quick. he like realized yeah. his lights were on and they powered up right in front of the ref as walking out of the maze and like, all right, come and turn me. Yeah. And he just made eye contact with the ref yeah. and the ref's like, yeah, yeah. come here, buddy. <laughs> it is. It's a, it's a rough time. It's the second time that someone's been done for that in this yeah. game, in this Cascades. Speaking of people doing well, though, like, sorry, I saw something in the chat. Volley on a 600% tag ratio. Yeah, very Insane. nice. Insane. Um, he's only been tagged three times. So, I think he might be that last line there. It must be, yeah. Getting tagged just enough Ooh, to, uh... The green players killed a lot of people running into blue. Yeah. That's Dart, I think. Yeah, that is Dart. And then someone already got that base, though. Yeah, he does. He needs... He's trying to get Ooh. his teammates in. Here comes the flood of red. Yep. 
Jam going for his blue base and taking that cleanly. Nice. Um, the Riptide looking pretty comfortable now. Yeah, that base. absolutely. 10k ahead of Sandstorm. So 2k, or what is it? Two bases ahead, so 4k packets ahead. Yeah. Pretty comfortable place to be. Yeah. And Sandstorm leading on those pack points on Olympus. A lot from those denials, though. Yeah. Like seven shots of denials on people. That, that's a lot of points. It is. It's what you want to happen when you're kind of doing that heavy defense. At the oh, start. absolutely. Just people are running in and getting denied all over the place. It's, it's, it's a juicy time. Yeah. <sighs> Yawn. Very tired, yeah. <laughs> it's always these, these short weekend comps make everyone yawn. Yeah. Snake going for his green base. He takes that cleanly. Nice. Um, That's good for Sandstorm. Yeah. They're going to um, need a few more bases like that to keep competing with Riptide, but yeah. that base is going to help to keep him ahead of Olympus. Absolutely. Um, but if they can secure a couple more bases and, like, also maintain their defense. Mm -hmm. They could definitely overtake Riptide. However, uh, I don't know what Olympus is doing. I haven't seen many of them for a hot minute. Like to be fair, yeah. you also can't see much into green base. It's not not a great spectator base now. Um, so I see Blue Lee's just gotten under yeah. into the, the main spot. He's he's been doing quite well this comp. He's improved greatly since uh, pre Nats two. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so a few red players trying to push into green now, getting shot up before they make it. Blue base are back on defense, and Olympus's defense finally putting some work in. Yeah, oh, wild card going for his blue base. Oh, the blue coming in at the back door. No. He shot his teammate instead of the person. Oh, no. Oh, that's rough. That's, oh, that's a lot of denials on blue base now. But Dart has his blue, so that's, that's good. Yeah, big red picks up a base as well. Commander Snake going for his red base. And he takes Looking that suit. Yeah. Wild card pick up another base for Olympus. Yep. There we go. Things are starting to get exciting in the last two minutes. Yes, everyone kind of going, oh no, are we winning or are we <laughs> losing? Let's find out. <laughs> Lots of reds at uh, blue base. Wow, we. Yeah. Um, and blues in red base. I was going to say, sure with that many reds at. Um, with that many reds at. Um, blue base, you'd want to see people trying to capitalize on their base not being as full. I think Riptides might feel like they're not winning at this point. And Ooh. Cool Bean's getting his red base. Well done. I feel like Riptide probably know they're winning. I'm sure they do, but why have they, like, somewhat dumped? Well, now they haven't dumped. No, but they went. There was, like, four of them at blue base yeah. for a second there. There's three of them still at blue base. Three of them still Two of them under red. Y'all don't need that many people there. <laughs> If that's where all the players are, maybe Yeah, they do. true. Points, points for days. Volley, maintaining that high tag ratio Not all as game. high as it was. Not I think he, he might have gone out to attack a little he bit. He did. He got... He, he took... Uh, he went out with Hazmat to try and get blue, but didn't get in. Yeah. All right. Is there time enough for one more base in the game? No. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't try. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate. Yeah. So quite a few denials that game, which was uh, unfortunate to see if you're on Olympus, but great if you're on the other teams. So yeah, a bit of a mix up with Sandstorm team that yeah. was 19th, beating Olympus with second place there. Riptide with their expected first. Pretty, pretty solid game for them. Yeah, absolutely. See, what I was saying at the start of the game, that Olympus was kind of lacking sometimes in things. That, that, yeah. that shows exactly what I was talking about. And just reading because... from chat there, well done, teams. I couldn't agree more. Good job, teams. Yeah, let's go, teams. Yeah, Riptide's tag ratios were cooking. They were cooking, that's for sure. With, uh, oh, I thought it was the same for a second. I swear I can read numbers. 
Um, I was going to say jam and pug salad with very, very similar tag ratios. Um, doing quite well there. So coming into our next game, we've got the Canberra Crows, the Heretics, and Tag Your It. Now, we all love a good old Canberra sandwich. How do you think this one's going to go? Well, last time, so Canberra Crows are the B team for Canberra. And Tag Your It is kind of the C team and some extras. Yeah. Uh, but the last, in the round robin, Tag Your It beat the Crows. And now the Crows have a bit of a, a vengeance thing going yep. on. They're, they want to beat Tag Your It. Real bad. May or may not have been a crisis meeting after that game. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the third team in that game? In that, I think it was Heretics. <laughs> I literally think it was Heretics. Rematch. Yeah. <laughs> this is their their chance to redeem themselves. Yeah. Who are you rooting for? I I think it'd be very funny if Tagiri won again. <laughs> I don't think they even won. I think they the are Heretics here, won. right? They are. They are here. I'm sorry. That's this will be their sorry. first game in Kask. Woo. <laughs> uh. I hope they're here. They might have just gone home. They might have just driven. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're done. Last one. See what happens. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I think. Um, Crows, yeah, they're, 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 they've got to drive to win this game. I also think. Really funny if there was like a double dump. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. <laughs> you know, with with camera teams, it's always wild. Like maybe you never heretics know. Will dump. Maybe her maybe the heretics are like, oh, it's two camera teams. Let's dump. Let's dump. That'll Let's show them. <laughs> They'll never see it coming. <laughs> the triple dump would be insane. <laughs> um. So, chat, let's hear it. Who are you going for in this next game? Canberra Crows, Heretics, or Tag Your It? Five minute break. All right, so there's a quick technical break to make sure everything's working correctly. Well, while there's a technical break, I might leave you to quickly so, keep people occupied while I uh, pop the bathroom real quick. Okay, sounds good. Crows all the way from a very unbiased opinion. Bill <laughs> Mags. <laughs> I think Crows can do it. I think Crows are going to take this game for sure. Anyone else in chat have some predictions for this game? Someone else reckons crows. Heretics are one spot above the crows in the in the ladder at the moment, so they'd be the predicted first. But uh, it is pretty close. I think all a couple of these teams might have had very similar competition points. So heretics may only be ahead in average score. Come back. Welcome back. So what is what does everyone vote? So crows and crows. We got some crows fans yeah. in chat. Let's go. Did you bring the brownies in and leave them all the way along the side of the room? I did. You don't have to go get them. Volunteering. A lot of brownies. Thank you. 
Buffett did stick his head in the room before because he was going to come to it. And his, his throat might be sore or something. Thank you for, like, it's fine. You can rest. I am surprisingly, normally at this point in a competition, I might be a bit like lagging on the voice because for those who don't know, Shifter, myself, I am very loud. I am probably one of the loudest players in Laser Tag. Um, <laughs> Sad Lamp says I am the loudest player and he nearly cried in a game yesterday against <laughs> us when I was calling in front of his ears. <laughs> was that the game when I was like, call more? <laughs> yeah, Gus is like, I can't hear you, be louder, call more. And <laughs> no, 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 this is a game against Rampage that we won. That game was also It didn't feel like a win when we were in there. <laughs> Um, and then Sad Lamp heard Gus asking me to be call louder and call more, and he basically cried. It wasn't louder, it was just more. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> I wanted to say you killed Sad Lamp. Kill Sad Lamp? Kill Sad I, Lamp I tried. I was doubling me. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do this thing. Oh, look at all those beautiful faces. Ooh, Todd going for an early red base. Oh, secures that, cl secures that cleanly. Very nice. Great start for the heritage. There's brownies there. Oh, no. And the brownie seal. The baked goods have arrived. They're gluten free They're and gluten -free. dairy free. They're really healthy. That's what I'd already been doing. I've been making some ones. Nice. <laughs> we'll save them. Because they'll be simply because you requested. You're good. Nick going for his green base. Oh, and taking it cleanly. Nice. That is a good start for the Crows. Heretics uh, still leading on the pack point. Taggart, I think they're trying to defend their base. Who knows what they're trying to do? I, I just saw Joe, sorry, Nivier on the back door, and then I think that's. Yeah. Deimos on the A door. No, Jono on the A door. There's still a red player underneath their base. So yes. Whatever they're doing, they're going to do it. Although they are in the red base as well. True. Or at least um, Rocky was trying to be. Skyros, Skyros, however, is going to piggyback off Rocky's yeah. proper Llama Bats run in there. Yeah. It's hard commentating yeah. them <laughs> and calling them their aliases that I never call yeah. them. Garner Gun. is under red. Takes it. Green. Two red. Green. Two green bases for red team. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, got... Angel's actually in red. Ooh, trades with the player though. <laughs> well, I don't even know what's happening at the moment. <laughs> There's um, a lot going on. Yeah, there the start is. Of this game. Red team. Starts of the other games base. have been pretty quiet. Yeah, this has been a nice quick start. It's the chaos factor. It is. Um, green team trying to crack into the back door of red base, but unfortunately getting tagged out before Llama Bat can do anything. Um, Skyros going for his green base. One tag. Ooh, Ooh two shots tonight by order. By order. <laughs> he doesn't have a real name. What do you mean? <laughs> Always laser tag names. So tag it does need to get some bases at some they point. They do. Although they are doing terribly on pack. They're doing okay. Yeah. Um, they've got some nice denial bonus there. Yep. Crows have had a pretty good start there. They have. They've had a, a killer start with. Their base, their base having gone down twice, but they, Monique, sorry, Cornetto holding in that sort of under yep. of red base. I was taking photos in the maze yesterday and I saw a game where she was in there and she was just crushing it. Like, nice. It was against Aftershock and they, oh, yeah. they couldn't get her out. Wow. Even though they knew she was there, they yeah. just could not tag her out. It was really good to see. Love Nickel to see under that. blue base. Two tags. Looking good. Lots and of red players so there. so many red players there. Ooh, they are he so... did get shot right as he put the oh. last shot in. That was close. Yeah. But he was so clear for the most part. Yeah. But now Nickel has both bases. Hopefully we'll see him run back I think home. that's Llama Bat getting set back up inside blue yeah. now that Nick left. Yes. Based on that stance, I think it is Llama Bat. Yep. Uh, we do see Nickel trying to crack into red green base there. Uh, maybe they've pulled a Bounce, but there's still a lot of red players. There's a lot blue. of red. Whoa. Blue is busy. Green attack and blue attack there. Llama, Llama Bat. 
gets in and yes. takes it. Tag your it got a base. Nice. Excellent, guys. They are above. They are ahead. They're getting close. On heretics. Yep. Um, heretics did have a really good game before, so hopefully they're able to maintain that um, yep. momentum. However, this is a very different. This this game will have a very different play style if they don't thrive in the chaos. Yeah. Might not. Cornetto well. setting up under blue. So Nichols on defense now. But it does look like crows are still kind of like getting into bases at yeah. least, which is good. Cornetto getting tagged out by uh, Vassity there. Yeah. And being spot being filled by by, by Vassity. Yeah, I, I can I can tell people <laughs> hard. <clears throat> The blue back set back up in defense. One player on both sides. Bit of action at the front of red base with some green players running in. Ooh. Order oh. in red. Denies order though Ooh. by Nickel. That was that was a well timed denial. Waited yeah. until he was looking away. Yep. And and dived. That was that was well done, Nickel. Um, sorry, order. Get good order. <laughs> we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's crows. Hell. Holly. Sorry. Hell yeah, hell hell okay. <laughs> Thought yep. so. Go, Nickel. He's yes. doing really well. He is. He's, he's crushing it. Both again. bases. Good tag um, ratio. First denial. place. Denial. Garn going for his blue base. Garn in blue. One shot. Looking pretty safe. Can't hit he it. Can't hit it. Can't hit it. Garn, Shoot it, please. Garn. One more. Oh my god. Oh, far out, Brussels sprout. Don't just stand there, Garn. <laughs> he's shooting it. Standing watching back door. Yeah. And well, that's he, the he, one spot where the Ethernet port yeah. is. So you can't hit it. Oh, God. Odera picks up a denial on Skyros and has red base now, though. True. So that's good for Tabby, yeah. right? They're getting pretty close to the heretics now. Garn going for his blue base again. Garn please. trying from Two, the three. other side. Puts his Dragon gun was right a... up there. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart, 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 smart. We were being told by some of the Aubrey players, you have to do it. You have to tag that base in a high hold because otherwise it just... Yeah. Doesn't like to respond. We should probably tell Garn that or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> a green gets shot out by Nicola in the red base again. He does struggle with this. <laughs> he sometimes. does sometimes. It's always blue base but too. He, like Garn was just standing there, like shooting at the base, no red gear, and he just looks at the ref like he's expecting the ref to do something <laughs> about it. Ref can't do anything, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Deimos getting his red base. Yeah, well nice done. Deimos. One of our new up and coming juniors. Ex junior. Like, now a senior. Still a child. <laughs> <laughs> it counts. He would be able to play juniors at nationals. So, would he? Yeah, okay. he's, he's oh, only cool. like 16 or 17. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Same with Lachlan. Yeah. They're wee nice. babies. Yep. So tag you ahead of Heretics now after Damos picked up that yeah. base. Yeah. I mean, they... not too far behind Crows. Lachlan yeah. as well. Inside well done, red Lachlan. takes it. I thought there was the a nice red player in the in like the main yeah. spot there, and I was like, "Oh, buddy!" He did a good little like wiggle across from like the middle <laughs> of the base to the side, like realizing it was in cover as well. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's good. He's they're, they're, they're learning. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Three red bases in a row for tag. You're it. Yeah. Have the crows dumped? No. No, no, because there's someone still under. under. I just think that they they had a moment, and now the moment is recovering. <laughs> There is still green on the back door yeah. of red, though. I think that's Nivier. Well, I, maybe Garn got that denial and it was like, all right, all five people come help me get this space. I need it. <laughs> Ooh, Cornetto going for her blue. blue. Oh, please don't hold there. That is so open. Nah, easy. She had someone covering behind her. I didn't see any lights. No, I just saw a blue I. player standing there waiting to come up yeah. and I had fear. Easy base for Cornetto. Easy base. <laughs> Said that and got glared at by the uh, tech team. <laughs> Team chat. Huh? You okay. may no longer have a team. Oh no. Todd oh, going for his green base. Denied by Garn. Denied by Garn. Sorry, Stonk getting Stonk two shots denied, denied by Garn. Todd getting Todd gets green, green base. So they were attacking both bases. Yeah, at the there same was time. so much happening. Yeah. Hey, one, and one defending. Out of two. That's not bad. Base, yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> Good effort. Whoa. The red get camera is having a seizure. Oh Epilepsy my god. Epilepsy in red base. Yeah. Um. Heretics have, with that base, taken second place back off Tag Your It. Crows, however, in a commanding lead. A commanding, commanding lead, Commanding eh? lead. Yep. I like that. 
and uh, that lead just gets stronger with Cornetto Picking getting up her, her green second base. base for green. Dragon and Angel to go with bases. Indeed, and we've got blue player cracking into red base there. I might see Heretics pick up another base here. Certainly oh, could. Whoa. Ooh, both people exiting one that one man zone. zone. <laughs> the red players are back now, though. I didn't see them for a second, and then just all of a sudden there were four of them there. Uh, stonk so should have been yeah, termed possibly. for that. My god. I, they exited pretty both exited No, 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 pretty no, no, no. But in Hobart, it was like you yeah. put a toe into that one man zone and you got termed. No, no, no. None of this double standard crap. <laughs> I don't think there was any unsafe play there. I think we should do it on principle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'm just a very harsh ref. Maybe. Ooh, Odeur, two shot denying stonk in green base there. That's very not stonks for stonk. Two two shot denials is pretty rough. Um, blue team trying to crack into the f uh, front door of green base there. Ooh, a red player here though, smacking Ooh, oh my into God. blue. So many reds. Does get shot out. Dragon's putting get... shots in. Oh, I think everyone's one, dead. One, two, nice. Takes it out. Yeah. Well done, Dragon. And now they just need to get Angel into that blue base, and then they can zoom over It'll to be sitting green pretty. base. Yeah. They might call a bounce here and head over to uh, green base just while they wait for blue base to respawn. Yeah, possibly. Most effective use of your time. Um, so we haven't seen any taggy rate players in either of the bases for a little while. Yeah, I think maybe they're like sort of in that mezzanine. Not mezzanine, like that middle sort of void area. Mezzanine. Yeah, I. I uh, wrong word. Um, <laughs> that sort of middle sort of void area. I think we should Rocky, call it the what mezzanine. was that? He got shot right as he's walking in. No, 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 no. He was down and then crossed the line. Nah. That was... Refs, what are you doing? <laughs> Nivier takes blue. Very nice. Uh, I think you'll find that in your commentator outline, you're not allowed to I'm disparage not a yeah, 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 yeah. Please yada, shift yada. <laughs> I, will, I will tell the committee on you. So you're going to tell me on me? Yeah. I'll tell Simi. <laughs> it's like the ultimate <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. so a really nice game from the Crows here. They're yeah. looking good. They're, they're, they're cruising. Angel doesn't have any bases yet, so maybe we'll hopefully see them push Angel and Dragon through a last minute base. Blue team on They that. don't need it though. They yeah, don't they don't need it. need it, but it'd just be nice for her average score. That's true. It just, just and just for morale. Morale. A nice yeah. ego boost. It always helps. Not long left though. But then they again, she get is it. predominantly a last line Ooh, player. Oh, Varsity takes red. One more base. Ooh. No time though to take it off That Tagurit. was so close. But Tagurit getting a second and Crows redeeming themselves after last night. Yep. So well done to them. And Tagurit got every player of theirs a base. So that's good hey, for morale. That's, that's what they want. Yeah. That they Deimos with a, the top score for their team. Yeah, well really done. Nice. They came in, they're coming as a development team, and I think they're learning a lot this competition, which yep. is really great to see. Um, uh, Nivier's been to all three pre nats. She's putting in the work. She's so she is. She's getting up, and keen. Getting good. Yeah, yeah she's Definitely getting really improved good. A great deal. Since, Absolutely. So. Um, Lachlan and Deimos, this is their first sort of uh, competition outside of Canberra. Yeah. Um, they're, they're both um, learning a lot and doing quite well. Yep. Um, Order and Lamabat returning old, old players. Um, so old, the so oldest. So old. <laughs> when was their last Nats? Like when, they were, when they were in their 20s. <laughs> <laughs> so like 2000, early, late 2000s, early 2010? Something like no, that. No, I think it was, um, I think it was 2016. That was not that long ago. That was not Oh, it's coming up on a decade. Years. Yeah, yeah okay. I was like, wait, yeah, we're in 2024. Yikes. All right, so well done to everyone in that game. Good yeah. job, Crows. Really uh, solid win for Crows. Um, Nickel had a killer game. 180% tag ratio. Oof. Picked up both the bases in like three minutes. Yeah. And then Highest like, tag streak defense. is a three-way tie with Fizz, Nickel, and Garn. Fizz, Nickel. That's a good, no one that'd be a good alias, Fizz, Nickel. Fizz, Fizz Nickel. <laughs> um, no tags while taking bases. No tags while taking bases. Everyone was just yeah. safe and protected. Safe and protected. How interesting. Or getting denied. A big five Not denials from Jonathan. Um, uh, wonderful. So, What's going on? What are you doing? 
Yes. Coming into the next game, we have Aubrey Outlaws on red, Chaz Wazzers on blue, and the Quackening on green. What is your prediction? Look, I think I've played the Outlaws in this maze a bunch of times, and they are really good. I, I don't maze, like buddy. playing them. I yeah. don't like playing them here. They're hey, so good. We, we, have we, we beat them. them. I was going to say, we, yeah, we, we beat, beat them. them. Okay, yeah, yeah, I thought so. But it never feels good. No, like, it doesn't. It always feels like scary. a bad game while you're in there. So I think they're going to take this. Yeah. I think they'll do really well. Coming Even out ignoring well. their predicted. Yeah, game. well, they're predicted like 14th, yeah. and I'm like, that is so, yeah. so full of it. Uh, like, get out of here. No, nah, they're going to do way better. Yeah. Um, they've also been improving greatly. Like, I know, I think it was a few of their, their players' first years last year. Yeah. Beckham. Yeah. And they've improved so much since then, um, which is really, really great to see that the, uh, the sort of like, uh, people in the scene improving that aren't Queensland. Yeah, absolutely. Right. As much as we love Queensland, respectfully, your reign is <laughs> has been... Your reign of terror has been going on for too long. It's, it's not over, but it's diminishing. It's diminishing. I mean... Yeah. Thanks, God. Vikings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 and hey, we're up there as well. Yeah. True. This comp. Yeah. Knock on wood. Speaking of Queensland, we've got the Queensland development team, Chaz Wazzers. Chaz Wazz. Yes. The second here. Yes. Do you think they're going to take second? Um, I think they could pull a first here. Yeah. They've had some good games. They've today got so like far. some really good players on their team. Like they've got players like Zeropa. Yeah. Like um, who's been on Spartans for many, many yeah. a year. The um, backbone of the Spartans, the, maybe. Yeah. The, the heart of the Spartans. The glue that um, held the Robo, Spartans together. Robo, who uh, ex Eclipse. Um, yeah. And ex Maroon's why he was Maroon. I don't know. If Robo was actually Maroon. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Packing getting two shot denied at blue base. Not a great start for that was. Yeah, as we were just hyping up. <laughs> <laughs> By the Commentator leg. curse, am yeah. I right? Yeah, that'll teach him. <laughs> blue steel. Yeah, that was. Blue uh, steel. Robo. Thank you, Lobo. I knew was like on the, another queen. It's the eclipse precursor, right? Blue yeah, steel. basically. I was around for one year. At the Rumble? Down 20. Oh, they came to Down yeah. 20. Nice. They had. Like Mopar and like yeah. Jazz. That was a good team. And Mopar, Gravy, River. Yeah. The, the, that mob people, yeah. That mob. Yeah. Um, blue team holding a very firm defense. I think there's like three or four. There's yeah, four of it's, them. There. It's cozy in there. Yeah. There's only so many spots, guys. <laughs> that was a catch and back off on packets, so. Yeah, that, that is Packing one thing. Packing is back in the positives, which is pretty <laughs> solid. Pretty solid. <laughs> Um, that is one thing that this team is, the Outlaws, are really good for, is pack points. Yeah. They know the spots in this maze. They know mm -hmm. how to play it. Um, they've also got solid timing on their system. It's yeah. quick. It's just them and Hobart who have H2 so far, right? Yes. As far as I know. Despite it being like an eight-year-old system. <laughs> it's old. It's not brand H2. new. H2. Yeah, H2's been around for, oh, it got released really? eight years ago. Yeah. Released eight years ago. Chat, back me up here. That doesn't sound real. What, you just, Australia didn't catch up till last year. <laughs> uh, I don't. Of course he does. This is what I deal with. Um. Yeah, I remember H2, but it wasn't out yeah. then. That was still, it was still in development. I remember I, there was a base Big flags tournament on H2. In, probably. In the basketball place across the street that my team won. <laughs> and I won a $25 uh, JB Hi-Fi voucher. And it was the only <laughs> time I've ever won any monetary value from my <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. Invictus, by the way, got his green base and now he's going to get his blue base in the span of like less than a minute. Like, look at that 30 second gap on that yeah. worm there. That's Invictus That's smashing a... himself through two bases. Like, well done, buddy. That's yep. great. Very no nice. denies. Oh. No denies. 167 like tag ratio. Yeah, Pack King. I was going to say, look at uh, Red Team's uh, tag ratios real quick. We got 250 on Brownie, 129 on Packing, infinite on Vexum. Infinitely good. Oh, infinitely good, infinitely not good. infinitely bad as well. 200% um, tag ratio um, from Encyrical and 167 from Invictus. Like, See what we mean? Like that's Outlaws, what, yeah. they, like they they started off not that great, and now they've like they're proving us right. Was that like waving hello? Was that like stop? Uh, uh, 
Gotcha. Uh, someone just took base. Who was it? I heard it go down in the inside, the arena. Leg the getting leg his got green. green. Oh no! Didn't get Too green. Too short tonight by BMW. Someone else got a base. Elmo, I, heard I guess. Elmo got blue base. Elmo. Didn't pop up on the screen for me. I don't know. I was looking at Tricky's beautiful face. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so fair. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> um, Vex, I'm still on his infinite tag ratio. Uh, he has not been tagged out of that. Uh, that Hopefully, uh, he finishes spot. a game like that. That'd be so good because he'd be like skyrocketed to the top of the solos ladder. I think they fixed it because that happened no! in Hobart. Someone yeah. did have an Gandhi infinite tag ratio. Gandhi was on infinite yeah. tag ratio. So Ooh. now, now it's like you automatically get one tag for percentages. Ooh. What happens? Oh, uh, like three people read it, like or two people read it on backdoor of red base, and like Vex and Vex them just went. <laughs> And nice. got them. It was a very impressive yeah. flick. Nice. Oh no, we got tagged. Ah. All good things must come to an end. Now I he's only got thirteen hundred percent tag <laughs> ratio. Oh, get good Vex and go. <laughs> Hacking, securing his green base cleanly. Well done. Yep. So outlaws have really run away with this game. Zeropa going for his red base. Ooh, Ooh, Vexum two shot denying Zeropa. The leg trying to go for piggyback. Piggybacking it. Secures it. it. Lots of. It was close though. Like another green player yeah, running around. Syrup going for some blue. Syrup gets blue. It. Yeah. It's party time now. All the bases started going off. Base, base, base. Everyone runs off. Everyone wants bases now. So Outlaws have zoomed ahead on pack points and on bases. Chazwazers are ahead on quackening pack points. Um. Haven't seen too much of the quackening so far, but as no. I say that, Elmo is in red base main. Oh, that was a juicy. Yeah. Elmo almost denied the leg as well. Yeah. He just was one second behind or something. And the leg. Is that the leg back in? Yeah. He's going to get red base again? <laughs> no, it's my base. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready to go. <laughs> That's the issue with some of the bases is like you're trying to get a teammate in. Like some players, yeah. they do this quite well. Zeropa's shooting it. The leg's got him covered there. Yeah. It pays off. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> Brownie time. Nice. Um, cause something, and he's in this game too. Brownie's in here, yeah. Because um, something that a lot of players do try to do is like when they're not as <laughs> When they're not as experienced as trying to get people through bases is they... They are so good, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that they try to um, hold the base and get them in, but a lot of the time they're holding from shooter spots. Yeah. Which is really impractical for your teammates. If you're like, you're trying to get me in, but as soon as I run to the base, there's nowhere for me to stand to take the base that yeah. I can not get tagged from. What I do like about this maze is there are multiple spots in each base you can shoot from. Green base ones are a little less safe, but red base you've got the under spot which is somewhat safe it's a spot it's a, it's a spot and then it's like opposite under kind of like in the v yeah on either side yeah on the other side of the and some wall. of those i saw someone take from half like the other side of the half oh really red, crouch down yeah interesting um, and everyone ran straight past him <laughs> yeah just thinking oh yep he's not shooting don't worry about it oh was a rope of one shot tonight by elmo elmo's doing well yeah he's Tagging everyone. Although the tag ratios on the quackening aren't the greatest at the moment, we'll yeah. hopefully see them Not pick ideal. up a couple bases in the last two, three, four, I can count, last four minutes. Outlaws are just running away with it. They, yeah, this is, this is a game for them. Yep. Vexum still on a crazy, uh, crazy, um, 314% tag yeah. ratio. And he's back under red, so. Yeah, he's, he hasn't tagged. There pump was that period somewhere. of time where people were at his base and he was out, so yeah. he couldn't get back in. But now he's back in. He's cruising. Oh, well, we got Syracle going for a green base. Makes it. Very Another nice. base that outlaws. Yeah, so we'll see Invictus and Syracle at home. Hopefully, maybe someone will send Brownie or Packing or maybe Vexum out. I hope Vexum stays defending because I really want him to maintain <laughs> that, that tag ratio. ratio. Yeah. 
Because you just know with attack comes being tagged. Yeah, it, it definitely. Sucks. Uh, red team cracking into blue base. Brownie going for his blue. Ooh, one shot tonight by Ooh. Plank. That was a good run in there by Plank. A little, nice little guardian angel moment. Green team is inside blue now as well. Yeah. That's like cool. He's got that base already. He does, but I think he was um, just there to, to tag people. Yeah. Or Maybe try to get, get denials on, of, yeah. on red team. And that's exactly what he did. Yep. Uh, Plank is going according. Oh. Red team is in. I think that's packing. Yeah, that's packing. He's waiting to go for his blue base. He's doing well. The leg going for his green base. And he gets it. Phoenix, Phoenix going for his blue. Nice. Nice little piggyback it. off those red players. Yep. Um, well done. So Quackening is coming in. Uh, Coming up on Chazwaz's score wise, they're only a base down. They're getting pretty close there. Yeah, with a minute Outlaws to go. are safe though. They're, Outlaws. They're good. Bexam did get up there again with some a better tag ratio. He's up at about three fifty, and then he's got tagged again. So down Drax. to three hundred. Brownie going for his green base. Ooh, one shot denied by the BMW. Those denial points are going to be very good for the Clackening yep. score here um, to help sort of. A couple more denials like that, and they're going to be yeah. getting close to second place. Yeah. Or, or if they get a base. They, I was going to say a base and a couple denials, and they'll be cruising right yeah. now. Who do you think is going to win? Yeah, we've got Wildcard here with us. What are your predictions? Quackening is going to win? Yeah. Nice. You yeah, reckon crack. <laughs> Cheetah going for her green base and secures that. So that that's does nice. uh, run them away from Quackening a little bit. But if Quackening can secure There's still a time red for a couple base, of bases here. Yeah, a red base and then a blue or two. Yeah, because... I think blue base. They can get two blue bases still. Yeah. They've got Simi and BMW who can get there. They just need to... Simi's not them. having a killer game. Though, no, so. she's having a rough one. 40, 16, 7. Yeah. Um, Zoropa going for green base. Yeah. So yeah, that 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 kind of secures that second chance. Well, it certainly second. does. Um, see a blue player, another blue player in green base. I didn't see who it was. I just saw the flashing lights. Outlaws didn't get as many bases as I was expecting them to get. They kind of really yeah. slowed down. I think that. they know. But they're yeah. miles ahead, and they're just like, we don't need to push too hard and risk our base going down. Yeah. Um, as I say this, uh, Outlaws are in blue base. Why is the guy on front door not doing anything? Oh, there we go. Brownie, uh, two shots tonight by Cheeto. Yeah, shot. he yeah. was, yeah. And Mum just got uh, green base in the last second of the game. Chaz was oh, nearly caught up catching. at the end. They were catching. Yeah, they got a, a base ahead of the Outlaws. Yeah. Uh, but the Outlaws just had the packets. Um, just going to take a moment to appreciate the Outlaws tag ratios again. Syracle on 155, Packing on 181, Invictus on 152, Vexum, Vexum on, on massive 350. 350. Insane. And Brownie on 103. Like, Very nice. Yeah. Bravo. <laughs> um... Yeah, so as we can see on those that summary, highest tag streak was Vexen with 13. Chain tags, packing. Most tags when taking was three with leg. Uh, most denials, BMW, three. Most shots denied was Brownie. Um, those unfortunate hits on blue base and yeah. green. Um, highest DX streak was Cindy Bell. And that stat feels a tad me. It does. <laughs> Could have been some pack issues in this game. Simi doesn't usually get... Simi usually gets more than 360 points. Yeah, usually. Maybe there's something yeah. Um, Most team tags, BMW and Elmo, and then most tagged by team, Simi playing. Maybe she's just oh, getting so tagged we, by her team too much. Well, two times. <laughs> ah, yes. So, coming to the next game, we have Sandstorm on red. Tag your Elmo. I didn't realize it was pretty cool. The, um can see tags for and against now on this scoreboard. Yeah. So Invictus had a nine tag streak as well, which is pretty solid. Yeah. Um, so that, um, 
So there's like their current tag streak. Is it their oh, current tag streak or is it their total positive tags? Oh, so during the game it shows current and then end of the game yeah. it shows the highest, sorry. Okay. Um, so during the yeah. game, like... Because so Vexum got Bexum. 13 and that wasn't yeah. at the end, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, at the end he was like three. Yeah. Um, so Packing only got tagged twice in a row and Cheeto. Like no more than twice in a row, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So is this Sandstorm target in Illiterates? Yes. So obviously I think us as camera people are going for our hearts. We're going for Tag you're in. And I think... So this is, this is the bottom three teams. Yes. Yeah. I think if they throw enough chaos into this game, they could get a win. Although Commander Snake... Ooh! Ooh good denial by Llama Two shot deny by Llama Bat. I thought, wow, that was a nice early base take yeah, from Commander Snake. Yeah, it was no, really fast. That was a really good quick push. Definitely took them by surprise. Maybe, maybe too quick. Maybe that was Yeah. You need to take a moment to position yourself and, like, uh, Take a breath. Take yeah. a breath. A little meditation. Yeah. So a great start for Targaryen with that yeah. free 600 points. Absolutely. Although, we're missing an illiterate. <laughs> we're missing an illiterate? That's... <laughs> That's a sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today. <laughs> uh, they might just be last lining and have not pulled the trigger yet. True. Every last line should always pull the trigger straight away in the game. Yep. So, Tagirit and Sandstorm are both looking pretty good with pushing on 2,000 points now. Indeed. Literates are slowly catching. Blue team cracking into red base there. Yeah, I think that that's Llama Bat. Is it? No, yep. it's not. He's moving way too fast for Llama. That's, no, that is, that's, that's Damos, Danios. my bad. From above, it looked like Llama Yeah. Bat. They and have kind of similar builds, yeah. Yeah. About the same height. Speaking of Llama Bat, Llama Bat, that is Llama Bat. Oh, two shot denied by Red Devil. Damn. Red Devil returning the favor for what he did to <laughs> Commander Snake earlier. <laughs> so, chat, who's our pick for this? Who's, who's your pick for this game? We've got Sandstorm, Tagurit, and Illiterate. It's going to be a close game. Oh, Commander Man's Snake, one shot denied denial. by Order. Order, order. piggybacking. Oh, and two shot denied by Exile. Denial City here. Oh. Sandstorm pushing ahead. Deimos. Yeah, Deimos securing the first base of the game. Nice, Deimos. That, uh, making up for those four shots of denials <laughs> on his team. So far, only illiterates haven't been denied. There's something to be said for that. <laughs> Sandstorm on a really good score for no bases. Yeah, absolutely. And with and the denials. And with the denials, yeah. Yeah. 1,500 more points. Exactly. Gone. Which would have them in the lead. It would. It's the little things in life. Um, so blue team cracking into red base again. Lachlan going for his red base. Push that half wall, Lachlan, please, Ooh. dear God. <laughs> gets it. He gets it. That last shot was a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a stretch, but he gets it. There are a few shots there. Um, yeah, so great bases um, for our juniors there, Lachlan and Damos, both securing early bases. That's a really good start for them. Yeah. Good morale for the team as well. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Or Darren and Alarm about the old washed men getting, <laughs> getting the denial, so, so that's not great. Like Garn and that, <laughs> Garn in his wheelchair, they'll just they'll yeah. they'll walk a frame into the uh, <laughs> into the base and get a denial. <laughs> um. So I think that is Odur setting back. Oh no, it's not. It's the wrong team. That might be Red Devil yeah. setting up in red. Yeah, um, I think I see. Order holding on the blue. blue base, yeah. With red team on the back of blue. Oh, Order's oh. been defending a lot more than I would have expected for yeah. them going into this comp. I feel like a lot of these um, bases kind of benefit him. So, like blue yeah. base, we uh, back home in Canberra, we have uh, our red base very similarly laid out to blue base. So, kind of been a bit of practice for our. Uh, our players. And I think it's ours is just the inverse. Yeah, it's a little bit different. A little bit different, but similar sort of motions, I guess. And we don't have a secret tunnel in it yet. Secret tunnel! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Green team breaking into blue base there. Um, see if Taking out a defender. Shots on, maybe? I'm a little bit scared. A bit, There's yeah. a lot going on there. I feel like, I feel like he they doesn't probably could have got it. His team. I can't hear Possibly anything not. behind us. Yeah. Oh. Oh, but he's... Ooh, he's oof, killing everyone, though. Damn! Now it's yeah, time. Now, now it's time to go for the base, buddy. And he's missed it and then Do decided not... against it. Oh, no. He's going to kill everyone again and then take it. Oh, but the beat... Oh! oh, the, oh the strategy, is that, is that the Wolfie? positioning. Yeah, that was Wolfie. That was yeah. really well played I think by he could have got the base. He that definitely could have awesome. just kept trying to tag it because yeah. the front door defender had to go reload. Sakari is going for his green. He's gonna take it. Oh, well done! Nice. But Ordo, so that's two shots, first base, pushing them up into first place. Tag yeah. it just behind. Yeah, but at the same time, Wolfie got one shot denied by Order in yeah. blue base. <laughs> We've got a blue setting up in green as well. Some crazy spins. A couple of blues setting up in green. That's Ham Taro just gone into green. Yeah. Red team, like green team is attacking red from that front door. That camera would stop being flashed. My mm. God. Tag your it, pull ahead. Hamtaro. Two shots two in. Shots. Where's the Destroy third? It. Oh, nice. well done, uh, Hamtaro. Hamtaro. I nearly said it. <laughs> well, that does get shot out of green. Pendragon going for the, her red base. Oh, two shots denied by Gooby. Gooby's Wolfie's got a lot of denials red. today. And secures that one. Gets she it this has. time. Yeah. So, uh, Wolfie piggybacks off of the, his teammate's denial, so. Yeah. Progress, right? Or uh, clears out green oh, base. Two shots denied by Wolfie again. Lama Wolfie Bat is on Yeah, fire. tries to get it. Wolfie's doing really well on defense. Oh, and on attack as well. Yeah, just in general. So Tagirit currently in the lead. Sandstorm have a two bases down and are, mm. uh, well now, at one base down and are in the lead by almost 2,000 points. Illiterates are falling behind a little bit, but picking up this second base right now is Ooh. going to help. Yeah, and Llama Bat going for his green. Llama oh, Bat gets denied, denied by Wolfie, by Wolfie. again. Oh, Wolfie's Gotta on stop. fire. Yeah, one point <laughs> stop. Stop getting denied. Don't stop shooting the base. <laughs> Or at least shoot Wolfie first. Someone's <laughs> going to do it. Yeah. Someone shoot Wolfie and then Llama Bat will take the base. Yep, yep. <laughs> the Sandstorm pulling ahead. Two ba the one of base down. Yeah. The Bane Wolfie, of Llama Bat. Wolfie, the Bane of Llama Bat. <laughs> so true. Uh, and Hamtaro is back at blue base. <laughs> Hamtaro, another one of our up-and-coming juniors in uh, Canberra League scene, is uh, the younger sibling of uh, Finn on the dragon. Yep. Legacy. Legacy, dragon. yeah. Legacy yeah. dragon. Laser tag. It's a family <laughs> sport. <laughs> so, Things have slowed down yeah. the last minute or so. Illiterates and Tagurit catching up to Sandstorm a little bit on pack hits. Absolutely. Um, blue team seem to be holding their base a lot more um, consistently now. Yeah. Maybe people have slowed down on the attack on it, maybe. Ooh. Lachlan is in green and Llama Bat is covering him He's in doing kind of a sentinel. weird oh! position. Two shot denied Not, on like, Lachlan. Yeah, got to get into cover there, Llama Bat. Just hit that wall. Mm. Sandstorm might be looking for a piggyback here. I think there's a red player in green now. Two red players. Green hit Bro Dizzle twice. Destroyed. Well, uh, so that's, nice that's really nice for Sandstorm. Absolutely. Secures in that lead. It's very, very neck and neck between Illiterates and Tagurate. Yeah. But given the how the game's going so far and how much time we've got left, it could be anyone's game. Definitely. Like could. Illiterates and Tagurate only 5k down. It's, it's pretty close. Like tag your it would and be. Illiterate is moving into blue base now as well, and I think there's a blue player in green base. Tag your it would be uh, in the lead. If... Commander Snake denied again by Deimos. Yeah, if they didn't have that many deniers, tag your it would yeah. be in the lead. Um, it's, it's 
unfortunate. But they're going up and down between illiterates there. Um, they are, they've got three of them defending right now. Um, and not much of a presence in the attack Ooh. front, but they Red also underneath. have... Ooh, n- Ooh, nice. Uh, uh, Hamtaro nice comes and gets the denial. <laughs> They waited for that shot to come out, and then they, they got it. That was I don't well. think they did. I think they shot across and shot someone else coming in. Well, they the shot door, this person the here, dial. and then yeah. saw yeah like that because yeah. they thought it was this person tagging yeah. the base at first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was really solid defense yeah. from Hamtaro. That was good. That was very good. Exactly what blue team needs to be doing. Yes, to absolutely. Get this win. And they just need one more base to pull ahead of Sandstorm. Got about a minute forty left to go. Yeah. Let's see if they can do it. Illiterates definitely not out of the running say, yet. It's uh, it's close. Illiterates need a base or a few more, um, a bit bit more pack points, and they can also pull ahead. But Sandstorm aren't. They don't have the biggest lead, so it could be anyone's game. I think if they continue to hold their defense a bit. Ooh, illiterates moving in. Pendragon, Pendragon going two for the, shot. Oh, two shot denied by. Oh, uh, one, one shot, shot denied, denied by Bro Dizzle. Missed a second shot, maybe. Yeah. I think went for it as people were running in, so just did not have time yep. to put the shot on. And Sansom setting up inside blue, one shot out. Yep. Two um, shot out. Blue set back up. All the uh, the tags and the points are happening for yep. tag you're at right at that base, so this is very beneficial for them. Um. Green hit by Odur. Odur going for his blue base. He takes Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Oh, it's neck and neck between Sandstorm and Tiger so right now. Yeah. It's anyone's game. It, it is anyone's game. It 30 is... seconds left. Oh, D. Points are still at blue base, but it looks like I can see people on the back door, like lights on the back door of uh, blue. Yep. Arden, sorry, Hamtaro doubles. Oh, red team going for a blue. Back wall, back wall, back wall. Call it, call it. Nice deny Ooh, by Damos the there. Llama Bat putting shots into green. Please, He's oh, going to take it. That and secures the win for Tag. You're going to take. Oh, not quite getting red. Ooh. Piggybacking over SSG and then time denied for Pendragon. That's that is rough. so unfortunate. And Pendragon had that clear as well. Yeah. Um, she would have had that. That's unfortunate. Um, well done, Tag. You're it. Well done. Really Tag-Urit. pulling it ahead in the last second with a bunch of denials and um, two bases from Llama Bat and Ordur, who I yep. believe were defending a lot of the game. But the Except for was. Llama Bat putting all those shots into the bases. <laughs> Besides that, he was defending a lot. I think they, they were all defending quite a bit there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you counting shots in the bases? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24 shots of This is denials. a very deny-heavy game. Whoa, that's, that's rough. That's okay. quite rough. Wolfie um, played really well that game with a bunch of denials um, from him. Yeah. And nearly everyone Some on Tag Some really clutch denials and, like, got into blue base and definitely could have taken it, but I think he, they were too focused on yeah. just shooting so many people. Only four yeah. people in the game didn't have denies on others. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, well played, something everyone. similar with didn't get denials. Like, Takaris has two clean bases. Yes. And that's it. That's all for two yeah. clean bases. <laughs> Our only person two has bases one, in the game. but yeah. he got three shot tonight and another base, so yeah. it doesn't count. Damos, Hamtaro, and Lachlan took their bases that they did get cleanly. Yeah. However, Lachlan got two shot tonight in green. Yeah. Yeah. So many denials. So many denials. Uh, is it too late to change my allegiance <laughs> to Dario to this? No, you traitor. You've no, made it. your bed, you shall <laughs> lay in it. <laughs> <You're too small. laughs> Ojo carried pretty hard for Tagri in that he game. He for sure did. His defense, like, oh my god, look at the tag ratio. Sorry, yeah. I didn't see that. 236 tag ratio from Ojo. I did ah. see that he'd Woo. just pulled ahead of Damios without a base right before he took the base. So that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Good. Well yeah. done um, by Ojo there. Even he was on defense for a lot of that yeah, game. He was that was very well played. Most shots denied. Lumber bat with six. Yep. So coming into this game, we have <laughs> the... I don't know if the thing updated. Um, I think I heard one-up is in this game. Olympus, Aftershock, and one-up. Ooh. Oh. I think I know who you want to win this one. Me? Yeah. Okay. After game X. Does that change the standing? No. Okay. No, no. So there was an after game in that game on Exile. Um, uh, doesn't change any standings yeah. though, so all good. Messiah going, ooh, two ooh. shots tonight by Gunner in the first minute. 
That's rough. Ouch. Um See, that's that's one thing Olympus is really good for. They do those really quick hits yep, into a base. Fast. But then they, they don't they don't carry that momentum. Yeah. Um so chat, who do you want to win this game? Who do you think will win? Because sometimes cool those beans. are very different things. Cool that was an interesting green. spot to take, Rob. Well, it was two spots, really. He was kind yeah. of like in cover and then was like, no, I want to be in a different <laughs> He's cover. He's like, I'm not a fan and of this. And just jumped across spot. the openness <laughs> part of the maze into the other cover. Ooh, but it still yeah. paid off. It you paid off. It. That's the main thing. So he gets a nice early base, um, making up for Messiah's mishap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, who do, you, who do you think will win? Uh... Yeah, their stats actually say one-up wins, but I think Aftershock is probably who I would have picked to win. And and you want Aftershock to win, or do you think that? I, I like stats? both. The, I like all three of these teams. They're, like, they're good teams. I'm happy for There's anyone to nothing win. Nothing wrong with any of these teams. Um, little, no, I was gonna say a little bit action at blue, but no, there isn't. Oh, now there is. I spoke too soon. Dart going for his blue base, but getting one shot denied by Benny. Oh, got to get into cover, man. Yeah, he got a good kill on Beefy there and made yeah. it in, but you got so to remember Benny. I've noticed a lot of people doing, like Garn is especially uh, a <laughs> uh, victim of it, is putting the first shot into the base before you're in cover. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Players, don't do this. It's not a smart thing to do. <laughs> I don't understand why you do it. Except for people who are playing against, keep doing oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, keep absolutely. No, if I'm versing you, please feel free to give me an <laughs> open shot on your back. Wildcard going for his green base, getting two shot denied by Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Dart picks and up blue at the same time. So, yeah. did they have dumped? I don't. No, they haven't. They haven't dumped. They're just attacking they're just both bases at the defense, same time. Yeah. Split, split attack, sorry. Yeah. Um, well, not too bad of a start. I guess they've, they've got the only bases. It's fine. In the game, they're getting yeah? the bases. Just, just a rough denies there, um, <laughs> but they can make the difference. So they're they're two k down. It's getting a bit cold denies. in here. Isn't it? it is. That's why I put my jumper on. I'm going to try to turn this aircon off. <laughs> I'm not wearing my glasses. Yeah. 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 Yes. I'll be back. Cool. Yeah, we probably should go have a team chat. When do we play? Four. It's an hour away. We got oh, some yeah, time. we got a free game. I wouldn't mind having a coffee or something. <laughs> so fair. <laughs> Just don't miss your game. Sorry, Try too not soon. To. <laughs> Holmes putting shots into green base. Two shots. Oh, getting two shot denied by Guinea there. That was good. He ran in from that window. Yeah. Nice. Um, one up, taking the lead on the pack points. Um, well done. There. All right. If you're aftershock now, what do you do? Ah. Uh, Get good. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aside from that. Um, that was a down response right there. Was he trying to shoot his own base? Maybe. <laughs> that is a bit of a down thing to do. Wildcard getting one shot tonight in blue, sadly. There's a lot of action happening at red. red that is, is it's a party, party central. Party. Yeah. <laughs> uh there's a green So aftershock player. catching. Yeah, they one are. up is in the lead with zero bases. Everyone's got Over zero bases other than Olympus. Olympus, yeah. Yeah. Um, Olympus are going to need more bases to, to maintain their lead. Yeah. And with bases, like, when you're attacking bases, you'll get pack points. But they have still maintained a strong defense, yep. which is good. Messiah is now on positive points. This is Snake's doing some bendy snake things in green, like twisting around those walls. Bendy boy. Love to see that. <laughs> um... Got a green player on the back of green, so they're covered in... Yeah. What was that jump, Jesse? Jeez. <laughs> it was, probably wasn't a jump, just a big step. <laughs> He's not that lanky. <laughs> <laughs> um, so why not keep in Olympus out of their base for now? Red team in... Blue Olympus is still attacking of... two bases at the same time. <laughs> I don't... This is really what interesting. What are they doing? This is... Dart going for his green base. He's going to get it. Oh, well done, Dart. So maybe we'll see Dart run home and swap with either Messiah or Worthy or Wildcard onto or, attack. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Yeah, maybe he's like, nah, <laughs> I just want points. Go away. I'm going to stay out. Yeah. I'm going to get 20k this game. I have to say, not, not, <laughs> would not be mad to see Olympus take away this, this yeah. upset. Yeah. yeah. Um, still, 
Not even halfway through the game though, so we'll, we'll see how things go. They've had an go. awesome start. Like, yeah, this is if they can carry really this so momentum far. and not let it drop, that would be phenomenal for them. What are your predictions for the rest of the game? I think Aftershock's going to do something crazy. I think, yeah, like, someone's going to do something. I think like, they're one not... Up is crazy and unpredictable. They're, they're like Canberra. They've got that chaos factor. They do. They, they love a bit of chaos. On. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we all know those guys. They, they thrive on the chaos. But it... Oh, I don't know. I think Aftershock are in danger of not playing real laser tag very soon. <laughs> They've got zero bases. Jeez, Aftershock, play some real laser tag. <laughs> Their base has gone down one time, but they know other bases have gone down as well. Yeah. But they've also been hearing a lot of Dars, and Holmes has that two shot. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. might not be too happy about that, but they also know that Holmes Benny got a two shot behind people. That's true. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm like sure this is, their plan isn't to be... Yeah. And I know yeah, players on the team like Beefy is very good at reading a game. He's not the captain, but he's very good at reading a game. At least oh, in my opinion. Me. I don't That's have a mute button, button. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's too far away. I'll try and warn you next time I see this. Good. Um, they can deal with the single sneeze. Yeah. They get the be more. dulcet be more tones of our voices. It's never just one. Crouchy going for his blue base. Crouchy takes blue base. Yeah, taking the first base for his team. Five um, minutes left in the game. And I think... It's normally a base like that, like when, when another team finally gets a base that kind of hits that sort of, that catalyst of, or the domino effect of, oh no, that team's got a base and just every, yeah. all the bases start going down. So we'll see if that does occur. Yep. They've got zero bases. Their base has gone down twice. They've mm. heard the other base go down twice. They're going to do something soon. They have to. They, they surely have to. Or maybe they won't. Who knows? True, 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 true. Maybe they think they're doing well enough, but it's all a lie. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I doubt it, but maybe. Yeah. It's good to see Holmes slowing down a little bit this comp. I haven't seen him smash into walls and cause the cameras to shake yet, so. Are you talking like mentally or just like. <laughs> <laughs> Worthy takes blue. <laughs> Worthy takes his blue face cleanly. Holmes is in green. He's going to take it. Green hit, and he takes his base. That's the first nice. base for Aftershock. Still have Olympus ahead, but they're only five, 4k ahead. So they they're really three need bases to up, up their and pack yeah, points. Just behind. They, um, four minutes left to go. It could be anyone's game. Aftershock heavy attack after eight minutes is a, an Adelaide inside prediction. Mm. Well, it's eight We're minutes now. coming up on eight minutes. We're well, past eight minutes. Yeah. They're still yeah. defending pretty heavily. Yeah. Where are they going for his green base? Oh, Ooh, two shots and I'm a guinea. Guinea's like, nah, get out of my base. This is mine. Crouchy going for his red Crouchy base. Crouchy's going by Jesse. One shot by Jesse. That means Jesse's Holmes in red. Holmes going for his red base. Holmes and takes it. Two bases for Holmes. So we'll probably see him go home now. Yeah. Another stat I like that this scoreboard has. All three is, teams are really close right now. They are. You can tell how many shots someone's fired. So that little yeah. number yeah. next to the, the power is how many shots they fired. Oh, so Holmes sitting on 120 fired. shots fired. That's a lot. That's a lot of shots. <laughs> That's why I wanted to point it out, because <laughs> I just saw that when he was taking Crouchy's his base. on 102. He's, he's up there. He's, he's catching and what darts is, on 130. What is Holmes shooting at? Everything and nothing all at once. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe. <laughs> um, so that, ooh, wild, wild card. card. Oh, oh, no. Ooh. These denies are Jesse's rough. Jesse's going to piggyback Ooh. and get denied by, yeah. Jeez. It's a deny central for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Why not playing this quite well? Things are going pretty well for them. Aftershock defenders are looking bored again. Jesse getting his green base. So two bases of Aftershock. Three bases of Aftershock. Crouchy picks up his second base, putting them back up into first. Oof. They're flipping around. Yeah. Olympus Everyone's isn't far behind. Topsy turvy. Um, Olympus is only one base behind of Aftershock and one and a bit yeah. from uh, one up. So it really could be anyone's game. And Olympus seems very hungry for a, a they, win here. They picked up a lot of denials as well, which is yeah. hurting them a little bit. I think they were just trying something in this game because this is a predicted third for them. Yeah. Um, and if they can secure a second or a first here, it would mean good stuff for their cascades. Yeah. Um, so one minute 40 left. Yeah. One up, we're in the oh. lead, but not by much. No, not by much at all. Two bases for Olympus, and they'll be ahead. Uh, one Just. base. One, one, base. Oh, one yeah. base and a couple tags. One base and a few tags. 
Oh, but Benny's going for his. Oh, getting one shot denied by Guinea. Another denial by Guinea. Those denial points. Five denials. Yeah. Far out, Guinea. Very nice. Leave some for the rest of us. And Gunner's gonna take. Oh no, he's not. Another denial. Oh, those denial points are wild. Wild card getting that denial. Was that unintentional? <laughs> All right, so. Oh, geez. All three teams set up in defense. Yeah, in they're, I think they're realizing. One minute left to go. It's it's going to be tight. You got to hope Olympus realize it. Oh, that is so close. They're all it's one so in each other. Oh, Jesus. He's going for a wild card. Go on. Oh, oh that's huge. A massive base oh, there. Oh, the gunner going Gunner's for red gonna base. going to follow it up in red. Oh, jeez. So he now did the, a bit of a run there because someone was in like the shooter spot. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> so he, ran he was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So Olympus were in the lead for just a few seconds there. Yeah, for One like a millisecond. One more base there. and they'll be back up. Oh, but Benny's in green. <sighs> Doesn't quite put them in first. Olympus really do need that last second base. Holmes is locking red down now. Worthy needs to. Oh, someone blue is trying to get red. Got shot out. Green getting shot out of blue. Oh, it's high. Oh. That, that was a close so game. Rough. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Like, look at that worm. Like, yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, yeah. that well played, everyone. That was really well played. Yeah. Uh, one up managed to just thrive in that sort of chaos just got, a little bit better they than everyone else did. Packets. They, did, they really did. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Denials. They're crazy. How many? One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. Not as much as that 24 one we had before, but yeah. 16 is still a large amount of denials. Um, but well done to everyone so who played there. If we added the five and a half thousand points Olympus got denied. They yeah. would have won this game. One thing, yeah, absolutely. Oh boy, <laughs> easily, yeah. easy. Um, one thing I do hope Olympus does take away from this game is that they held their own quite well. They did. They did they, a really good job. I hope they don't get hung up on the fact that they didn't get that win, mm. and that they they can see the worm and think, no, we were actually so doing close. quite well. This was a very close game. This was a hard matchup for them. Absolutely. Um, and to do as well as they have done, I think they should be very happy with yeah. that. I'd be very happy with the game. Against I, these teams, they yeah, great. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one up have done really well to win this as well. Absolutely. Base behind Aftershock. Yeah, Aftershock pulled packets. it in in the last minute. Yeah. Like, pulled, pulled, pulled up their socks halfway through. About the, the 10 minute mark, they're like, oh, yeah. better, better get in this game. Very close. Um, and one up just, their defense was very strong. Very strong defense from one up. Um, but yeah, we will. Um, Love yous and leave yous now. Uh, we're going to hand over to the wonderful Commander Snake. Thank you for having us, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. It's Commander Snake, and I'll be commentating with you guys for the next hour or so. Plank should be joining me shortly, but until then, you're stuck with me. That was a really, really tight game just then, really fun to watch. And um, looks like the next game's just getting started. Hi, chat. Okay, so it looks like we got Archangels on green, the Outlaws on blue, and Apex on red. Outlaws getting off to a bit of an early pack lead. Just those initial tags through the arena, I find, tend to go in, the, go in favor of the home teams quite often. They just know those angles. And as people leave their bases, which way to go? And it looks like Plank has just arrived. Alright, how you doing? Hey, hey. Alright, so here are the other ones. Um, yeah, Archangels green, Outlaws blue, and Apex red. Nice. Archangels and Outlaws just trading packets to start here. Looks like, looks like red's a bit quiet, or at least not really getting many tags out if anyone is at their base. 
Green looks like the place to be. Lots of action over there. Yeah. So yeah red, red. red getting in and getting shot out. It's not managing to get behind that paddle in time after the lunch. So what's your prediction for this game? Um, good question. Uh, I know Archangels have been playing very well recently. Um, but then the other two teams are also very good. So despite yeah. that, I still think I'll go with Archangels first. Um, Archangels, then... yeah, have been playing really well this comp. I'm, I'm going to go with the home team. I'm going to go with Outlaws. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, it's a bit easy to say that after two minutes when they're ahead, but um, we'll see who the first bases go to and stuff. As we see green getting into blue. We've got a green under, just waiting for a teammate to give some comms oh. and unfortunately gets shot out. Yeah, it doesn't quite down. Yeah, looks like Apex is falling behind, behind in the pack. It's a little, just their base hasn't been seeing as much action. Looks like blue's just rocked up and rocked up and immediately going for a base and yeah. Ninja with the deny. Oh, packing if he'd stayed in that pocket would have got it. He just yeah. rotated to the wrong side of that under spot. That's oh, so unlucky. Yeah. Right, and we see red set up fairly quickly, so they seem to be doing a pretty good defense. Yep. Blue trying to get in again. Red, red just holding that cross shot with the back door. It's very difficult to get in when that cross shot's set up from the other door, if there's no, nothing going on at that other door. Yeah, exactly. It kind of, it kind of forces the attack. And two greens can... getting into blue. See if they can lock Stone it down. to shoot, and nicely taken there by Rizla. Yep, that was a very clean base, so good job for them. Yeah, it looks like Sega and Rizla both under the base there. A little bit of, um, yep. just locking it down, we holding see, both uh, spots. We see Blues continuously try to crack into red. They are getting in, they just uh, aren't managing to shoot out the uh, other defender. Yeah, and one blue taking out both greens there. Looks like Rizla just got hit in the uh, phaser. And green's quieted down, and it looks like they can't see many blue defenders around, but it is quite difficult from this camera angle to see the front door. Yeah, that's true. Especially, especially in this maze, there is a lot of action outside of the, the uh, baseline, so there, and there they, might be a lot of people we're not seeing. Green gets in again. Looks like Sega missed a shot on the base, but lucky for him because that was not the opportune time. Yeah. Apex holding a bit of an interesting, like, one person just inside at each door, and yeah, now they're rotating onto the panels, but... Yeah. Blue and red are fighting over at green, so... But, yeah, and blue also at red, denied by Sega. All the actions just move to red, as soon as I say green's busy. <laughs> That looks like, I think, Rizla under the base. Oh, uh, red, as Packing himself. knocks him out, gets himself denied. So, red team does look like they're wrecking up quite a few denial points, so they're really catalyzing on uh, the attackers coming to their base. Yeah, Outlaws just dropping behind a little bit with those five shots of denial so far. Other two teams, very clean. Well, Apex hasn't gone for a base yet, but they do have those three shots of denials. Yep. And then we do see Archangels ahead with a base and also up on Pat. Oh, and packing denied again. Yeah. That's that's really rough. Outlaws Outlaws look like they're challenging both bases. Camps River at green at the same time. Packing got denied at red. So maybe some kind of split attack. Actually, yeah. Let's see. We just had a, uh, a green shoot out blues and they're now holding it. Yep. They looks like both greens are back take. in. Sega going for his blue. Oh, just getting shot sure. through that base there. Yeah, that, that and Camster getting denied at red. All the denials happening. Yeah, it's a crazy game for denials. Out Outlaws really struggling with those denials. It's now it's now nine shots of denials. There's there's actually all three teams at blue now, so this is pretty crazy. You'll see a lot of action here. Yeah, we're we're, we're seeing that both attacks seem to be rotating with each other. Yeah. Hamster getting his red, just holding in that under position. Very clean take there. Let's see. And that puts Outlaws on top, but Shura Kitty getting that blue. Right, that was a, yeah, that was a massive base to Shura Kitty with uh, all three teams there. Yep. And Apex are up on pack on both teams, not by much. 
but uh, Outlaws really struggling with that pack. Yeah, Archangels look like they're, they're really solidifying their leads. Uh, very clean bases and looks like low control. Yeah, Apex, very, very methodical take on green there. And that one base, they're right in it. They only one and a half K behind Archangels. So one more base and they'll be in a solid lead. Yeah, Apex is the end. They, they have got a lot, quite a lot of points from the denials they get earlier. We see here, uh, Ninja has six denials. Uh, a lot of that. He, on he also lane. has, tw he's also 24 for 11. So yeah. he is uh, definitely getting a lot of pack here. Yeah. And blue As going down. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah Mamadou. So that's the fire's their first place for now. And they're ahead by a whole base on pack as well now, so looking very good for the Apex boys. Yeah, with all three teams on two bases, you can really see the difference that those denials are making for Outlaws. Yeah, especially, I mean, if you look at uh, all the denials, they have packing with five. Camps do with four. Yeah, it took camps with seven to get the base. So that's four and a half K, and that really takes them right out of the fight from, with Archangels. They'd be right ahead of them. Let's see. Not really, much, yeah. Yeah, not really much action happening now. It's all the yeah. tall way. It looks like it's all happening in the middle of the maze, or at least just outside our vision at each base. Has red, dives in green. A bit of a <laughs> interesting shot at the base there, but ends up working out because yeah. I thought. Um, Oh, he took it from like, oh, that's like so open from both No, doors. no, he, so it wasn't him shooting. It was um, someone in window. Ah, oh, okay. But awesome. he, it looked like he took a shot on the base, at the base on the yeah, way in, it so it's very lucky that did not go in. Right. That is a very interesting setup. Yeah. Red holding with two inside as green manages to get in at red. Holding that V position. Nope. Just see it. Ah. Oof. Another denial on red. Yep. Oh, sorry, on at, least it, at least it was only one shot, though. Yeah, so but it still, there. it's... But yeah, like, red's... Otherwise, Packing's having a reasonably good game. He's attacking, he's 32 for 35. That's not, not that bad at all. Like, yeah. I mean, Red's have had a crazy game with uh, getting all the denials this game. So. Yeah, Ninja still with six denials, 30 and 18. He is... Packing his heart out. How did you two like the maze? What do you think? Are there no, any bases you like more than the others, or? Uh, I mean, similar to, to PM2, I I like all the um, bases really. Fair enough. I don't have any like real issues with anything. I think I'm, it plays well. I'm a big fan of defending uh, blue and red. Yeah, I'm, yeah, definitely. I'm not as much of a fan at green. I haven't really got that figured out yet, but in terms of attacking, attacking all three bases is yeah. very fun. I mean, I've been on defense in five for like half a game in green. Yeah. But for the other two bases in uh, red and blue, they're very fun to defend. Yes, for sure. Um, it's... Uh, I'm... I'm the base I least like to attack is blue, personally, um, and I'm very intrigued by the level of like, uh, like there's just not very much angles to pack from. You're almost always committing yourself for at least a phaser to most like sniping angles. Yeah, exactly. Um, like there's no way you can really sit the whole time and stay. Yeah. As Invictus gets into his red and very nice take there. Yeah, well, that's that's what's really good about this uh, maze is it's kind of forces you to be pretty dynamic with moving around a lot. Yeah, Apex on three bases compared to Outlaws on four, and there's still a base ahead on pack. So yeah. those denials still really costing uh, Outlaws as well as just general pack. It looks like. And this time, Archangels actually uh, slowed momentum and now in third. So yeah, we've got three Outlaws in blue base. There's two of them. Head back out, but you can also just see the these massive white bars on um, underneath some of these players, like Vexum and Brownie, not seeing much action in the last few minutes. Ninja getting his green base, and that really puts Apex quite in, in quite a lead. I think they've uh, 
that, that kind of seals it in yeah, terms I mean, of the win. Yeah, there's, there's a minute left, so, you know. There's a chance for Archangel to catch Outlaws. They just need to, you know, get a couple of quick bases, but yeah. that's, a, that's still a pretty big ask, especially when... Um, oh, Ninja just got green, so neither of the bases are down right now. So maybe there's a slim chance if Outlaws get two bases, but... Outlaws? Yeah. Archangels? The yeah, Outlaws. I'd, uh, outlaws are going to need two and... Packing finally getting his red. Yeah, I mean, there's like, what, 3k difference? So maybe yeah. Outlaws get one Yeah, no, there is a chance. And we, Denials definitely help that. Yeah. Memeless team denied Mint Ninja. Oh, I missed that. Uh, that is rough. That's yeah. probably what let him catch up, but... Coming into the final 10 seconds of this game, I don't see Outlaws in either other base. Yeah. As Apex gets a blue and that seals the game all right on the buzzer too. Celery with some very nice stats there. Big tag streaks and high tag ratio, but unfortunately didn't see a lot of action across the game and Archangel's just being starved of a little bit of pack. As yeah, I mean, Archangels have a, a really good start, but they kind of, like, uh, pitted off after yeah. they lost their momentum. They just didn't really manage to get many um, bases beyond their first couple. Rizzler got his blue quite quickly, and Shura Kitty got it around, I think it was around the six-minute mark, yeah. Yeah, so, so you're two and six, and then you know, stop there. Yeah, they just didn't manage to get any <laughs> foothold in either base. And also, just looking at the denials, the all the denials went to Apex, like, uh, Archangels only got... Four shots of the denials, whereas Apex had nine. Yeah, so, so I see it. yeah, that's so a big amount of pack. Meanwhile, on two denials, Ninja on six, and then Backer, who I'm sure is uh, bonfire. Yeah, bonfire in one. So yeah. they they really got fed with the denials at the end there, all throughout the whole game, really. For sure, you can see the little jagged bits on the worm everywhere where there was denials. Right. Is is the uh the next game still broken or is that? Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's just cool. showing two games ahead. Uh, Sometimes. Two, six, eight, 14. Okay. All right, cool. So I guess we need to wait for the, the next game to go in before we do our predictions. Yeah. Well, as we are. Oh. oh, wait. It looks like it is working for this game. So next game we will have Rampage on red, Riptide on blue, and Chaz Wazzers on green. So it's two Queensland teams and Rampage. Um, so what 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 are your predictions for this? What, um, what do you think of this game? Well, I would I would like Riptide to win this one. Uh, yep. Yeah, I know. Yeah, look, I I think uh, Riptide can certainly cause an upset. They're a very very strong team. Um, but R Rampage have trained a lot here. They they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, so we have yeah Rampage currently in seventh, Riptide twelfth. Yeah, was, uh, it, yeah, it shows it down on the. Yeah. Uh, oh, I see the guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm. And I'm not the other scary thing is for Rampage. Like the reason I'm backing Rampage here mostly is uh, definitely Whip it anchoring in red. Red's a very strong base yeah, to yeah, defend, in my opinion, and Whip it is a very strong anchor. So. I mean, I, I'm not quite up to date with uh, exactly how well Rampage is doing, like in individual games, but they're, they're in seventh, so it seems to be doing pretty decent. Yeah, for sure. We've got, yeah, especially on red too. Yeah, red seems to be a very strong base compared to the oh, other yeah. two. Oh yeah, if you have good comms in your defense and you can just like keep on winning those duels, you can absolutely lock it down. Yeah, I mean that goes for most bases, but the cross shot there, where you yeah. can just watch what watch both doors basically from your own door, is yeah, exactly. huge. Yeah, you're kind Jen of... Jen denying Polchrome there very early. And Spider piggybacking off Polchrome's deny and gets denied yeah, by yeah. Hazmat. That's really rough for Rampage. Yeah, I mean, good momentum swing for Riptide. For um, sure. That's, that's a lot of pack there. Yes. Yeah, the point again, so attacking blue can be a bit awkward sometimes as well with... Very. Seems pretty open. So you can have to good timing or get two on the base or something like that. Kind Looks of... like red has managed to get under in green. Yep, there's Zam attacking green. Yep. And okay, gets that base. That, that, was, that was very interesting. There was a green player up on the base. I'm not sure if he just hadn't managed to leave yet. Or because yeah. he managed to make it just to the opposite side of the panel the base is on. Yeah, so I believe that was the game. 
But yeah, so that puts Rampage back ahead, but Riptide's right there without a single base. So <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, Riptide's now ahead. Yeah, it's, Riptide, um, especially with those now, so they've, they've been packing very well at start. Yes, yes, for sure. That being said, Rampage can definitely pull it back, especially if their base starts getting attacked. Like a big reason that there's not as much pack on Rampage is uh, Whippets 1 and 0, Sandlamps 2 and 2. It seems like they haven't really been getting any pack coming to their base yet. So hopefully later in the game that will change a little bit when blue base quiets down and red base gets a bit more busy. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. There seems to be a few reds in the sweep of uh, green. Yeah, just running in now. Yep, and red attacking blue. Looks like they'd stack that front door and okay, so just yeah. manages to get that base before the blue player can get to him. Yep, so now Zam is done. Zam is done. Can I was looking at eyes. Oh, doing so well this game. It's a 260 TR. Yeah, 13 and 5. Very nice stuff from Zen. Whip is still yet to be shot too, so yeah. Rampage really doing well on pack. Oh, Pug Sal denied by Spider, repaying repaying them for their earlier denials and piggybacking off that base. Really clean take from uh, Spider there. As Blue starts going down to Polkrom, Rampage is just ever at the moment. Yeah. They've, they've gotten a little moment. They've gotten what, like... Just look at that worm. They've got four bases <laughs> in like a minute and a half. Yeah, that's crazy. Chilling whole arena. Yeah, and neither other team has any bases yet, and Rampage has offset their bases. They're not just cycling the one team, so definitely started off this game quite well. But we're not even halfway through yet, so the other teams can definitely pull it back. Um, Riptide still a little ahead on the pack points, but Rampage have pulled it back a lot. I mean, there'll be a lot of pressure on the other two teams to do something here, so we might see something... Uh... I, I don't think they'll be that desperate just yet, but yeah. if they realise that all the bases that so far have gone down to Rampage, they'll be yeah, uh, stressing. I mean, especially if this continues uh, and Rampage keeps up, then yeah. Yep, as Spider gets into blue building. and Volley denies them. I, th this is why I don't like attacking blue. You can't, you can't see every angle, and even if you've got someone watching you, it's yeah. very difficult. As Zam denies Pug at... Green. So it looks like Zam hasn't quite gone home unless he's just pushed into green. I mean, uh, red does look fairly empty at the moment, so they, yeah. as I say that, a green comes in. But. They might even be holding with two over at red. But Spider might have floated well out and um, it's just sad lamp and whip it holding those two doors. It looks like we can see Spider has come back in that front door now, though. Yeah. See, we see blues getting into red, uh, into to green. Sorry, so yeah, could see a base start going down up. momentarily. They're still in. As green's still just in. watching that back door. Yeah, reds might be peeking this though. Yeah. Oh, as I think that Zam getting in again. Yeah, so I think that is. Yeah. He's just there to ruin blues day over at green. Molten yeah. or E. Finally getting a uh, base for one of the other two teams, so that puts Chaz Waz as a head of Riptide now. Yep, and so Rampage, the pressure's on Riptide for Rampage's sure. base has finally been cracked too. Yes. That was uh, with its first or second death, and they managed to capitalise. Yeah. Alright. Um, it's not going too well on the pack, though, for Chaz Waz's. So all, all of them are negative. Um, in terms of less than 100%. And their base starts going down, as I say that, to Polchrome. And a very nice take there from Polchrome watching that front door. Yeah, as you see this, there is a, uh, a green in uh, red D2, so we might see something happening momentarily. Yeah, and there's, there's two reds over at green, so and they, they, they opt to leave. Their base is quite busy, so that's very understandable. Yeah. Um, and green gets a chance to reset their defenses. Blue manages to get into V, taken yeah. out by green, and that just gets green out as well. So doing red a favor, keeping their base empty. Spider getting in that under spot. All right, so red is now locked down again, it looks yes. like. Yes. Blue and green seem to be quite quiet at the moment. So this is what I was talking about earlier when, you know, the game moves to the other bases a bit later. And yeah. 
Sad lamp getting in green and very quick. So maybe maybe Chaz Wazers have called something because I can see two of them over at blue. I didn't see yeah. any of them at home. And that's E finishing both his bases. Yeah, and mean, green holding over at blue. I can see two people inside. Maybe they've called a bit of a dump. Yeah, I mean, I can it's, see... getting, it's kind of getting to the point in the game where they, yeah. they might be silent to field. They have to pull something to... Let's keep up with this one. Yeah, I can I mean, see two greens at blue, and I haven't seen any greens at green for a little bit. I think there's two blues under the base. Yeah. That looks like Cheeto running in to try and get the deny, but I didn't see any other defenders around. Two blues just holding inside that base very well until it came back up. So Rampage still needs a few blue bases. I mean, I don't, don't really think they need it. I mean, much, as in, yeah, they don't need it. They just have the ability to get a few blue bases, but they've basically got all of their greens. They can kind of leave that now. Yeah. Robo getting denied by Volley just in that blue under. And that blue spot really, really catching players out with yeah. it cycling through the last green for Rampage. Yeah. So I think, I think green have dumped. Yeah, I think so too. So they, they were just out blue. And honestly, have, considering that they've only dropped one base to Riptide, they, I, I think they maybe could have recognised that they were kind of already out of it against Rampage. Yeah. They're, they're quite far ahead. So keeping Riptide out of their base could have been a shout. But also, they are at Riptide's base with a lot of them under. Yep, and Sandlamp just picked up some Nile as well. So. Yep, Jam picking up his green base. Nice and free there. Yeah. yeah and green keep getting a lot of players underneath in blue, but then just not managing to capitalize. They're getting three or four under, and unfortunately not managing to really make much of it. Rampage has just been so dominant throughout this whole game. It's been everywhere. Yeah, Jam's doing well this game. Clean base, solid tag tags, and red cycling his green. So yeah, I think Chaz Wazers have um, maybe played themselves out of it a little with their dump, but I guess when you're dumping, you're expecting to get through your bases a bit quicker than they are, unfortunately. So while they're not getting through their bases, they are also not getting denied, though. So they're, they're keeping their structure. They're, they're making sure they're going for clean bases. Um, Robo's obviously got a few shots of denials, but... In general, they've been... I mean, yeah, what, like, what's likely happening is that Rampage is just sitting on their backs and yes. preventing them from getting in at all. And Blue seems to be holding quite strong and just cycling that green base, so... Looks like Rampage should come out of this pretty cleanly. They don't yeah, need I mean, to try to finish here, because obviously Blue base is very busy. Yeah, I mean, if we look at the score margins, I think it's like pretty much... I think it's in. decided, just... There is, there is some opportunity for Chaz Wazers to maybe come back into it if they can get their bases very quickly, but they'll need to I mean, let's see. get both bases on a bit of a cycle. Cheeto denying Sad Lamp at blue, so it looks like Rampage are trying to finish their bases. Yeah. Get their average score up a bit. We've got green under blue. Cheeto going for their blue and getting tagged out, unfortunately. Let me see. Yeah. So red is still locked down in the defense. Uh, yep. Looks like a lot of people are not not letting them. anything through. Yeah. Whip it with an almost two hundred percent tag ratio. Just keeping that V spot on lock and spider holding under the base just there. Very difficult to crack those both of those angles. Definitely. It it has been quite a common strat to to lock down the hub two in red, especially when it gets really hectic like that. Yes. Yes. Quite for sure. Green once again getting under blue. Um, just waiting to shoot the base, waiting to know that they're clear. And yeah, getting shot out by blue again there. It is quite difficult to get both doors on blue clear. It's just so easy to lunge across yeah, that, that back wall and where the rep is. And get denied from there. I mean, blue's a weird one. It does feel quite open and then also quite... Yeah. At the same time with how the panels are set up. It's quite difficult to get someone out who's set up on a panel that's facing you, but as soon as they're facing the other way, it feels quite easy. Or shooting the base, because it is, it's not the easiest base to hit. 
it's, you know, as the game comes to an end, and yeah, Rampage first, Rip Tide second, Chaz Wes is third, so as yeah. predicted, um, game. yeah, Rampage. in in the ladder positions. Chaz Wes is trying something there with that dump, and unfortunately they didn't really get anything out of it, but well played by all. Yeah. yeah. Especially very dominant by Rampage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they, they all played very well. They're all, all positive tag ratios, so. I mean, they had control, like, the whole game pretty much. So. Yeah. It seemed like the control in general, like their maze controls them in green in that mid game, just keeping the blues from getting it while before before green had dumped, he was just in there being a menace on that uh, green attack. Uh, sorry, stopping that blue attack. Yeah, very good comeback there from Riptide. Chazwazers were leading for that middle portion of the game and just got uh, knocked, uh, knocked down when they decided to call that dump. All right, so let's have a look. If, <laughs> if the next game is correct. Which uh, it is. Yeah. We've got a 1-2-3 game. Got Vikings, Catalyst, Dragons. Very easy. So should be a good one. Let's see. Do you know how uh, Vikings have been doing this game? Have they? Have, do they have a clean sheet with winning games still? I believe so. It'd be nice to see the um, ladder with all the victory points and such, but unfortunately, we don't have that yeah. on us. Um, I believe they've got a, at least a mostly clean sheet. Yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah, they've been they've been doing very well this comp. Um, Catalyst and Dragon. I, I seem to recall Dragons taking a sorry Dragon D's. Taking off, taking a game off um Catalyst earlier, um. So it'll be very interesting to see what each team does. You know, yeah. Dragon's very well known for dumping, um. So maybe we'll see that happen at some point. Oh, that'd be cool. But we've got Vikings on red, Catalyst on green, and Dragon D's on blue. Yeah, Vikings on red seems uh, especially menacing. Yes. Yeah. yeah red red base is. I think mo the consensus for the space, may maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Um, I mean, it's just like the, what, the, the cross shot that you can have from one door to the other. It's just, yes. It's, it's so strong for defending. Yeah. Kinda, it's, it's crazy. It kind of forces the attackers to, to go one each doorway. So you, especially if you have someone set up on the, on the uh, cross shot, you can't really stack and pin a door because you can just shoot through. Yeah, it looks like there's a fair bit of action over at blue at the moment. And blue, likewise, at green. Yep. And a good take there by Gustus, and a good take by Husky over in red. Yeah. He's just got that red spot on lock. Like, yeah. he, he got in, and there was no getting him out after that. Yeah, Gus, I've seen so many, I've seen so many games, it's kind of like Gus has just gotten a base or two so quickly within the game. Yeah. First minute or two. That does seem to be a common theme with the Dragons games. Some, it's, it's a bit of a low tag game so far. Going over the minute mark, it seems like Vikings have most of the pack. Like the other two teams just not getting many tags in general. I mean, uh, yeah. And Red going down again, this time to Dragons, and Finn gets it. Nice take from Finn. Yeah, it was, it was very nice, and it seemed quite busy. So just taking from that underspot was very clean. Yeah, so they had, they had one in under with Finn, and they had another one in front, front. watching the uh, cross. Watching, watching that cross, and you just it's very difficult to get in. Yeah. And Green gets back in red. Red is not having a fun time, so very, very inverse to our prediction. Um, it looks like they're just... Uh, they've dropped two bases in a minute and a half, so... Yeah. And they're dropping another one now to Wax... Who gets it quite easily? There was no one able to lunge in there. Yeah, so Sakal's so doing very well early game with the two early bases. Yeah, and Blue just getting shot out there, so it looks like someone's over at Blue. Probably Catalyst bouncing. Yeah. As Shifter gets back into the base. And. Both Catalyst and Dragon D's with two bases apiece. I'll probably want to make it a bit of a higher base game. Um, try and take as many bases as they can. Because yeah. Vikings, while they're doing well in the pack, no bases yet. And uh, 
Yep. As if you can see, prevent yeah. those defenders from getting to go out into attack, then it is very nice to have those extra bases on yeah. your opponents. As we just see run crack into the blue and hold it down pretty effectively. Yeah, he's and just, still, he is still he's in still there. What a take. That was what was, what's his tag insane. streak on? He's on a tag streak of eight. Yeah, oh, he just shot like five people before he started shooting as well. Yeah. So... He's just taking control. Oh, as he finally gets shot out, but that was a that was a crazy run in blue base from yeah. blue base from uh, run. Yeah. Just, oh, he, it seemed that every phaser that got st stuck out just got dinged. It yeah, doesn't matter killed, when. Yeah. As green gets into blue now, and blue gets into red. VG master going for that red base. Yeah, Vikings defense is not having a fun time. Right, three so and yeah. a half minutes in. So, surprisingly, red's actually getting cracked quite a bit this game. Yes, and their defense is struggling on the tags and tag ratio a little bit. Not yeah. not a huge amount, just... I mean, uh, everyone is above if the fines for Dilly, so they're not doing too bad. They're, they're, they're definitely not doing too bad. Like, their pack is very solid. Yeah. They, they're right behind Catalyst, only with one one base, so... Yeah. Um, I mean, everyone's still in this. And then we do also have Dragons with four bases already. Yeah, um, they've got a lot of bases and they haven't had to dump yet, so... Um, yeah. Although they are a slight bit behind on pack, so we'll see how it goes. Yes. Especially when Runt gets in and does that to your team. Oh, that, that was... Eight, yeah. eight tag streak, you're, you're going to be a bit behind on that. That was absolutely insane. He was just, like, covering himself from both doors simultaneously. Yeah. That's the type of stuff that can change the momentum of a game really quickly. Looks like green's nice and quiet as a red starts trying to get in that back door. I can't tell if Green has someone in that facing position. Because there were three of them just in the base and all three walked out. Yeah, I mean, with the addition of the, the new like uh, panel on the roof, like, we can actually see who's under. Yes. So, yeah. As Red manages to get in Green and denied by VG. Yeah. And VG trying to piggyback off of that successfully too. Yeah. So Dragons have been very effective at getting... Bases and they're getting their bases quickly. Yeah, they are. They're, and they're also cleanly too. Cleanly, quickly, and then they're, they're just not spending much time at the base after. Yeah. And Lilbo getting denied by Azura and at blue. They're, they're, they're also keep, they've only dropped one base so far. So Dragon's actually just putting on a masterclass right now. And they're really controlling this game. Yeah, especially if this keeps up. They, they just have all the momentum. Like, even though they're getting, they don't have the crazy TRs of, like, Rump and uh, Karen and CV, but they're getting more tags in general. Other, well, Runt has more tags, but they're just keeping those points up, and also these clean bases are just... I mean, that's what dragons do, right? They're very efficient with the, the push and pull of uh, quick hits and bases. So. Yes. So with Finn and VG done, it's time to see if they get Gus and Nazarin maybe to go out, or whether they just try and control the game still. With Runt, oh, Runt denied by Wham. That was rough. I think he had just gone for that third shot on the base when he got plunged yeah. through that back door. We can hear Shifter yelling home from well outside the arena as Lilbo manages to pick up his blue. Yeah. So only the second base dropped by Dragons. I mean, they're still doing very well. They've, they've fallen a bit behind on, on the worm with uh, the recent base drops, but they're, they're still doing pretty good. Yes, yeah. And Vikings pack is still very good. Um, better than both other teams, but they're just not getting the bases to match. Yeah. So um, they've really got to start smashing through some bases if they want a chance here. As Azarin gets in red, and it looks like he just... Might have watched the wrong door. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so he, he got tagged in, out back door. Yeah, he came in the front door and was watching that. Uh, and then someone slipped into the back door and denied him. Yep. And Twinkle's getting his blue base, so that that really helps Vikings here. Yeah, they're so ahead of Catalyst now, who have three bases. So yeah, they are. So if they continue with that, uh, I mean, both John and Twinkles need green. So if they start pushing that more, maybe a few more bases, then yes. I believe Twinkles, first. at least in the games we play against Vikings, have been playing a bit more of a three, and it's been CV yeah. and Runt attacking. And as we see, Runt just gets his uh, green. So yeah, they're, they're, they're right on Dragon's Tail now. They have yeah. so much pack. Lilbo getting his red just to put Catalyst in the game as well. Yeah. Uh, Catalyst with one more base will be uh, just level with Dragons. Yeah, so this is what you want in a game. It's, it's really close. Everyone's uh, you know, For neck sure. and neck. As and everyone seems to be resetting. 
Yep. Everyone back in their own bases. Vikings just uh, taking the lead over Dragons with uh, two bases down, so they're doing phenomenally. Yep. Really we can see, I think, both attacks are over at green at the moment. Some of them might be switching over to red now. Yeah, so yeah there's, blue's, there's just, blue's blue just gone to red. And Vikings then... getting ahead now just on those pack points. And yeah, being two bases down with this amount of pack is very, very nice. Yeah. And back to even their even their um defenders just have a volume of tags compared to the dragons. Like yeah, exactly. twenty two tags and twenty two tags on Karen and Jelly, whereas Azarin and Shifter have seventeen and thirteen. That's that's a fair few points right there. Husky getting denied by VG and C V getting denied by Thick Jim. Yeah, it just seems that all three teams are now on blue. Yes, green just holding onto that base, and they've got two players in. I think Jim going for it, and getting denied by that blue player. Again, just getting in that back spot next to the ref. It yeah. is very difficult to shoot someone once they've got around that door. Yeah, exactly. So, potentially this is uh, giving dragons more pack and placing them... Yeah. yeah. Along with CV's denied shot. It is VG with four denies, by the way. That's uh, very, very, very nice for Dragons. As we come up to the two and a half minutes left in the game, Azarin going for red. Yep, and a lovely take in. there. Getting a couple tags on the way out. Wax going for blue, getting denied. Just people running through that base. It's so difficult to prevent them. Oh, and denied again. And Husky denied. Oh, the Catalysts are getting very desperate here. I think yeah. they know they're behind. Dragons are really uh, feeding, the, uh, getting fed deniers. It's really yeah, helping with their pack. and it's, it's putting them more than a base ahead of um, Vikings. Yeah. As I say that, the pack gap closes a little bit. Oh, CV team denying oh. Twinkles. That is not what the Vikings yeah. needed right now. <laughs> they really need to get through some of these bases. No, that's, that's quite a tilt. Yeah, with a minute and a half left. Vikings need at least one base. Yeah. As Twinkles gets back into green. All right, so he's in. There's a launcher in front. Off the Here he out. goes. So he should have this. Yes. Yeah. He, he does get this, and now there's only, there's only a 1,000 points in it. So definitely within reach as it comes up to a minute left in the game. Yeah. Red really locking down their base right now. We could see one in under, one in V, as they swap out who's in V. Yeah. And Dragons just holding their base. Green trying to get in. Shifter just playing around those panels. Moving yeah, as the attackers cool, move. Yeah. Isn't you coming down for the last base between our Vikings and Dragons? Yeah. Here goes Wax. Oh, just getting denied. It looks like Twinkles missed a couple shots yeah. on Wax too. And that denier just barely put Vikings back in front. Yes. So Vikings just managed to outpack, outpack the Dragons. Wax taking right. blue, which is not amazing for Vikings. They're not going to be able to get that blue now to finish I off mean, the game. Yeah, it looks like the, the they might be might go to the green then. Yeah. So both Vikings and Dragons are probably going to want green here. Yeah. Dragons just need to get some points. Can be pack, can be a base. Either or will work. Can see some red action around back door of green as we come up to the last 15 seconds of the game. Uh... Yeah, dragons need a base at this point, and yeah. plus it's just coming into the end, so everyone's left blue. So the pack is now at the Vikings base. Yeah. So that might just put them ahead, and it just keeps them ahead. And yeah, that's the game. So Vikings take what was a very interesting game. Um, Catalyst just just fell behind. They had the bases on Vikings. Just yeah. that pack game from Vikings was very very nice. Karen with 182 percent, Runt with 61 tags on 165 percent TR. That's very nice. And Catalyst, yeah, really, really costs, but, uh, sorry, very costly denies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. I mean, yeah, that, that's kind of fed uh, Dragons, put them in the whole game there. For sure. But yeah. All right, I believe we've got our next pair of commentators coming in, my teammates, Brodizzle and Red Devil. So, uh, yes. yeah, we will see people. you guys for commentary later.
Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Pre Nats Three. How's everyone's day been? Fantastic to hear. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, the next game we got up is red on one up, Sharkies on blue, and Outlaws on green. Um, right now, the predicted is Sharkies first, one up second, Outlaws third. Uh, one up and Sharkies have been they have played games before, and it has turned out pretty. Good for Sharkies, I'd say. Yeah, yep. Mm. So they've definitely uh, found their groove after Pre-Nats 2. Yes, definitely back in the swing of it. Yeah. Yeah, just to, just to mention, just from this game, highest tag ratio, Karen, 182%. Highest tag streak, run with 8. Chain tags, 5, runt. It's pretty much just all runt, you know. And yeah, Vikings and Dragon Ds. Looked like they were pretty at it for that last couple four minutes. Oh, yeah, very close game. Mm. Catalyst trying to make a comeback. Just couldn't be able to stick the landing. So, yeah. As the game starts... Do you think this is going to go the way it should go? Um, I'm not too sure. I reckon I would see more into it, but... As W players, we should probably go for Sharkies, you know? Yeah, we should. Probably should. I'm not sure if the camera's on. Is it on? The other commentators didn't really tell us. It's fine. Yeah, not looking good for Sharkies. Already coming third. One up taking that early pat league and a few early dings there. For one up. Mm. And yeah, it's pretty standard. Everyone's inside their base. Yep. Oh, someone stinky got into green there on the back door. Camps are getting in red and getting it. Yeah. First base of the game for Outlaws. This could set the tempo. Do you reckon this is going to be one of the games with a lot of bases or mm. not as many? No, I think this will be... Well, it's hard to say with one up in it, right? What do you mean by that? Huh? They'll, they like to throw, throw caution to the wind and create some chaos, oh, get yeah. some bases. Oh, yeah. No cameras, um, guys. Thank you, Sasha. As we see, we're just seeing red trying to get into green. One up just kind of struggling here. Yeah, on that back door there. Mm. Just trying to find uh, out to get in. Oh. There was Sharkies there as well. But it's now been shot out. Sharkies are still there as well. There's a stinky on the front door. I don't think anyone's on the front door of blue. No comms from front door of blue, to be honest, I don't think. Yeah, no. Oh. Green trying it blue there from the back door. Yeah, they do a little do two lock. Yeah. Red still can't get into green. Very much trying and trying. Can't do it. Pretty stagnant game. Sharkies yeah. are ahead on the pack, so... Yeah, they are. If this keeps on going, and if they just maintain this pack, they'll very much catch up to Outlaws. Yeah. This could play very much in Sharky's favor. Yeah, definitely. And as you were saying, a bit of chaos. Is there a link to the R ladder somewhere? Um, I'm pretty sure it's on the... Fa oh, I think it's getting released very soon. I could double check for you if you want. Um, Worthy, when's the ladder getting released? When's it? It's literally going to be posted shortly. Okay, yeah. So yeah, so we're just waiting for the... Um, approval for the post to go through. Should be up in very soon. Yeah, one up minutes. getting a base there when that when we're talking about that. Um, one up getting a blue. Green is yet to drop. Mm. Holding a very good defense. I've seen a lot of like that. Owl, sorry, let me restart that. Owl's defending is very nice. I've been roughing their games and just superb. Yeah. As we say that, Packing gets into red and gets it pretty cleanly as well. Now, do you reckon they're going to go to blue? Or hmm. they're going to try and cycle it a bit? I would hope so. I would hope they'd go to blue. Yeah, but they might not. Snakes in blue. 
Gets denied by packing. No, they have yet. They have gone to blue. And packing goes for it. And gets it. Yeah, very nice piggyback. Yeah, very nice. So it looks like they are offsetting their bases. Yeah, offsetting their good. bases, which is awesome. Yeah. I was very much in the lead at this point. Pretty much like doubling their score and a bit. Yep. Sharky's yet to get a base, but definitely right behind him on pack. Looks like blue was in green. Sharky's got in for a second. Getting yeah, shot out. they keep getting in for a little bit, but getting shot. Out. They just can't get really. Yeah, they're not. They're not they having really enough success it. to seal the deal. Oh, red in the front door of blue. Oh, green, going green with the piggyback. Oh, I guess the night by red. That's some nice pack points yeah. from Sharkies right there. Yep. Red's inside of blue still. Maybe goes for it. Do they have the, do they have the comms? No, they oh, don't. Green's in now. Now green's in. They have back door covered. They have front door covered. Oh, oh. not anymore. Oh. Unlucky. Now blue goes for a double lock. Never mind, get shot out by green. Not yeah. pretty empty base. Red goes for oh, the taking. Red is in. Two of them are in. Surely Could they take here. Surely they just shoot somewhere. Oh, and both getting shot out. All happening in blue right everyone now. Everyone just jumping on them. Everyone what's inside this base. Red goes in. Maybe snakes it. Oh, they get shot through the little pee, pee hole. Oh, green's in. Oh, oh nice that's move great there. Movement. Yeah. Flash goes for red. Just gets denied instantly though. That's unlucky. So it looks like Sharkies are trying to get into red while everyone else is kind of at blue, just chilling. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like red's going to try and cycle blue. Get a two-man lock in there. Yep, yep. That's pretty much the standard way people have been holding blue when attacking it. Ooh, Everything's going nice down. Nice deny there by method. Green's going for red and gets it. Oh. Outlaw's really running yeah. away with this game now. Sharks, Sharkies will definitely know. So will one up. Um, red's outside of green. Could be kind of nutty. Yeah, so this, um, this could end up being interesting. Oh, red's inside. Never mind, get shot out. Just doubling. I'm unsure. I'm pretty sure there's no one under. As we see, Green try to desperately get back in and try and retake. Yeah. Green's inside of blue, but I Packing's already got that, so he's left. Who's going to pull the trigger for Sharkies or one up? Well, it's equal on base stakes. Yeah. Oh, denied. Time by method? Maybe for the piggyback, though. No, it's been Get shot. Shut Everything's pretty standard now. Yeah. Green's reset. Mm. All the bases are reset. Yeah, nothing's really happening. Hmm. Outlaw's still absolutely dominating, though. They are. Yep. Four bases up with pack, I'm pretty sure, if I do the math correctly there. Yeah, yeah, a little bit yeah. of pack, yeah. I got pretty, a lot of pack. Sharky's still trying to catch up to one up with no bases. They're going to need to get a base somewhere soon. Yeah, because I'm not sure. One up's in, one up's in green. I'm not sure if Sharky's going to catch up on pack here. No, I don't know. They're can. As we say this, their base is going down by Invictus, and he manages to get it. They have three players finished now. Yeah, they do. That's a very good position to be in. Exactly. Now, do they just leave it and don't go for bases? Or do they put Syracal out on the tag or Brownie? Or do they just go for pack now? Because they know they're pretty far ahead in terms yeah, of Yeah, they're one bases. of the more cautious teams, I think, in that regard. So, yeah, I reckon they're both just going to stay out. Yeah. And just go for pack. 
Because I did see packing floating They'll probably around. swap out, but uh, I don't, I don't know. think they'll... They'll know they don't need to push. Yeah, okay. Blue is in red, so it's, I'm pretty sure that's Flash. Yeah, Flash is in red. Gets shot out through the window. Unlucky. Green now is in blue. Circle is going for the base. Can't seem to hit it, though. Oh, oh unlucky. Still a lot of denials on blue, but there as you can is. see, yeah. Crouch going for green. Very nicely done. Having two in there, just very well played. Very set up. Weird place to hold green. And it is. I have seen Commander Snake try and do it a couple of times. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because he couldn't figure out how to not get shot from Backdoor tight. Yeah, okay. Yeah, backdoor tight has been a bit of a problem for the lower end players. Mm. Mm. Because they get to shoot straight through. Yeah. Greens and blue. Uh, I think, yeah, they've got, already got the base. Oh, no, they don't. They got denied before. Oh, red's in. And gets denied, denied by, by stinky. stinky. Yum, yum, pack points. Red's inside a green. Yeah, they're covered tag, by both doors. That's their attack ratios aren't great. Their pack points are literally being held up by all their denials at this point, Blue. Yeah, Sharkers have been left in the dust here. Nine shots worth of denials for Sharkies. Yeah, that is true. But, yeah, but the tag ratios just aren't the best at the moment. No. I am surprised what, do you reckon they, they haven't, haven't dumped, pulled or? a dump yet. Maybe they reckon they're so far ahead on pack. Maybe. Yeah, maybe the denials are giving them a bit of confidence. Yo, commentators, let's see Red Roosters orders type it in the chat. Um, I'll text it to you later, Gabby. But yeah, I'll take a ripper sub. Thanks. Yeah, ripper sub sounds good. Is there any chicken treats in Aubrey? In Aubrey, I think that's uh, nah, perfect. chicken treats a WA only thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, anyway, Grease in red and oh. gets it. No, nice. they they just want the bases. They think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I just kick the horse balls down, you know. I'm Sharkies have yet to get a base, and I'm amazed they haven't done it like dumped. Yeah. Considering how, well, they have been getting a lot of denials. They have. Shit. Um, and yeah, that, that pretty much ends the game. Yep. Even if Sharkies do get a base here, yeah, that, it's not going to do anything not, for them. It's not going to change the standings. Oh, Gunny gets a warning. I'm not sure where that was. Did you see? No, I didn't notice no? that. No. Okay. High tag ratio, 143 on zero. Cool. Very nicely done. Pack has 11k, which is pretty swag. So does Invictus. Yep, yep. Quite high tags, yeah. And I mean, Camster has almost 10 with six shots into blue. The tag ratios in this game aren't very high. No. Uh, they, they're all around the 100. Yeah. Given the type of game, that's, that's mm. to be expected, I think. Yeah. But yeah, the full upset here. Outlaws, one up, Sharkies. Yeah, that's, that's a, a that's, complete reversal, isn't it? Yeah, that's it? a complete reversal. Yeah, it's a good job there, the Outlaws. Unlucky to one up and Sharkies. Mm. It's great for one up because then they get to, I'm pretty sure they move up a spot. Yeah, yeah, they probably they might do with that. Mm. Um, who's up next? We've got, oof, okay. This so is a big Queensland yeah. game. So we've got Eclipse on a red, Callus on blue, and Storm on green. A Queensland... Wait a minute. <laughs> meal? It's not even a sandwich. It's just Queensland. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. It's still Queensland. It's just a three-course Queensland meal. But yeah, what do you think? I think Catalyst first. Yeah. And I'm going to say Storm second. I think particularly considering Catalyst came third in that last game, they'll bounce back big from this. Yeah. I think Wax has learned his lesson about captaining. Anyway, so I think we've got Catalyst first, Storm second, and Eclipse third. That's what I reckon. 
Yeah, I could see that as well. Yeah, but you have to like pick something else because I picked it first, you know. Damn. I guess I'll go Catalyst first and then swap the other two. All right, gotcha. I haven't seen much of the Catalyst games. Uh, I've reffed a couple. They're pretty... They're pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty I mean, good. To be expected. Mm. Storm with a very early lead here. The grass is green and the sky is blue. Mm. Catalyst is good. Well, from, at the moment, not really. No. Early start, they're struggling to find the pack compared to Storm. Storm have really found the pack mm. instantly. Having said that, wax there is, is a green. wax in. And oh. yes, the first base of the game. That's huge. And not even, they're not even behind on pack anymore. No, no, they're not. Their fifth player hasn't shot yet. I'm assuming that's Husky because I don't think they'll be playing with four right now. No. Do you reckon that looks, that looks like Husky on last line, yeah? Um, blue. Yes, yes it is, yeah. yeah. I wonder if we're going to get any more shots to the shifter. For those, if you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Firebird. Oh, struggling Potato to get his red. Denied. Oh, unlucky. Gets denied. Red is empty. Red, is, they've not managed to reset yet. There is a blue into red. Oh, no, shot out. Catalyst Red's going to. Oh, no. Green. Green's in. No. Blue's getting oh, out. It is all, yeah, green is in. Red is going to reset red. now, though. Yeah, last lining and under is a weird one. I've seen a couple teams do it, but I would expect Eclipse to do it. Yeah, I quite like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I wouldn't stay the whole time there, but moving there for a bit is pretty good. Mm. I've seen Spider do it um, with Whip It under, uh, Whip It yeah. MV. It works pretty well, yeah. especially when you've got good comms. Yeah. Husky still hasn't shot a shot in two minutes. No. So. There he is. Look at that joyful man. <laughs> no, I think there's a bit of action at blue as we hear behind Yeah, the there wall. is a green on the front door there holding. Gets shot out the back door's going to be up soon. Nothing really yeah, happening. No, no, no real action. I think it's just pretty much a packing game. Yeah, I think that's what, uh, what it's set, settling into at the moment. All these uh, bases are quite tight in terms of defense. Oh, yeah, no, green trying to get in there, the back door of blue, and again. The cattle is still ahead with yeah. pack as well. But yeah, I thought uh, Storm would be... Oh, they did shoot the base twice. They did. The potato now shooting oh. his green and gets it. He's pretty much, they're pretty much on par with the clip, uh, Catalyst here. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit more pack from Catalyst. Clips. Which they're, they're obviously doing a pretty good job of finding it when you consider Husky's only shot three people. Mm. So I don't think the action's super at their base. So I reckon it's going to be the... Has there been an infinite tag ratio win? Let's yeah, see I if Husky can get that infinite that. tag ratio. You've we cursed him now. Oh, uh, yeah. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I did see blues in red for a second. They might go back to green. But yeah, no one's really inside the base. They're just no. kind of on the outside, just farming, trying to get back. Yeah, just trying Cows to and flip, Eclipse are the opening, you know? On each other's toes here. Yeah. Oh, green, green in the back gets. door. Husky knows about the peephole. Oh, he's finally been shot. No. Only an 800% tag yeah. ratio. Disappointing. He's... All these bases have reset again. Oh, losing red. Thick Jim. Nice. Jimmy Clean gets base. his a red. 
Very clean, with comms probably. No catalyst. Yeah, everything. I wonder if that was now. a. I wonder if that was a quick push because his tag ratio doesn't scream. I've been attacking for five minutes. Yeah, they. I have seen them do that a lot yeah. actually, especially with uh, thick gym. Yep. Green's in blue now. Mad can's getting it. Oh, nice. Very clean base. Staying in as well. Ah, oh, but get shot out there. Catalyst really running away with the pack lead now yeah. though. I'm glad Mad Cans is using the exit. <laughs> Like the third exit, because we haven't really been seeing much use of it in this comp, even though it's there. Really? Oh, I love it. Oh, as on last time, you'd love it, but yeah. everyone else, all the attackers just want to get straight back to the door. Yeah. So they don't bother with it. It's more running, you know? True. But yeah, now Shock is now in red. Clean. And gets it very nicely. Yeah, nice. Oh, green's in blue. Oh, and yes, right now red goes piggy for back, as well. Piggy piggy back, back. and ping ponging. Oh no! My, oh no! That that'd be kicking themselves. That sucks for them. But now green is in blue. Still one remaining. I'm pretty sure that's who's in that shot out. Husky's back in reset. Mm. Not a lot has happened to green in this game. No. Well, I mean, besides wax It's dropped getting. twice, but otherwise... All the actions are blue at the blue. moment. Two reds. But yeah. Clean. Eclipse are a bit behind on the pack. Let's see if they, if they can bring it back. Yeah, the denies are... They did have a bit of a drop them. after yeah, the denies. Yeah. Reds now inside of blue. Can they take it? Nah, but Hussey's just better. Blam goes for the green and to kill nice. it. Nice. That puts him further into the lead, which is awesome. With that being said, Mancans does close to that gap with taking yeah, red. Yeah, now the gapping is only a K. But yeah, Mancans is now done. So do you, who do you reckon he's going to swap for? Probably Bones or Firebird, because I heard that Moss is like 100% their last line. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that's interesting because Fiber's going to be. is in green at the moment. I think that's Lilbo. Oh, I think, no, it's Husky. And he gets it and he leaves. Nice. Is a Husky on attack is crazy. <laughs> that being said, oh, there's a bit of Denaz. Red's in, red's in, two of them shooting. Oh, oh just denied. through front door. Yep. Green's in. Blue base is costing this Eclipse is a, a lot. Oh, Mo door. Mopar oh. also getting a turn for it yeah. as well. I think that's a blue in, cattle, uh, blue in green as well. Yeah, Lilbo's getting it right now. Green just couldn't go for it. Oh. Firebird goes for his blue and... And secures it. Missing a couple shots. Very yeah, scary. Yeah. Missing shots on blue is actually gets oh, the heart pumping. Yeah. Yep. Potato getting another warning. So that is two terms for Eclipse. Or oh, two warnings, I Who guess. Who is that? CV is dishing them out. Mm. But yeah, Storm and Callus are pretty much one. F oh, not anymore. But they were one for one on the pack just before. Yeah. With Jimmy getting yeah, warnings for days. Done 100%. with green. Yeah. Are uh, Green going to realize this and just sit on the back of Catalyst now? Yeah, possibly. Right. And kind of just let Eclipse go through their base a couple of times. Just so they can, you know, not let Catalyst get anything yeah. for the last couple of minutes. Little Bo just denied, yeah. yeah I was going to say, they've moved to red because Little Bo denied Fiber to red. And then Wax goes to the piggyback and gets it. Yeah, very nice. Mopar gets his green as well. They actually might be sitting on the back of Gavost. Or they dumped. Because mm. I just saw it. Oh, there was two players going out. Be a very late storm dump, though. I do see a lot at blue and not a lot at green. Yeah, definitely. So maybe storm did a very late game dump to blue. Red, I, yeah, I think they dumped. I see three... 
players. Red, however, haven't, which is interesting. They've got two terms. They haven't had yeah. clean bases. Shock goes for his blue. And denies. Wax denies shock. Oh, red going for the piggyback. Just denies. more denies. Oh, my Jeez gosh. Louise. We're going to have to count how many denies like, this game has yeah. cost. Just all on blue as well, pretty much. Yeah. Besides a little bit at red, but it's pretty much been all at blue. Even with the dump, green still can't get through Catalyst. No. With that being said, Tricky gets his dumped green base. Yeah. This is going to close the gap between Eclipse and Storm. So yeah, Storm do. really need to get their blues. Yeah. Or if it's not working, switch up to red because red's probably realized by now that they've dumped and it's on their tail, just yeah. getting pack. Yeah. If, if Eclipse plays as well, they could get a, a second here. Yeah, definitely. They've got time for another couple of aces, and 100%. that's pretty much the difference. Like, they're going to be able to get two more greens. Yeah. They're going to be able to finish. I think Catalyst is pretty set in Ooh, stone. Having said first. that, Storm's getting a red. Uh, uh, 10k in... 30 seconds is a lot of points. It is. Especially when you, when you only think have time I for I think that's locked base. Eclipse out of second. You think? Okay, so it's pretty much going to stay where yeah. it stands. Hmm. Husky not quite getting the 800% tag ratio. No. But 165 is still pretty bad. Yeah, very good. Especially when he also went on attack as well. Yep. Bones going for his blue and gets it. Red's inside of blue. I don't think they know that they don't have enough time. No. Well, they're there for pack, pretty much. Yeah. And that is the end. Yeah, GG's. Catalyst first, Storm second, Eclipse third. Hey, do you remember what I predicted at the start? I remember you stealing predictions that are correct, yep. Oh, yeah, so I am the best. So, <laughs> so we got Husky with a highest tag ratio, 153. Highest tag streak, Moss, 7. Highest chain tag is 4. So if anyone that doesn't know what chain tag means, it's pretty much every time you shoot someone, a 5-second timer starts. Oh, what's happening, Queenie? And when you shoot someone, that 5-second timer restarts, and it continues on the chain. But yeah, the most tags when taking, Jimmy, very talented. Most denials, Mopar, and Potato, which is yeah. only three. So yeah, Catos got a lot of denials, but it was spread over the team. Yeah. Firebird there being very costly. Yeah, just, just a tad. So let's count how many blue shots there were. So we got three on Shock, one on Moss, two on Firebird. What is that? That's what? Three, four, six. six. Two on Type Island, eight. Yeah. One on Potato, nine. Two on Mopar, 11. 11. That's 11 shots just into, into yeah, blue. Yeah, it was happening at blue. Yeah, and because of that, Kalos just got so much back. Yep. And they pretty much just saw, look at their worm. They, uh, when, uh, when getting bases, they just kept on going. Yeah. Um, yeah, with Storm dumping, it wasn't the worst idea. Um, but it, but if Eclipse played that perfectly, they might have stopped Storm from yeah, being able to definitely. They could have stole the second there. Yeah, they were a bit packed behind, like four K pack. Yeah, but yeah, if Chaos is just stealing all back, I'm not sure. Yeah, this next game we got. Mm, I did not, not read. That. It yeah, was... it's not that. I forgot to read it out. It's we got after shock, after shock on, on red, red, rampage on blue, and dragon D's on green. I think it's going to be rampage first, dragon D second, after shock third. That's my prediction for this game. Oh my goodness. Mm. As we say this, Holmes gets the first base of the game yeah, pretty much say, straight away. Maybe Aftershock will do something in this game, to be honest. But Dragon yeah. D's almost beat Catalyst in yeah, game they, a couple of games ago. So didn't they, didn't they beat him? No, 
I think no? Catalyst took it in the end just. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I kind of saw the halfway point. Yeah. A lot of blues in blue. Not sure what's happening there. Just maybe a little team discussion. Yeah, Red's having some action. A bit of swappage of last line. Blue's setting up a green base, front door. Oh, Red is in green, yeah. So is Red. Red should be able to get this. They have base locked down or no, they left, last lane they, got shot they out. They decided it wasn't safe. Spider Blue's goes for going green. For it, though. And gets it. Just with the help of, I think, that's Zam. Yep. Yeah. Nicely Green's done. inside a blue. And I think that is Polk. Oh, Ju Gustus getting denied by Polkrom. Nice, nice amount of points for Polkrom right there. Yeah, that, that's helping to close that hat yeah. gap. Um, yeah, ta Gustus didn't sign in, and he's Talon. But also, Justice got denied, and that Talon player doesn't say they got denied. Oh, Polkrom getting a green there. Sorry about that. A couple of our players haven't signed in. Silly Billies. Dragon D's getting off the mark with a blue there. Mm. But Rampage just ahead on pack, but are ahead overall because of their two bases. Dragon is falling a tad bit behind on pack. Yeah. Just comparing that to Aftershock. Everything's reset. Last line for blue has been very dynamic, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, You're definitely. You're very much using the entire base. Yep. I think that's really cool. Yeah, I like it. It's not like other bases, like in Hobart, green where you pretty much just sat under and yeah. that was where your last line 100% of the time yeah yeah blue's a lot more done that's to say that's not to say hobart green isn't a phenomenal base because it is absolutely like one of the best bases yeah. in australia oh blue is in Polkram is done yeah Polkram three and, and a half minutes in so he's probably gonna swap with either zam or sadlamp because he did last line last nats didn't he so is he gonna swap to that role yeah or and are they going to lose? As we said, Benny there. gets his green. So I think both bases are down besides Blues. Yeah, so Blue might see a bit of action now. They seem very uncautious. They do, don't they? Nothing's happening. Yeah, so Polkram is in last line now. Greens are in red, setting up for a base take. Yeah, they're going to get shot out. Yep. By Beefy there. Beefy's taking control again. Hmm. See a bit of action at green. I'm not sure what yeah, yeah. that was. Oh, oh. beefy has been shot out. Green is now inside. Oh, is Finn, Finn going to capitalize on that? Yes. Finn gets it, yeah. It's from under as well. <clears throat> yeah, nice take there. Rampage getting absolutely starved for back here. They are, aren't they? Yeah. So now that red base is going down, things might start happening at blue. Yeah, I would have thought that before because both, ba both other bases went down before as well and no one came to blue. Yeah, I think Aftershock and Dragon Ease have just like internally thought, yeah, we don't like Rampage. We should just like not attack them. Just don't give them any points, you know? Yeah. Zam does for go for green and gets it with help from Spider. Yeah, even though they're a bit behind. Oh, they're pretty much on pack for pack. With Aftershock. They yep. just have the basis to show for it, though. Yeah. As we say this, a blue last line gets shot out. Wowee. And someone immediately goes back in. I think that's Whippet. And Polkrom comes in as well, doing a double lock. Mm, so maybe we're about to see some action here. Mm. Sadlamp's Sadlamp going for his green. green. A, lot of, a lot of green bases going down. Oh, oh never I mind. Azorin. Denied. Azorin de denies Sadlamp. Unfortunate. That puts Sadlamp in the negatives. Rampage and Aftershock's pack has stayed the exact same. Yep. Oh, 
Nufa going for it. Oh, denied, denied by Spider. Yeah, if you look at the last line, it has not changed at all. No. Sadlam going for his green. Take two. Oh, denied again. Nufa goes for his blue. And Polkin gets denied. Oh. Then Finn goes for the blue. And gets denied. denied again. Oh. Dude, blue. Blue is it's, just... It's just cursed. Oh. Now, Entertainment is, central, blue. Oh, 100%. As a player, you hate it, but as a viewer, you love it. Yeah, so Rampage and Upshock still pretty much the exact same amount of points. Yeah. Dragon D's, like everyone has the same points. Nothing's happened. Yeah, well, everyone's worms have stagnated. Nothing's happening in blue. There's no last one in red. Don't know what's happening in green because that little... Well, apparently R2-D2 is going for it. Yeah, red has pushed quite far, haven't they? Yeah, I think beefy is R2-D2. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 he it must is. be. Oh, is he? Okay, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, I think green dumped because we got a red just standing in the open pretty much. Yeah, I mean, he is watching that door. He hasn't... Look, looked at back door for quite a while. No, now. he hasn't. And there's a blue coming in the back. It's, oh, is he going to get this base going to come off and is he going to shoot it? Oh, no, he should have waited. I think that was Sad Lamp or Whip It. Yeah. Oh, no, Whip It's. Oh. Mike is going for Mikey. green. He gets it. Green's downside of blue. Azoran goes for his chance. Gets denied. denied. Oh. Denied by Holmes. This is. No one's in red either. No. We can't see anyone in red. Oh, we do see a player just on the back. This is, yeah. Yeah, Zoran going for his blue once again. And this time gets it. Very nicely done. Sad Lamb goes for his green. And secures nice. it, putting them. In first place. Yeah, and they're taking a pack lead now because of the pressure at their base from green. Not really, not too much. Slightly, yeah. Well, yeah, that's now closing. So maybe maybe green have moved. Yeah. Dragon Bees do like to just leave and come back whenever they want. They do. Yeah, Polk, um, blue base reset. Green's in red. Could be entertaining. Which it is. Holmes is on. Empty red base. Oof. This is a window here. Capitalize. Yep. A blue's going to capitalize. Spider is going to finish as well. Well, Grippy. Yeah, Whippy gets her empty green. Oh, yes. Everyone's got their green except. So let's see. Rampage does a large. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what, there what? is a blue in green. I think they are trying to make sure that they are not getting it. But with Dragon D's dumping to red, Gustus manages to get his base. And hey, yeah. he's got a face now. Look at that. Oh, Jesse's getting Jesse the green. green. Destroyed. And gets it, yeah. So everyone's finished their green now. Rampage have that oh, extra base, though. That is true. Did they offset a lot earlier? No, they didn't. They didn't offset, no. I mean, Polkram finished relatively quickly, right? Yeah, he pretty much finished at the start of the game. The Spider only finished just then, pretty much. Yeah. Around that, like, nine minute mark. Yeah, oh. a minute ago. Rampage is a bit ahead in terms of pack points. Yeah, they are. Mm. What are Aftershock going to do here? They, they'll know they need a base. They'll definitely know that Rampage have two of theirs and they only have oh, one of well, theirs. Yeah, we are very sorry for the stroping lights in red. Um, we're trying to do something about it. We should have a uh, red... Sh Double lock and blue. Blue should start getting very interesting very quickly, I think. because. All of red needs blue. 
and yeah. half of Dragon Days also needs blue. Yeah. But I maybe I'll see why they've got a double lock. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Oh, red team, red team. Red team. Tries oh, there's two of it. them. Huge. Jesse going for his blue. And oh, guess denied, denied. by Zorin. Can blue reset? Yep. Green's outside of blue. Blue's reset. Yep, they've got... Mm. Oh, been shot out. Green's under. They're on their own though. Oh, yeah, mm. no. Don't shoot that. Oh, red's in, red's in. Just one of them. Just one. I don't no. think they got shoot. No, I don't think, I don't think so. Shoot. No, it's not, just too not risky. In this scenario, yeah. Uh, there's an entire dumped base and pretty much five, like... They kind of have to shoot. Yeah. I mean, it could cost them a second, but if they get two of them in, I think they will shoot. I'm not sure. It's, not pro it's probably not going to cost them a second, isn't it? Mm, unless no, Dragon, might not. Unless Dragon D is... Yeah, like, actually, with the, with the time left. Packs. Yeah. But now that they got... Blue's got a double lock, it could turn out differently. Yeah. And... I think this is our game just done now. Yeah, it's I think so. Where it stands. But yeah, so we got Rampage finishing with 41,000, seven bases. Aftershock, 36,000, six bases. Dragon D's, 31 bases. 31K, five bases. Talon with the highest tag ratio of 0%. <laughs> Good job, Talon. <laughs> Fantastic work, Talon. Um, highest tag street of eight with Spider and Beefy. Yeah. Highest chain tags, seven, spider. Highest tag, most tags while taking, Finn, VG Master, and Azoran. Most denials, Azoran. Yeah, he was kind of crazy. On, oh, like, not his own base. Yeah, yeah. He got, I'm pretty sure he got all those denials at blue. Yep. Blue was, again, denial central, two games in mm. a row. If you look at, like, all the denials, like, blue got so many. <laughs> two, four, zero, two, zero. That's what, six, eight. That's eight denials just right there. While Red only got three with Holmes and Azoran got five. Yeah. Carrying his entire team with denial points. Yeah. So, yeah, in this next game, we got Sharkies on Red, Eclipse on Blue, and Vikings on Green. Ooh. Um, you, yeah. I'm not sure about this. you got to go Shark. You got, you got to go Vikings, right? Yeah, Vikings. But Vikings have been dominating. Oh, well, not dominating, but Run's been doing a couple of development teams, and even then, they've been getting into grand finals and yeah. just absolutely just slamming out. So I think Vikings are gonna come out with the first year. Yep. And then for in terms of second and third, a WA fan gonna go for Sharkies second and Eclipse third. I would agree with that. Mm. But, yeah, but you have to pick different. But I can't. Yeah, yeah. so I guess I'm going to... Boo, WA hater. Boo. Yeah, I'm a WA hater. Not by choice. Um, do you think Vikings are going to be the next dynasty? Do you think they're going to win again and keep winning uh, in the H2 we'll, era? We'll have to see at Nats. Mm. I think Browns is a bit too early. Um, but yeah, let's see how they go at Nats. Because remember, Catalyst doesn't have their full team. And a couple of the other top teams don't have their full team here as well. Yeah, yeah. So anything could change. Things could change. Aubrey, I think, is going to be a very competitive competition like in terms of the, the upper bracket. Yeah. Especially with Storm getting some new players as well. That's been quite nutty. Yeah. But yeah. I like how Finn shot his teammates the most and also got shot by his teammates the most. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Finn. Five more Cascade games to go, guys. And yeah, side of game tings, just clips coming first. Um, they've. Eclipse's fifth hasn't shot yet. We're really got to start telling players to just shoot at the start of the game. Mm. Just at least once. Yep. You know? Put your name on the board. We want to see your beautiful faces, you know? Sharky's coming first at the moment, just with a yeah, little quick little back. Yeah, finding that early pack lead. <clears throat> um, pretty common out of red. Mm, yeah, actually, yeah. 
Red has been, I'm pretty sure it's been the most dominant uh, base. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen the round robin stats, but I think the last two times it was. Yeah. Pre-Nats 1 it was, and then Pre-Nats 2. Green got a slight buff was... with the back door being changed. Yeah. Uh, blue got a quality of life change more than anything with a little exit door. Yep. And, like, it increases the sweep by like four meters. Yeah. But four meters is four meters. It's still going to like count. Yeah. All these uh, defenses are quite tight right now. Mm. Eclipse still hasn't shot. Like, the fifth player hasn't shot no, yet. No, exactly. Vikings and Sharkies going pretty much pack for pack here. Speaking of Sharkies, they are sitting. Who are they sitting? Hi, Sally. Hmm? Who's Sharky sitting? Uh, Rogue. Rogue, that's right, yeah. yeah. Mm. I forget he's on Sharky sometimes because he didn't get a bring out to. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yep. Vikings, a little bit of a pack lead. Yeah, not, not huge. Not too much. Sharkies are doing good to keep up with them. And Flash. Flash is, oh, got, no. Flash going for the first base of the game gets denied by oh, CB, unfortunately. That would have been huge. Let's hope their mental just doesn't decline after this. They should have this in the bag, though. Yep. Vikings still very much ahead with that denial points as well. Very nice. CV does have 450% tag ratio, which is pretty right, you know? Average CV things. Yeah, yeah, 10 for 3. People trying to get into green. Green's now, sorry, blue's now inside of green with a double, double hold. Yeah. One on each side of the T thing. Or pogo stick, as other teams like to call it. Yep. Yeah, all the action's happening at green at the moment. Players struggling to get out of green. And I think green gets back inside of their own base. Yeah, yeah, they're resetting. Mm. Big time. There's three of them in there for a sec. Yeah. Not a lot of action happening in blue yeah. or red. All the bases have reset, and that's pretty much it. But Eclipse have started finding some pack because now Sharky's a third. Mm. I mean, also part of that is, uh, yeah, the deny there. Oh, yeah, Mopar, going Mopar and getting his oh, denied by denied. CV. CV oh. is swimming in those denial there, points. There was a flash there. I thought he might piggyback. He obviously decided it wasn't safe, not worth. Mm. Well, there, yeah, because there is a green pretty much inside yeah. now. All this uh, tension at the Vikings base is giving them a nice pack lead, though. Yeah. You can see a red on the back door there. Oh, red in. Eclipse and Sharky's going pretty much one for one on pack. Yep. It's pretty much just whoever gets the first base. But even then, Vikings will be in the lead mm. no matter what. Yep. Vikings yeah, just have Vikings that much have a nice pack. buffer right now. What are yeah. they doing? CV's 14 for six. Twinkles is 23 for 17. Runt is 10 for 18. Runt is throwing himself at a door somewhere. Yeah. Where or is he at? He's actually not, though, because we're not seeing him come in a door. Yeah. So he's struggling in the midfield somewhere. Which is not something you see lately. Yeah. I do see some people trying to get into red. Yeah, not really maybe that's green. Who's under blue? Yeah, I've been trying to work that out. Um, I think Could it's it? either. Well, no, it's uh, an it is player, Mr. So Rodizzle and potato. Mr. Toadizzle. Potato, you reckon? Yeah, it must be. I thought it might have been Noodle mm. for a sec, but Noodle was deact. Yeah. So it must be Potato. Mm. Noodle's a bit um, lankier. Yeah. yeah. Still this not, not pack really lead, they've happen. almost doubled the pack lead now. Yeah, pretty much. Um, look at that worm. It's just vertical. <laughs> yeah. Runt recovering a bit on the pack. The Sharkies decide, maybe not decide to try the other base. Yeah, what's happening with Orca and Potato? They've like stagnated. Oh, Runt got in and he's been denied. Don't tell me it's CV8. No. Who, who? No, he got denied Mopar. by the blue team, by Mopar. Mm. 
getting a bit of points have yeah. to be somewhere. But yeah, Vikings have doubled Eclipse. Um, let's see. Taipan going for his red. And gets it. That puts him in second place now. Oh. And Mopar going for his green. green. Mopar. And gets it. Wow. They were very quick. Or they were both at separate bases just soloing each other. Yeah. Because that was pretty much one after the other. If you look at that worm, that happens straight away. It does. And there was a noodle with him. So that's interesting. So Taipan picked up that red on his own. Yeah. So... I think they're doing a, a two two one then. Yeah, um, or maybe or two, just did two, a maybe two, just one, saw two. a little opportunity playing. Yeah, that is true. On his door and we have seen it. blue like on the back door push very far, like pretty much at front door of green. Mm. Same on the other side of blue, just going to front door of red. Yep. But yeah, all the bases have reset. It is crazy. Look at that. Eclipse have two bases and they're still losing to Viking with zero. Their oh, Mopar, their pack though. is just nuts. Yeah. Mopar is dumb. Maybe three bases isn't enough. No. I don't think it is. Because, like, yeah, Vikings... <laughs> look at their pack. It's just nuts. It is. Every single one of them is a, like... It's just crazy. Yeah. I think they're mincing this red team by the looks of these tag ratios. 100%. Because the blue tag ratios are all right, so they're very much punishing this red team yeah. Vikings. Sharkies need to do something. They do. That's what I mean. They seem to keep throwing themselves at a green base, and they're just giving Vikings pack. Exactly. They need to switch it up and move to blue. I don't think they can dump either, because if they dump, they're giving away, like, yeah, three bases to each team. Too, ooh, nice. Arva with a green. That, that's fantastic. So they are ahead of Eclipse based on pack, but Eclipse has just been getting bases. Yep. More than Sharkies. So who's usually playing three for Sharkies? Probably Arbel, considering he got just got the base. Yeah, right? I think so. Oh, Vikings going. CV. Oh, clean. Almost getting teamed tonight that by the run. That is huge. Yeah, Vikings with their first base with they have 21. 3k lead as well. Which is nuts. That is so crazy. Potato going for his red. Denied, Denied by, by Stinky. Stinky. That's huge. He couldn't shoot, he couldn't shoot red. Yeah. He like four shots in. He couldn't, he couldn't find it. No, he couldn't finish it. Sharky's needed that. They oh, need 100%. some bases as well, though. Mm. I haven't last. seen red at all at any other base. Mm. Do you think Sharkies will dump? Because they probably should have in the last game and they didn't. And they 100% I'd, will have come out and spoken about that. I don't think. I'm not sure why they dump because they are just giving away. <sighs> but maybe that, yeah. See, the issue is, is Vikings only have one. So they probably don't know. Yeah. It depends. Like, it's in hard the to read. Yeah. It depends if Method and Flash feel like they're just getting absolutely just Method and Flash are very good at reading pack points, but... Do you reckon this well, though? Oh, yeah, I don't know. That's Because that's a crazy difference. Yeah. Green's inside of blue. This could be their uh, Viking second oh. base. And yeah, Runt gets it. So yeah, CV, Runt, attack. Goes nuts. Yep. Runt has like, recovered his tag ratio. He has, yep. Now positive. Red's inside of... So... Yeah, I'm not sure if Blue dumped, but or like lessen their defense because I don't see that many. I no, it is them. empty. There is a play. Yeah, there is a blue on the back door. A singular blue defending the and the blue oh, coming in from the front. Okay, red inside of green. Twinkle's getting his green base. So yeah, uh, Method gets a warning, probably for um, yeah. What would that be for? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe baseline dumping. Baseline jumping. Maybe. Mm. Vikings. Vikings still in red. And now swapping out with blue. Let's see if they can secure it for the next 20 seconds. Oh, no, they're out. Green's yeah, in. Green Green's just, in. Absolute. Just demolished yeah. them. I Vikings was, are back in. Twinkles. Mm. Is in Twinkles under. has. So I'm not yeah, sure what's yeah, that's the awkward. situation here. I think you want someone to get into V. Yeah. But now that red, red and blue both going for V and red comes out on top. Still see no... Okay, so there are green defenders. People, red is trying to get into green. Yeah. With Runt getting his 
red as well. It's just furthering the gap. Yeah. Like they're 10K ahead in front of Eclipse. Yeah. 10K just exactly. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. Pretty much exactly that is, 10K. That's crazy. Sharkies, Sharkies need Sharkies to do something lines, here. 100%. Yeah. That worm is not looking They've only gained like 500 points in this entire like. Oh, Flash is going for his green. This could change with Flash getting his green though. Oh, Denied by no. Noodle though. Noodle's just racking up that pack. Yeah. Twinkle's, Twinkle's going for his blue. his blue. A bit more successful. Yep. Doing a trademark Twinkle spin in the process. Exactly. You always have to. <laughs> now, Old Grace going for his red. Just through window. And gets it. One step closer to Vikings, but it is too late. You cannot recover 10k in 10 seconds. No. Green decided to blue. Maybe takes a shot and gets a shot straight out. That is very much set score here. Yeah. That is a very unfortunate game for Sharkies. Yeah. Fantastic game for Vikings. Fantastic. They're going to be patching themselves on the back. Eclipse. Um, I actually got the prediction right this time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Mm. Well, I had to go for the W boys. You yeah. did, you did. But yeah, highest tag ratio, 158 with Karen. Highest tags, Rick, Karen. Highest change tags, Runt. Uh, sorry, our food just arrived. <laughs> most denials, CV with four. Probably mostly on Flash, who got four denies. Got denied four times. Yeah. Most tags while taking is zero, which is surprising. It's just been very clean takes. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? But yeah, all Vikings just don't like each other and just shoot each other. <laughs> they do, don't they? Oh my gosh. Yeah, they only shot each other. They're going that crazy in there. They just shoot they're lights. Just, they're just, they just see lights, they go ding. Yeah. Well, it worked out for them pretty well. Yeah, 10K yep. in front. That is pretty swag. Yeah. It does not feel like 455. No, it doesn't. Mm. At all. Well, we've been here since 8 o'clock, haven't we? Yep. Yeah. It's been a long day. Yeah. Next game is going to... Oh. I want to press buttons, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to look at a sheet of paper. So we've got Archangels on red, Storm on blue, and Riptide on green for this next one. Yeah, sorry, Jeff. I'm on it now. So just repeating that. Archangels on red, Storm on blue, and Riptide on green. Um, I think it's going to be Storm first. And I think it's going to be really close between second and third, between Archangels and Riptide. Yeah, I, I think Riptide might take it out, to be honest. The second so? spot, yeah. Archangels do have the page two advantage. They, they do. And they've also been a team for a bit longer than Riptide has as well. They have. Let's see what happens. But yeah. Very standard game. Yeah. Just trying to get points. See, what, see what's happening. Playing reactive. Reds inside a green. Gets shot out there. Just missed a shot in the last line. Red goes again for green. Gets him out. So it is empty. Green is empty at this moment. Blue's getting the early pack lead in this game, which is interesting. Mm. Very different to the last one. Well, they are seeing a bit of action. There's a red there lunging back door. Still nothing at green. Just no. We just see the front door play just chilling. Wondering that. Yep, there they go. Bye bye. Oh. Yeah, so blue's going for five. Five bird in on red. And goes nuts. Yeah. That's first to base of the game. Yeah, just another stock down again. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Oh, sure, Kitty. Denied in green by Jam. Green's reset. Oh, red in back door. Oh. Oh, and 
knocked out. All right, so Storm have the lead with one base, but Green's trying to get back inside. The base, have probably. a decent amount of pack here. Reds, no one. Oh, oh now shocks in it. on red, and he gets it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, let's see if Blues kind of sticks around, or do they go offset their bases at green? Hmm. I'd like to think they'd offset their bases. Yeah. Storm is very ahead on pack. They, Sorry, not on pack, no, on bases. Yeah. They're a bit behind on pack when it comes to Riptide. Yeah. Riptide just need to find some bases here. Mm. As soon as they get their first one, I reckon they'll get the tempo and they just start smoking. Yeah. Such as red getting into blue. That's Archangels. Gets shot up by green. Green goes for it. Oh. Shoots once, shoots twice, and gets it. Very nice positioning by Hazmat there. Yeah, yeah. Moving to the panel where he's not going to get shot from. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Red's now in blue. Let's see if they maintain it. Just sticks about out of the panel just a bit too much. When did Shuriko get two shot denied? Doesn't matter because she's getting her base oh, now. Yeah, she's got it. Nice. And yeah, very nice take by well Shuriko. So that. Base with Riptide, so Hazmat's little base right there. That puts them very close to Storm. Yeah, it does. Incredibly close to Storm. I think, yeah, so Storm's benched mad cans for this game. Yeah, they have. Mm. I'm not sure if Riptide's got six or not. And Archangels. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Outside getting oh, denied, denied by Bones. Nice little denial bonus. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Green's reset. Oh, someone trying to get in the back door of red. Archangel just need to pick up the pack just a tad. They are like the same as Storm, pretty much. Yep. But just Riptide to have that pack advantage. That was... Sega going for his blue. That was a lack of comms there. You reckon? Yeah, that blue player was just like watching the front door and he just As strolled says, in and shot him. Shot goes for his green and nice. gets it. So he's, he's pretty much done. Yeah, he is. So they might send out Cyrex here. Cyrex or Bones? I'm not sure which one. I think, is Cyrex more of a defensive player or can she attack? I think she's more of a defensive player, okay. right? But they might send out Bones. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe Shock stays out to try and get Firebird a green. Yeah, that might be the case. Maybe go for a lower base game and yeah. just like get absolute pack. Yeah. Hasn't been working out too much for them on the pack, but could be an option if they just solely, you know, go for it. Yep. Riptide are no longer... Oh, they still are very on par with pack. Green, blue shot out, so that's pretty much empty. Yeah, blue is empty. Could be some blue nice Blue is looking here. loose. Oh, and nah, yeah, blue, blue gets is back get in. back in. Blue reset. Oh, green in. Knocked him out. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is. He is. He's got to come from the back door. Puck's out going for it. Oh, denied. Adds to the list of denials. Yeah. I'm lucky. But green's back inside of blue. Has comms. Has oh, comms from back red. door. Oh. But not from front door, unfortunate. More denies that blue. Who would have thought? But now red's inside. Do they have the confidence to take? Do they have the comms? Uh, Sega has. Sega's there. That he is true, yeah. Player in. But get shot out oh, anyway. Unlucky. So very neutral in, in blue. Yeah. But green does well. Oh, green to is get in, back green's in. in. Are they going to shoot? Uh, I think that's Hazmat. He already has. Oh, no, it's Pug. Uh, yeah, I don't know who that is. I just think it's Big Red. Yeah, I think, yeah, it is. It's Big Red, yeah. Oh, green's in, green's in. Green's back inside. Surely they shoot. 
Hog Salad. Going for the back. They're three at blue. Yeah. They so have... they very much pulled a third. Yeah. Let's see if they go back and defend or they keep that third and just go to red and try and do something. Well, Saying red that. Is getting a green. And gets denied by a jam. Oh. Jam's going absolutely nuts. He's going crazy right now. Yeah, he Almost is. Almost 6k pack. Yep. He sure knows how to take back from people. Yeah. Well, Moss, there is a Moss green. is attacking. Yeah, interesting. He's not last lining. He's no, attacked green and got it. Bones in there now. Very nice. Yeah, up the jam. Oh, empty blue, empty blue. Could lead no. to something here. Blue's going to reset. No, yeah, good reset from blue. Archangels and Riptides, pretty much trading pack here. Yeah. Just need a bit of something. Red's now inside. Let's see oh, if they take. Oh. Yeah, it's shot up by green oh. and they, yeah. Blue should be able to re-enter yep. and set up here. But yeah, all the pack potential is in Storm space. It is, yeah. It's exactly what Storm wants. But yeah, that third attacker for green has helped him a tad. Yeah, it did. For getting pug space. Yeah. But it's not helping anymore. No, it's not. Oh. Maybe I spoke too Big soon. Red. Big red. Commentator's blessing. Huge. Big red now gets it. Oh. Up this isn't bread. over yet. In this game, we've still got three more minutes. We Anything do. could happen. Yeah. And there's Storm have an extra base and pretty much just an extra base worth of points. Oh, Rizzler going for green. And secures it. But also Moss gets oh, his red as yeah, well. So Moss, Moss is, is also finished. So do you reckon it's going to be five bird bones, five bird Cyrex, or they're just going to keep him out and just also pack? Anything's possible. It is. Probably five bird bones. You reckon? Yeah. Moss will go back home and defend now. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, red is in green. Green's in red. Yeah. And yeah, they couldn't find it. Red's oh. in green now. Shooting the base. Um, yeah. Sega's finished. I'm not sure where green is. Maybe they've only got two defenders there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they, they called that third for a bit too yeah. long. Yeah. Bones getting his red very securely. Got two on the base. Yeah, nothing. Oh, bit of action. At, oh, that was <laughs> scary. Yeah. Blue's looking rather solid now. Green's now. Green is in red. Could be something here. Yeah. Base is oh. down. So oh, I'm not oh, sure. Oh. Firebird going for his green. And yeah, he's also done. So maybe just send out Bones and Cyrex or... I don't know. I mean, they're cruising at this point. Yeah. It could be anything, to be honest. Yeah, it could be. Could be anything they want it to be right now. They are ahead on bases mm. and uh, they can't... The other teams can't really catch up. No. Mm. Second is not secure. Red yet, is in blue. Oh. They are shooting. Oh, this might secure and second for them. Rizzler does get it. There is enough time to get two more bases, though. There is, there is. If they be actually pixel perfect. Yeah, they're, in a, they're in a good position. <laughs> Sorry, it's for a green. And yeah, it gets it as well. So green has pretty much been fully cycled by blue. Yep. Riptide just not having the best luck on defense. No. Green have locks blue and then mine leaving. Uh, red's in green, ready to shoot. No, that's Shuri Kitty and she's already got, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that is Shuri Kitty. Oh, there was a Sager. Last the five Sager seconds of the game. Has. And yeah, it's pretty much going to stick here. Yep. Sager getting a warning at the last oh, second. Oh, no. I wonder what that was for. I wonder if it's for the nothing. one man zones in green. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Because there's a couple of them in there. Maybe. 
But yeah, that pretty much finishes the game. The term does nothing for the score. It's 46,000 for Storm on blue. Archangels, 33,000, five bases. And 28,000, three for Riptide. Very well played by Storm. They pretty much finished getting eight bases. Highest tax rate goes to Shock. Yeah, they very much turned it on after the seven minute mark, didn't they? Looking yeah, at that 100%. Worm. It was very close up until they just then. They got all their bases. Yeah, much. they just went base, base, base. Yeah, very good, very good game. Yeah. Shock getting a nice little 12K right there. Very nice. Anyway, the highest tag ratio goes to Celery with 186%. Very nutty. Mm. Was he last lining? Yeah, I'm yep. pretty sure he was. Yeah, he would have been. It's, I've seen that it's either Celery or Mantis or at yeah. that last line. Yep. When I was like refing, it was mostly Mantis on front door. But then she would always come back inside if Celery gets shot out. Yeah, okay. Mm. Is Celery on this team? Has he moved to Tasmania or is he just filling in this pre Um, I'm not too, not quite too sure here. Yeah. Hey, highest chain tags goes to Rizzler, Pug Salad, and Sega with four. Most tags are taking is Pug Salad and Fiber, which is two. And most analysis goes to Jam with a massive 6K. Yeah. No bases. <laughs> Absolute giga chad. Yep. All right. All right. Yeah. Just doing a little refresh. Scoreboard will be back up shortly. Yeah, next game we got Chaz. Uh, yeah. Uh, that okay. one that's yeah. on there. Arcane. Archangels. Yeah. Okay. So we got Dragon D's on red. One of them. Uh, oh. Okay. Dragon D's on red. One of them blue. And Eclipse on green. Um, I think Dragon D's first. Yep. I think it's going to be very paper. Yeah, I think paper. so, probably. Unless one up do something really interesting here. Just found out where Worthy is. Yeah. Uh, Dragon D's kind of struggling in the pack. Yeah. No one's straight up to their base, and they haven't shot anything. Uh, type him with a quick base there. Yeah, that's the first minute. Yeah. Yeah, Dragon D's still haven't shot anything. Yeah, what's going on here? Um, might be a technical issue considering how it's one minute in. But no one's shot any. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's all good now. Yeah. Dragon D's just didn't shoot anything. But yeah. Clips with the first base. Very much in their favor this game. Yeah. As so if think, Dragon D's Do you think Dragon dumps. D's haven't gone to a... Oh, no, I was just going to say, have they not gone to a base? Have they just set up in spots? But Nufa just came through the back door of green there. Mm. Guinea, when did he get denied? I did not see that. Is that uh, green? Do you reckon it was at yeah, the start? It was as we were seeing those zero scores. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Just one up and dragons, just swapping. Yeah. Clips a bit ahead, unpack. About one or two K. That being said, VG Master goes for his blue and secures it very nicely. Yep. With three there. So yeah, they've done dragons it. have three there. They haven't dumped just yet. No. Shift is still in, but gets shot out. Oh. And yeah. Yeah, denies Mopa. Maybe for a piggyback, but nah, Shifter gets back in. Green's now in green. <laughs> blue's now in green. I see three blues there trying to get in. I think everyone's trying to do a three man attack right here. Yeah, there's some real. Nuffa going for green. Quick, strong push. Nuffa going for red. Nuffa still going for green. And they both get their bases. Nice. So, yeah, so Dragon D's and Eclipse are neck separated neck, by yeah. 1k pack, pretty much. One up kind of being left in the dust here yeah. in terms of pack points. Sorry, in terms of bases. 
They're kind of smack bang in the middle in terms of pack points. Gunner and Guinea look like they're not having a lot of luck with their tag ratios. Yeah. So they're trying to get into a base somewhere. Mm. They're two men holding. Their defense is going really well looking at those tag ratios, though. They are. Def- they have dropped twice, but mm. they're shooting people in the process. Yeah, that's the goal. Shoot yeah. the baddies and don't die, right? Laser tag 101. Oh, Taipan going for his red. red. Gets denied by Gunner and goes for the piggyback. And maybe secures it and yeah, yeah gets it. One up needed. This that. is fantastic for one up. Yeah. Gets their first base and now is in a close this second. Is very close game so far. Oh, Nova is in blue. blue. Clear. And as. now Crouchy goes to green and gets it as well. A lot of action. That leaves only what red available for yep. attack. But even then it's still down from last time we got knocked. And it's back up. Are we going to see some action mm. of red? Dragon D's are just a tad bit ahead, but there that's is due blues. to a base. There is blues and green. Blues and green setting up three. something. Blue have... Green goes nope. for a red and gets it. Oh, unlucky whoever that... Um, last, not, sorry, the person in red just couldn't manage to get the base um, to the mile. Yep. That's me. My English is terrible. I've been here for eight hours. My bad. Yep. It's understandable. It's a long day. A week? Yeah, only eight hours. <laughs> Finn goes oh, to the green. Yeah. And denied oh, by denied. Crouchy. I think Finn missed a shot there. Yeah, I think because so. Because he definitely had time to get the third shot in. Just yeah. unlucky timing with Blue going. Just this is such a close game. One up is smashing on pack. They they're, are. Yeah. Uh, they're putting in the work right here. Yep. Oh, green in the back door. Blue. Oh, yeah. Have a perfect chance to shoot it. Or maybe it already has. I don't think it's type. Is that type? No. Yeah, it is. That was okay, type. Okay, yeah. So he already has that. He's done. So maybe he switches with Mopar and Orcry. Or maybe with even Noodle. Yeah, I don't know what Taipan's doing there, to be honest. Yeah. Maybe he's GCing and needs to be on lead attack. Oh, he's lead attack and staying there. Yeah. Queensland do love to keep their GC out, even if they're finished. They do. You look at that lineup, though. They've got some strong attackers there mm. that could easily Speaking swap which, out. It, everyone's very close. It, oh, this is a like, really close game. If you look at the worm, game. it is mil- pixels apart. Yeah. Yeah, everything's all basic. Yeah. yeah. Nothing really happening. People are trying. Oh, back to a blue. Oh, yes. Go for it. Go for it. Bit of a baseline jump. Yeah. That's fine. Finn takes that. Mm. Oh. Dragon D's getting their base. Counter. And now one up. Getting theirs as well. Gunner Still ahead. Done. As is Nuka yeah. and Taipan. And that's it. it I, I'm not sure if it really affects the game. Like, no. If Taipan's done or not. Because he's going to stand attack anyway. Crouchy goes for his red. And gets it as well. See, that's what I mean, right? They've started falling behind on the base. Green is fully now. set up in blue. Red is going for it. But they get it? Oh. How did Green get that? I don't know. Bit of luck. Uh, I'm seeing no reds in red, so maybe a dump to blue. I see no reds yeah, in red. Yeah, no, I don't see any reds. It's not... Oh, no, uh, there's, there's one a red, red come in now. And yeah, there's a red on the front yeah, door. Yeah, okay. no, they're back. I may jump the gun on the whole dump thing. <laughs> it's Canberra. When it, com- when it comes to Canberra, yeah. Yep. Special with dragons. But yeah, yeah, Amelia gets denied by VG Master. Ooh. And couldn't go for the piggy because it gets immediately shot out as well. A lot of players leaving green. Blue tries to get in, just gets taken out by green though. Yeah. And again, Gustus does go for the shot, but gets immediately denied. VG Master trying to get just Ooh, on VG top. Master getting that green. Yeah. Gustus walks so VG Master can run. Yep. I heard blue team. Okay, green team. I think Potato got denied by Nofa. Yeah. Yeah, Dragon D's still ahead. Not on back, though. One up is very close when it comes to back. Yep. 
A clip's kind of been left behind. Oh, line. red in the back door of blue. Yeah. Shooting, shooting. Greens are in oh, red. Oh, get and gets not, it. No, oh, oh. But yeah. Denied. One up are very close here and they're a base down. 100%. Again, the difference is these I think that shift in, blue. The shift inside of blue yeah, gets shot yeah. out, though. Green's now inside, two men lock. They could go for it, which again, Potato Taipan is doing. is still out. But I guess it's what? Yeah, yeah it is. Because now they're first. Is. Now red's inside of blue, but the base is down, so they could just leave if they wanted to. Yep. I'm not sure if that single person's going to be holding that for 30 seconds. You're just walking, you're just having a leisurely yeah. stroll. But Guinea's now, but can Red get the denial? Oh, Green gets the denial. Oh. No one's in Red. I don't see anyone in Red. Green is looking busy. Green is looking real busy. Um, did they dump now? Because no one's in Red and things about to get that bet. Oh, about to no, get there's a Red. Maybe just be a, bit, a little bit of a lurker. Bit of a troll, you know. I think that's a that's a classic VG master coming back to their empty base to try and get deny. Yeah. Um, so yeah, red have dumped, yeah, and I, I think so. it, it's too late for them to come back. Like too late in the game for them to come back. Yeah. With yeah getting his green base, it stops dragons getting their greens, yeah. which they are lacking at the moment. Oh, they're in blue though. Gus is going for their They've blue. They got it locked. And yeah, Gus just gets it. Green's now inside. Doesn't really do much to them, though. But now no. Red's leaving as well. So they might be going over to Green. They just jumped. They just bounced spaces. Yeah. Which looks oh. like they have. Yeah, they've all rocked up at back door. Sorry, front door of Green. I see three Reds. I think, yeah, I think Nufa's home. And there's a VG Master on the front door. And yeah, gets his pretty much empty Red base. Green going to red base, looking for a base, but can't find it. It's been already shot already. Yeah. This is a this is a close game. Green still waiting for the base to come up. There's a red front door. Yeah, there is. And gets shot out. So I think reds have come back. Yeah, I think Nufa and VG Master have come home because they'd finished. Maybe Finn now comes home as well. Uh, yeah. Although, He's now finished as well. Yeah. It is still yeah, in because Shifter Shifter is there with Gustus going for blue, and she has yeah. So them two now go they're off pretty much to done. Green. I don't think one up can get back from this. No, unless they. That being said, they did just get a base, so anything's yeah, possible. These guys. It is. It's only just our clips are a fair bit behind on pack. Um, yeah, they are around four thousand or so. Um, they're gonna have to recover that in a minute. It is doable with a couple of bases as well. Yeah. But everyone's fighting for these bases at the moment. And if Shifter can finish, if Shifter finishes, and Noodle gets denied by Gunner. Ooh. Which is fantastic for one up. Yep. Just pretty much locks out Eclipse, getting that second. Yeah, it does. Still have time though. Yep. This is a close one. With Warcry getting going for red. And gets it. So they've also finished Ooh. red. Ooh. So only Guinea needs his red base now, which I don't think there is time for. No, maybe just, but maybe I don't think just. So. I think it's at risk of a time to die. Yeah, like this can be like the very last second that yeah. you can get it. But yeah, Eclipse are a base up, but are still behind one up just because of how much pack they've gotten from this game. Yeah. Oh, and Guinea's in on green. Oh, so. Yeah, they both got their bases. Nothing changes. No. Nope. But yet, one up went crazy. <laughs> so did Dragons. So did Eclipse. Almost a 50k game by Dragons. Yeah. No crazy tag ratios. 122 is pretty nice, but it nothing is. absolutely just out of this world. Yeah, no. 50 tags is pretty nice. But yeah, the it highest is. tag streak, VG Master was seven. Highest change tags, VG Master was six with Nufa. Most tags I'm taking. All, pretty much all of the Dragon D's boys. Most denials, yeah, and Gunner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Finn shooting Nufa twice is pretty funny as well. And yeah, that finishes yeah, off the game. Is. Dragon yeah. D's, 49,000, nine bases. One up, 45,000, eight bases. 
equips 43,000 nine bases. So yeah, even if one up got that last base in the end, they still probably wouldn't have got. That was a very good game to watch. It was very yeah. close. That worm I'm is saying. very close. Yeah. The, like, even like, halfway through between five and six, they're pretty much like 100 points between each other. Yeah. I think everyone's going to be happy with this game. Or well, maybe, mm. maybe not Eclipse because they do fall down a lot of spots losing to one up. But I think Dragon and one up are going to be very happy with this. Yeah. I think everyone just played extremely well. And yeah. Yeah, it was very close until that 10 minute mark on that worm. And then Dragon D's just fired off and got mm. three bases pretty much every 30 seconds. We'll be back in one minute, guys. All right, for this game, we have Catalyst on red, Archangels on blue, and Sharkies on green. Be nice to see Sharkies do this, but I think Catalyst will probably have it. Hello, I'm back. I just decided to go for a quick little snack break. This game, yeah. Sharkies with a quick pack lead. With Shurikiti changing that, with getting the first base of the game. Anyone know which teams are training on H2? Um, pretty much all of New South Wales, but not daily, because they obviously have to drive to Aubrey. But um, pretty much all of Aubrey is training on H2. All of Hobart is training on H2, so that is Archangels and Vikings. Wax going for his blue base. Can he find success? And yeah, he gets this. Yep. Just after getting shot as well. His aura. And so Husky so gets a green at the same time. Yes, yeah, so they might be doing a little split there. Yeah. Um, all the H2 trainers Ooh. is Outlaws, Heretics, and any other Aubrey teams. And Whip It from Rampage. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the teams that are training. Oh, green is in. But yeah, Sydney is quite involved in the Aubrey scene because of how much training they do here. Like they have oh. competitions quite frequently. Oh, Rogue almost getting the blue Sega, there. Sega also getting denied by Method. You need to take some and you take some. Because... Yeah, just unfortunate. We do have a Monday training. Like this, this next coming Monday. <coughs> where some teams can stay behind after pre 3 is finished. And just get more experience on HD phases and the Aubrey maze. I don't think there's going to be any more changes before Nats. I don't think, don't quote me on that. But I wouldn't think there would be. Blue, oh, sorry. Blue base trying to get into red. Blue players trying to get into red. Red is on the back door of green there. Mm. Palace do have the pack lead and the base lead. Sega changing that. Not the pack, which is unfortunate. No, but now they're level on 
bases, which is good. And they both mm. have one of each other's. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Offsetting yeah. your bases is quite important. Yeah. Just makes the other team just less dumpy. Sharkies look like they're struggling a bit here to get a base. Yeah, Wax getting immediately denied by Shurikitty in green. Yeah. Oh, Thick Jim getting his blue. In terms of predictions, I reckon Chalky's going to uh, come back and come for a second, yeah. I reckon Catalyst are pretty much locked in first. Unless something very drastic happens, like something crazy, like dumping. Yeah. But yeah. I think Carlos are pretty comfortable in first place here. Then again, they did almost lose to one up, who is lower on the ladder than Archangels, I believe. Yeah. Mm. Sure, pretty going for her red and gets it as well. Clean. They're now equal on bases. Carlos just edging forward in terms of pack points. Sharky's yeah. kind of being left in the dust once again with the base takes. They haven't really managed to get inside. Stinky going crazy with a 5D X rake though. A lot of action at blue, oh, such as Husky going for it. And just too oh, many people there denied. for him. They all came at him then. Blue's now in green. Could do something special here. Red's in oh, blue. Red is in blue. That's Lilbo. Tries to shoot the base. Doesn't work. Goes oh, for it he's now. Going for it this way. Yeah. And nice, he's looking nice. pretty comfortable. But yeah, so they're pretty much almost done blue. They just need Husky and Wham to just get in there and get out pretty much. Yeah, so that's putting them in a better position against blue as well. Yeah. Rizla going for his green take. And very nicely takes it, which yeah. puts Archangels first. It does. That's However, really surprising. Catalyst have three Archangels bases. Archangels only yeah. have two Catalyst bases. I think that will come into play towards the end game. Yeah, if something special like a 3 2 kind of happens, or maybe a 4 1, like four attackers and just one defender, or maybe even just a dump, you know. But yeah, Iron Cages are now ahead of Catalyst in terms of pack points, which is pretty cool. Yep. Very big upset here. Yeah, it is. Sega going for Sega his green. Going for green. This it gets oh, denied. Denied by Stinky on the front door. Going for a four tag streak. Yeah, the boys. Sharky's still struggling to get inside anywhere, including their own base, because now there's a blue inside of it. Yeah. Gets shot out by Rogue, but now Red's inside, gets shot out by Green. Oh, by Blue, now Blue's inside, gets shot out by Green. Now they're, oh they're gosh, still Blue's now in. Blue's still inside, just underneath. Still inside, Empty. nothing's changed. There we go, Stinky's back in, so maybe Green will reset here. Maybe, who knows. Sharkies just need to get bases here. No, yeah, they've been this knocked is, out again. This, this is kind of their last chance. Uh, they could just dump. Yeah, they're not getting anywhere, and they're not holding their base. Yeah, see, Green's getting shot again, and Lilbo gets it. This is very... Oh. Method, gets Method gets his blue. His first blue for Sharkies. Hey, um, four minutes to go. They don't need to dump just yet. My bad, Benny, all right? My bad. Mm. Red trying to get into green there. There's a couple of them on the back door and there's one on the front. And Sharkies haven't left their base yet. Red is in, red is in, and knocked out by Arbel. Nicely done.
Oh, right in the front door. Yeah, there's a lot of rose at green. There is. I think they pulled a third. Yeah. And Wax is going for his green. And gets nice. as well. But Stinky's also going for his red. And gets his second base for Sharkies. Archangels is just ahead of Catalyst on pack. So if Archangels can get these bases in, something special could happen. Yeah. Sharky's not too far behind of Archangels on pack points. Pretty much, no, they're not. Pretty much on set with Catalyst. Wait, if my math is correct, which probably is not. Wait. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty close. Catalyst are just ahead. I think. Blue's been shut out of their own base. Let's see if they can get back inside. Oh. So you're going for green. So you're going for green. Green's now inside of blue. Blue shot out. Green's still in. Yeah. Goes for it. I think this guy already has. His method, yeah, he's already got. Oh, man. Let's even get... Oh, I just get shot. A lot of reds in red. I think they're just discussing the game plan here. Yeah, quite possibly. But with Archangels this, this close, I'm not sure if they've got time for this. Archangels are 3k ahead in pack. They I are. see Husky inside of blue. Let's see if he goes... Does he have it? He does. He needs. Let's see if he goes for it. He misses. Oh, gets yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Gets it. Yeah. No. And gets shot by Sega. Denied. Just even f just spreading the gap. Thick. Thick Jim going for his green. Gets it. Oh, Husky getting a blue. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, that's huge. Carlos need only two more, and that's wham. Ah, uh, I think that seals it. But do you reckon? Yeah. I, I don't think so. No, no way. I think. If yeah. Archangels realize this and they just bully Wham and just like destroy on pack, they could very much pull through here. I think the four blue that Catalyst have puts too much pressure on Archangels. The four what? Four blue. They have four of Archangels' bases. I think that puts too much pressure on them. They need to get red bases. Oh. Uh... Yeah, that, that is Actually, true. no, not really. Given the pack, actually, they yeah, could they just get this one empty green. They could just make sure he doesn't get any more bases yeah, for Catalyst, yeah. though. They could actually do this. Archangels still have bases to get. Whoever gets the next green. Blue is inside of green. Yeah. They're waiting. I think that is Sega, though. Yeah, and he's been knocked out. Mm. Rogue goes for his Rogue red. For red. That makes it so... Archangels can't get their red anymore. So they cannot get red. Yeah. So they're going to have to go for a green here. So. But do you reckon Catalyst, is real Catalyst realizes and just goes straight to green? Just no, there you go. Wham's going for his blue. And that seals it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so... Very good game by Archangels. Yeah. I'm very surprised. Yeah, yeah. They did so well. They did. Sharky's getting that uh, Catalyst base was a gift to Catalyst. Yeah. Um, they were just like, cool, let's go. Let's get this blue. Mm. So, yeah, we've got Catalyst, 46,000, nine bases. Archangels, 39,000, six bases. Sharky's a bit behind, 29,000, four bases. Uh, yeah. Max gone kind of going crazy, 12k. Shiro Kitty also going nuts, 11k. Yeah. Method, just standard method things, 12k. Yeah. High stag ratio, Rizla, 165. I believe he last lines a lot as well. Doesn't yeah, I think so. Mm. I think the three of them are doing it a bit. Highest chain tags, Wax, Method, and Rizla. Most tags when taking, Method, two. Most denials, Shiro Kitty, three. And Husky, unfortunately, getting four shots. Mm. Most team tags method. <laughs> All on Stinky. <laughs> oh, unlucky. He just hates the new players, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah. anyway, lining up for this next game, we got Storm on red, Vikings on blue, and Rampage on green. This is going to be the last game for Cascade 1. So after this, we'll probably have a 30-minute break and then move on to Cascade 2.
I think it is going to be Vikings first. Yep, safe bet. Mm. Who was the other team besides Rampage? Uh, Storm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Storm. Um, I think I, Rampage will get a second. I yeah. think Storm and Rampage are going to be fighting. Yeah, definitely. But it's going to be pack full pack. Yeah. No one's done the one, two, three team thing. No, they're not. There's are no they? team changing. No. We need songs, yeah. But yeah. Rampage, mm. I'm playing with two. There's an early lead for Storm. Oh, red already in the back door of green. That shock. Not going he's for not it just yet. yet. No, no, he's not risking it. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's Spider last signing Rampage at the moment. Just waiting for Paul Chrome or Whipper to get back in. Yep. Who have been the very standard last line players. Nothing's happening at blue, don't see. And red's quite barren as well. Oh, a wrong com from blue base. Oh. But they managed to get back inside yep. quite swiftly. Yeah, all these bases are looking pretty set up and mm. solid. At the Vikings moment. and Rampage oh. surprisingly are going pack for pack and yeah. Storm leading the 1700. Both blue players are looking at the same door. Red keeps getting, Red's got in a couple of times in this back door of green. Cameron sucks at throwing. I just want to let Stream know that. He still sucks at throwing. Storm only playing with four. Two minutes in. No one's gone to last line. So no one's yeah. gone to red. Moss, we see a bit of action now. Moss hasn't fired yet. He's, he's, mm. in, he's in there. Remember, they have six. It might not be Moss. Uh, I think that's Moss. In You think so? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't, and now Green's inside of red. Perfect opportunity to go for Not four. shooting, not risking it. But yeah. I think that was Zam inside. Very cautious game so far. You want Rampage to cause an upset? I think everyone wants Rampage to cause an upset. Yeah. yeah. Up the Rampage. Definitely. And very standard. Nothing seems to be happening. Bit of action at front door of green, but not very noticeable. Green's trying at back door of red. Not too much success. Rampage and Vikings still kind of going oh. pack for pack kind of here. Yep. Just trying to sort things out. Storm's really? still ahead. Yeah, and they're still trying on that back door of green mm. too. They're having a... Yeah. Rampage do lead to go a bit further ahead at the early because they have a quicker, like, get to the packing places. Yeah, yep. Um, a bit, like, quicker push zones. Green's and blue still not shooting. Probably no comms. There's a red lurking still on the back door. Yeah, green, two of them. Are they going to push? Oh, yeah, yeah, they Red's are. now are inside of green. Gets no. shot out. Blues reset themselves. Now green's inside. And blue resets. Nothing happening at green, doesn't look like. Rampage kind of getting starved here. Not really, though. There's nothing happening. Oh, so it is Moss last lining. Yeah, so. Yeah, okay. An infinite negative. <laughs> it's very close at the moment. Yeah, it I is. think everyone's a bit scared to shoot the bases. Yeah. As we've seen with them not shooting the bases. Yeah. Yeah. They're very hesitant. They're getting in and they're not risking it. Oh, see, red's ill. No, oh, oh. Yeah, red got no. shot out quite immediately. Red is really doing a push from that back door. But yeah. We usually aren't expecting this slow from Vikings. We usually see a lot more pack. So they might be struggling against just these teams. Yeah, what is... Let's have a look there. What's going on? Twinkles is going 10 for 17. And Runt's got a 17 for 19. Their defense is going very nicely, though. It is. Bit of action at blue. 
Oh, Green's going down to run. Gets denied and by denied Zam. Denied by though. Zam. Very nice pack points, just right there. A lot of action at blue. I hear a lot yeah, of columns yeah, yeah. behind me. Reds are in. Shoots Reds the base. in. Mad Canes. He's secured from front door. Almost gets denied by back door, but has secures it just in the nick of time. Yep. That puts Storm at that front because they got the only base in the game. Still very close. Rampage just need a base here and they're back in it. And Vikings need, um, yeah, well, a base as well, but it's surprising to see them struggling with the pack. Mm. There's too much smack talk, you know? Yeah, yeah. Not enough shooting. As I say this, Green's getting shot by shock and gets it. So, yeah, storming out two bases ahead. The only. Team to have bases, which is fantastic. Six minutes in, yeah, it puts them at a and also offset as well. Yeah, very good. This is quite ideal for Storm. In terms of pack, they're just ahead of Rampage. Vikings a tad bit behind. Yeah, but nothing, nothing too impossible for the Vikings boys. Yeah, no. In these higher end games, we tend to see a lot less bases. Definitely. Especially being cas the last game of Cascade 1, I think people are just trying to go all out, just like try and play it safe. Yeah. Two bases isn't. Green's inside of blue. Not much happening. I think that spider gets yeah, shot out there. Yeah, it was, yeah. This oh, just allows red. red to get inside, gets shot by oh, blue. Oh. oh. But green and they both meet each other, have a little kiss. But blue stays in. Now red gets shot out. Oh, yeah, red gets shot out. I think that's jelly under of blue. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Blue's trying to get inside of green. Not much success here. But yeah, Vikings and Rampage are pack for pack right now. Yep. Storm still soaring. This might change with Twinkles. Get, getting his base... Which is they're fantastic off, news. They're off the mark. Mm. Motivation finally kicked in. Yeah. They got this. Rampage just needs their base. And they'll be right back on track. Yeah. There's a... Red gets inside of blue, shooting everyone, goes to the base, hopefully. And just gets shot oh, by green. green's under. I think that's right. Wait, no, it's green. Green. Right. So it's probably Zam, right? Yeah, I think so. Zam goes for it, misses, thankfully. Yeah, Otherwise, he would have got blue two right shots behind denied. him. Blue's reset now. Uh, blue's inside of green, maybe goes for it. Yeah. But, and yeah, Runt goes for green and gets it. Nicely done. They are looking like, a lot better now. They're looking a lot fresher. Yeah, yep. They got their groove going on. They have. Just 400 points behind Storm, and they got this. Green and red fighting over the blue base. And Zam goes for blue. And gets it. Oh. So Rampage have pulled out three. Yeah. So they've put out a three, three man attack here just on blue. And it is locking it out. Yep. Um, I'm not sure if that's the best because I'm not sure how successful they're going to be holding out for 30 seconds. But yeah. knowing them, they probably might do it. Yeah. Then again, it is against Vikings, and their defense is very solid. It is. Especially with Red also trying to get in yeah, there as well, Red. which is what you see happening. Now that Shock's inside, uh, does Shock have? Shock doesn't have blue. Oh, and yeah, he gets shot out by Red. Yeah, Jellyhawk's back in, reset. Um, is there a last line in green? Because there was a bit of action. I'm not sure if they got back. Yeah, they oh, probably yeah. got back in. Yeah, I think so. Whipper is... No, Whipper's been shot. Who is in there then? But yeah, um, now Firebird's going for his blue. Uh, yeah, gets denied. And then just a lot of things just happened. I don't know what happened. But now Vikings is first, Storm is second, Rampage third. Yep. I think Polchrome got denied, Firebird got denied. And Blue picked up a green. And yeah, Blue picked up a green. Yeah, because Evie just got denied. Yeah. A lot's happening. 
and everyone else is reset. Mm. I don't actually. Uh, it's 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 very hard to tell who's in green. Yeah. Um. Last time's been shot out of red. Perfect opportunity for green to get in, which they do, and uh, misses and shoots. Hopefully, but no, gets shot out. Yeah. Whippet is in on green, so they've reset. Spider last line in green. I think he's probably like one of the best last lines in this base specifically because he's a very tall lefty. Yep. Polkram going up oh, and gets denied oh. pretty much instantly by Jellyhawk. So yeah, the defense and offense is pretty much swapped yeah. with Jellyhawk yep. coming out. Let's see if something happens here. But yeah, Rampage kind of struggling. They can't get that second base in. Yeah. They, oh, As I say oh. that, they do another three-man attack and secure it. That nice. puts them in a not very firm second, considering how Mad Gens is now shooting green. Yeah, they're just going to trade bases. Gets it as well. This... Shakes up everything. Because now Storm's this, first. This is a close game. Incredibly close. Final minute. Mm. So they should be able Potentially to get... Potentially next base wins. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Rampage. and red is in blue. Rampage could get this if they get there another base and just a bit more pack or just get two bases. Yeah. It is possible. It is. Red's inside of blue. Yeah, and it Having is. Having a bit of a stalemate... In Oh, but they got shot out because H2. And Jelly Hill gets denied. Oh, denied. Person in red also gets denied. Oh, Firebird, Firebird maybe going for a blue. And secures it. That oh, secures pretty. That, that's huge. If no one else gets a base. Yeah. It's not locked out just yet. No. Red's still up. Yeah. But is Viking and Rampage both going to fight for red? Or are they going to go try for Elder? And yeah, not enough time. No, I don't think GG's. so. GG's. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good win there for Storm. An upset, yeah. Yeah. Look at Moss there with his 243% tag ratio. Yeah. Red didn't get that much. Like, no one went to Red. Polkram no. tried once and dipped. Yeah. He, he had enough. He, yep. he did not want to go again. Everyone just going for their green bases pretty yeah. much. Yeah. But yeah, um, Storm, 29k, four bases. Vikings, 24... Did I say 24k before? Yeah, Storm, 29k. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, so Vikings, 29. 24. Yep. Rampage, 24, two bases. So yeah. Vikings, a lot less on pack. If Rampage just got that final base, they would have secured the second. Yeah. Very unfortunate. It is. But yeah, stuff happens in laser tag. It does. It was another good game to watch that. Very close. 100%. These are very close games. They are. Top end yep. bracket. Yeah. But yeah, so highest tag streak goes to Shock with seven. Highest chain tags go to four. Most tags when taking, Zam and Runt. <laughs> and most denials, Zam, the four. So yeah. Pretty special game. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to finish up now. Uh, now that Cascades is over, we're going to head off and get ready for Cascades too. See you guys later.